If you would like to be a proud sponsor of Replicon Radio, shoot us an email at replicaniswatching at gmail.com for more information. Yeah. We're here. It's Monday. Yeah. What up, y'all? Yeah. It's Monday, motherfuckers. I did it. Quick key. Quick key. I know. I was letting you do it. I, was I know. Like, I, know. I, was like, I was waiting. I was like, I count one, I was you do two, it. come on. There's a lot of ninjas in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rude's going to pop on in here when he gets his stuff set up. But what's up, everybody? Man, fuck y'all don't need to see me right now, man. I'm ugly as a motherfucker. You don't want to see me. I don't give a shit. I'm ugly. Thank the Easter Jesus for the 30 second intro and the clownvis so that way we don't immediately get demonetized for that. Right. right. <laughs> what's up, Brian Lovejoy? What's up, Tigger Kanga? What up, everybody? What up? Everybody in here say what's up. If you guys are new here, what please up, subscribe y'all? to the channel. Subscribe. Do it. Hit the like button. Too. We're here. What up, mofos? We're doing the thing, bro. It's, bootleg it's, uh, at the gathering. That's a fun name. Hey, what's up, bootleg? Bootleg oh. Greg up in the mall. I bet his name's Greg. Greg. What's up, though? What's up, everybody? There's a lot. How was how was everybody's here. Easter, man? I, I I know I don't need to like get super into it, but hey, like, hey. but, like uh, but yeah, I, I, I was not applicable. Everybody in the chat. Hopefully they had a good Easter. Uh, I know it's it's not a holiday we really celebrate. We man, do why eat. You throwing shit at me, man, bro. We do I'm make bad. food and we do eat right. on the holiday. I, didn't do, I love I deviled know. eggs. Didn't do any of it. Yeah, my favorite part of Easter is the devil. I didn't do shit for Easter. Deviled bro. eggs. It wasn't even a thing for, at our house this year. Yeah, I gotta switch our thing. I gotta. Uh, there we go. Now you're looking at me. I'm looking at you. Oh, is that? Yeah. I'm see. I'm looking at. I'm oh, looking I switched it. Almost. You ain't looking at nothing. It was great. I had a big dinner chill with the family. Rebel. Hell yeah. Good. Good. We're chilling Rebel. with the family again tonight. Oh, oh like the oh. old school family for sure. Oh. Um, turn My old school little... juggalos. Yeah, I just juggalos. work. Bro. Nothing crazy. We old school what? juggalos. What am I yeah, Bruce here, right? Labyrinthine. He's a, he's a. Yo, mama's a thugalo. That's him singing. He just doesn't, he hasn't turned his camera on it's yet. Replica he's radio. I'm, just, I'm, I'm messing with my camera. With the old school juggalos. Um. Damn. All you guys, I got my- me a song. Y'all didn't even know that, man. Look at that. Yeah, super yeah, high tech fruit songs. juicer. Hell yeah. Oh shit. I got oh, it. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I hope we gonna works. we gonna talk about some blenders and shit tonight. I hope so. For I everyone. don't know what that means, but that sounds you, exciting. You've never you seen Big Money Hustlers? Oh yeah, I do. Okay. You know who Alex Abyss is? Yeah. You know who his character? Mm, it's when either- he brings out the. Super high tech juicer. Did oh. you put that in both of them? Yours and uh, chat. Uh, yes. Sorry. Yes. I, I can't remember every single movie ma- reference, and I can't. I don't know how many years it's been since I've seen Big Money House. Yeah. Yes, should have yeah. done your research. I didn't. Right. I didn't. I ain't got no sports, man. It's free, free on comics. Free on YouTube. You can watch it on Tubi. Let's do the comic, dude. I don't know shit about comics. Bro. I'm assuming this comment right there is for root. It was. What is that? It says good. I enjoy his voice. He was worried you weren't here. And I said, oh no, I'm here. Too. I'm here. I'm, I'm coming. Hey everybody, I'm real. It here. made me look to make sure the mic was all the way. Did I? I'm coming. Yeah, I'm he, coming. he he's here. He's he he hit traffic on the way on the way to the studio today <laughs> from his living room to the side bedroom. Hey man, that hallway is a motherfucker. Why are you saying that? Don't say that. What we say? Oh, it, it, it's probably your thing. Who? I don't mind. I have no idea. No, I was just saying connection is oh. unstable. I was making uh, sure. Unstable. Sad. Yeah, I, I, I have a, a coffee table. Yeah, Labyrinthine. I haven't watched that movie in a very long time. I am familiar with it. I just I, there's not a lot of quotable things that aren't from like Love Jay or first. you know Twisted or anything like that. You know the main like four characters, five characters. I I uh, I'm not good with remembering shit. 
Y'all ready? I can quote almost every line from Talladega Nights. Y'all ready? I'm her. I'm step ballers. Oh, shit. Here we go. Hold on. Bow. Bow. I'm here. There Hi, he everybody. There it is. Losing the hands. What up, mofos? I really don't like this one. This shit is. I don't like the way this shit is. You should revisit it. Why wow, we seem so close? But yeah, I mean, well, after after tonight, all right. hearing from Alex Abyss. Yeah, RIP Lakota. Hey, don't B. need to bring it down immediately, but, but boom. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, we got to do that. I mean, we could just go ahead and, uh, you know. Yeah, that, that, that sucked, man. That was shocking. I, uh, I didn't see anything about it until I saw that somebody reacting to the post that you made about it that, uh, that our, our homie Lakota Skulls, man, uh, unfortunately. Uh, especially as I, we were just talking about how we need to fucking hook up and fucking hang out. But yeah. well, he was just in town two a week days ago. prior. Yeah. A week ago. Yeah. We were yeah. talking about Bro, that shit. And uh, he was in the chat that we were talking on Monday. Yeah. He yeah. was he yeah, in a blizzard. Like, like, I sent him the link to join. Yeah. We were going to have like, him on the show he was like, my, on Monday. My, I don't have service because of the blizzard. I'm in yeah. a blizzard on my way to Colorado. Two days later, he made it home. And then tragedy happened. That's fucked up. I don't yeah. really want to talk about what happened, but. It's sad. No, it's, we moments sad. Yeah, yeah, let's definitely. We're definitely gonna do that. Um, mad love to. I mean, that was the homie for real. And that uh, was the only dude that really liked me. I know that's what I texted hey. Rue when I found out. I was like, bro. He's like, what? Yeah. And I told him. He's like, that's the only guy that ever liked me. I was like, we'll find a new guy to like you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. But I'm like, yeah, man. It's but cheers to Dakota. Well, sure. Let's let's do a, uh, Dakota everybody Skulls. do a mo- moment of cheers, silence for Dakota Skulls. Cheers. Yeah, man, we love you, dude. Rest in peace, homie. Yeah, that shit's it's devastating. Yeah, I mean that that just goes to show you that like <laughs> you don't know when your time is up. Yeah. So, dude, I, guess enjoy, I was with them on Sunday. Enjoy every day like it's your last. Make tomorrow sure. better than today, and don't be a fucking dickhead. Right. Be a good person. He was such a good dude. Boom. Man. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I mean, I, everything that I've seen, like I follow him on Instagram and all that, dude, and everything that I've seen. Look at that. Zitro likes you. Uh, what up, Zitro? Labyrinthine likes you. Oh, Labyrinthine, what up? Mm, there you go. People like you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, man. It was just when you told me that, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, how? Why? What? What? What the fuck you mean? Yeah, like, like I don't know how. I I was. I don't know if you could actually read my texts. I was just like so confused on like what the fuck happened. But, bro, that shit was. I mean, I, it's devastating me, but it, like it affected me more. I didn't. You know what I mean? Like because you just hung out with him. Yeah, like, I, I mean, like it did, like more than it, more than I thought it would. You it, know? Well, yeah, yeah, it's weird sure. when you just hung out with somebody and then that happens because then it because like we were really talking about shit. Yeah. I mean, we were on the show. Like he was talking about he wanted to be on this next tour. Yeah, you know what I mean, I and everybody's giving me shit because I hooked him up with a shirt. You know what I mean? Like his brother yeah, shared right. it. Was like he loved this. You know, he's so happy he did it. Well, I'm like, God, man. Bro. Every week, why does that happen? Just every week. I just I never turn it around. I'm well, sorry. Fix it. It's fine. I did. No one can even see it, but turn around. <laughs> Every now and then, my dino does. Sorry, that, that, my, that, that was my ADHD. It's a shitty ass chain. That's what yeah, it is. That was my ADHD. It's just that, like, it seemed intentional because I've been looking at it the last, like, five weeks, and every yeah. time it has turned it's around. Flip around? Yeah, every yeah. time. Just so you all are well aware, I get that. Not to take away from Lakota. I mean, you know, I just, that UGH still repping the buck shot. Told you guys I'm gonna do that all the way up until we go leave for That's Astro, a, which we have one more show before. But now, why? But now, just out of boy. curiosity, why? Uh, I mean, other than you're a fan and and you know Buckshot's a dude or anything like that, is there any reason in particular that you're you're yes. wrapping him up until Astro? Why is that? Yes, because in all honesty, there's like be, besides like all the homies that we're gonna see there mm-hmm. and all the friends and, and and people, but there's literally only like two people. That I'm excited to see that's going to be there. Me? And, yeah. well, besides <laughs> the homies and all the friends. You said that. I mean, not saying that Buckshot is not a friend, oh, but they're yeah. like, like, I'm excited that's going to be there because I don't feel like. Well, you don't see him very often. No, I don't. I usually only get to see him at Astro or if we're, you know, maybe if he hits up the gathering or something. Um. I get to see him, or if we if we get out to a show near him, where he you know in Kentucky or whatever, where he's at, 
usually the only time we get to see each other. Yeah. No, but he's a solid dude, and I enjoy his company, and I, I like I like shooting the shit with him for sure. So he's gonna be there, and I'm gonna be there. So and you're I'm just excited to see your friend, yeah, and and to, and to see him perform and all that. And stuff. I like to represent his shit because he's yeah. got badass merch. It's true. Uh, we love you too, Evelyn. We love you too. Love you too. We love you, Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> she did make a comment about this beard. Yeah, it's coming in. It's coming in actually pretty nice. I think I gotta clean it up a little bit. I didn't even notice your beard was big. She said that. Really? <laughs> I see you every week. I don't even pay attention. Yeah, I, I knew it was gray. Oh, it I didn't know it was big. I thought it was gray about. on the TV, man. Or on the TV <laughs> you <screen>. bastards. <laughs> Why you? That's just how Rue talks. He's, he's, <laughs> he didn't mean to say your name incorrect. I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. You have back, a whole back, new identity that's now. That's a whole other way. It was wait, Evelyn wait, Blue, wait, but wait, now wait. it's Evelyn. Where'd my fucking, where'd my comment? And now she's like, I cannot unsee that. Thank uh, you. Evelyn, yeah. You motherfuckers. That's better than wait. Green saying uh, Evil On, bro. Evil On? Did I really, did I really oh. pronounce it? You said Evelyn. It's evil. It's evil. evil bloom. And bloom. Okay. Yeah. My, yeah. Bad, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My <laughs> bad. I'm such a fucking asshole. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. I like I mean, Evelyn. Evelyn is a bye nice, bye. elegant name. I went by. It, it is. Oh, he he canceled himself. No, I'm coming back. Damn. No, I'm not. I'm coming back. We had somebody else in there a minute ago. Looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Here I come. I'm coming. You're like I'm just not today. literally. No, I'm, 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 Damn, bro. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, but yeah, I know no, a lot of you guys are tuned in. You're wondering what the hell's going on. I'm here. I'm we back. do have a guest. <laughs> oh, he's a oops. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Green? There he is. I guess we're gonna have Rue back. There's Rue. Hey, Rue. Sorry Green. for popping anybody's mics. I didn't know that. I was speaking over the speak guard. I guess I'm. I'm so evil in bloom. My I apologize. Know. My bad. I love it. I'm, it's, Evelyn is so dope. I mean, it's an elegant name. It really it's a, like a Victorian elegant name. If you did like, like cosplay it. or something, like, yeah. my name's Evelyn. Evelyn? Like, yeah, if I was a girl, altered... I would change my name to Evelyn. That's from yeah. Kenny. I would too. I mean, if you became I mean, from whatever, yeah, that could that could be your trans name, Evelyn. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Evelyn Roof. I don't plan on trans, but that. now you know. Now you're ready. But if I do, I got it. Already got a name. Maybe, I miss maybe you in too. My afterlife. Evelyn Roof. I can't do it. Evelyn Rue. What's I up? What's up, Green? What's up, Tigger? What's up, Larry Wallace? There, there we go. Is it mirrored? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what they see. I just can't do it. I don't know right. how to do it. I'm not young enough for that. Right. I just, I don't know. That's the first time what I've ever taken. What up, Did that. I don't even felt, know who's all in here. It felt wrong, so I don't do it. Oh, yeah. Every now and then. Um, yeah, if you guys are tuned in, we appreciate it. Share. Tell your old school juggalo homies that don't juggle anymore. Like, bro, you want to tune in. Like, Alex Abbas is going to be. If you were there the for building. the first deck, you want to be there. If you were there and you were a juggalo in the two, in the 90s and the 2000s, you want to be here for this. Absolutely. You'll be here for this. And if you weren't, like if it, if it's, if you weren't here for that, yeah. if you then you, you missed Then out. you need to be here for this so you can fucking learn. Yeah, those are the, the new school needs to be here for that. Chapter that 17 anymore, needs to be here. Yeah, everybody needs to and be Basically, here. everybody needs to be here. It's going to be dope. Every, uh, and yeah, that, that's what it needs to be. Evil and Boom, what up, Tigger Kanga, what up? Eva, I got the Eva and Boom. What up, Zitro, what up? It's another one, Eva and Boom. Oh, like It's like Eva Wake or Ava Wake. Eva, Eva, Eva and Boom. 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 Yeah, man. It's going to be it's gonna be a dope. Uh, what up, everybody? It's going to be a dope night. We got we got reveals tonight. Oh, I, one we announced, we're revealing. He did. So he's got a book coming out. We're going to talk yeah. about that. We're going to reveal. The Jamie Madrox exclusive cover that you guys can get at Astronomicon for the first time ever. Ooh. Astronomicon. I see. If you guys weren't excited for this interview already, th- we're not going in cold turkey, all right? Somebody here has been becoming best friends with this guy over this <laughs> last week, and that is our interviewer over there. Oh, oh but there. That, that guy. That guy. That, that, that guy. The Chiquita that, Banana. No, that guy. Mr. Mr. P. Mr. Uh, P. So, know, like, but... they've been talking a little bit. So, this is going to be not just a cold, like, hey, how you doing? This is my name. It's going to be like, hey, this is going to be a cold. But it should be. No, no but it to be fair, be. to be honest, no, I mean, I'm not going to talk about I mean, we're going to do the. I'm not going to talk about us talking, but I will talk about the one thing that I purposely, we both agreed not to talk about yeah. until he got here was the first time we met him, Rue and I. 
Oh, he said, "Don't talk I, about that." Yeah, neither. No, not I didn't. He doesn't know yet. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we did not yeah, talk I about. So I was excited. like, "Yeah," because he told me something about something, and I was like, "I have to tell you." And he's like, "No, no, no, we're gonna save that." Yeah, like, yeah, we're gonna yeah, save yeah, it. Yeah. So he's gonna get. Content. He's gonna get a real reaction to this. Well, we've told the story on here. Before. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We told it. That's like a good story five. too. Yeah, it's like it's the only fucking joke Tony likes. Yeah, right. It's the only thing he ever remembers me saying. It's literally the only story that he likes. Brings oh, you and I. I'm vacation. so upset by that because that has become a, a an everyday reference for me. <laughs> That's it, <laughs> and nobody's gonna get it, so I never get to say it's it. So good, and I like to say it. It's, it's, it's fun to here. say yeah. it. Oh man, if I was Zitro, it'd be so much funnier. Oh, it's <laughs> I would say it's so much man. cooler. <laughs> a lot of ninjas in here. He knew it. He knew it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he has not heard that story yet. So I'm excited. Uh, whole, and I oh, really yeah, hope that he remembers it. I, I don't think it. he will because you don't know. You never know. He, you don't know. he might remember the situation and not us. Oh, well, I mean, it's not going to be probably not a lot of times there's a bunch of dudes. It's not going to be as right. significant, right. Yeah. obviously. But, I mean. And how often is, was Sid on tour with him, too? Well, it, was his first, it was the first. It was his first. Right. Yeah, and who right. knows? He might have a whole backstory to it. There's a lot of ninjas in here. Yeah. It could be a whole bag. We'll we could be surprised, man. We will know. Yeah, but I, anyway, yeah, the whole a lot of ninjas, I like I like twisted better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm just fucking. So around. we're gonna get a little a little bit extra personalization on this interview tonight. It's gonna be great. Yeah. No, but it's gonna be dope. You can get that comic book. It's going to be a good we're talk about. Hey, you're going to get it at Astro. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get it at I Astro. already told you we're going to reveal. You can get the regular cover and the Jamie Madrox exclusive that we're going to show you tonight. Can't wait. It's going to be limited. Can't wait. I already, I already bought like eight. Yeah. It's going to be dope. I did. Bring your. Uh, but, I mean, you should. You definitely should. What? By eight? Yeah. For sure. Maybe. There might not even be eight available. Well, not anymore. Now that he's on <coughs> it's the just gonna be hot. Replicon radio. It's gonna be hot. Yeah. Coming in hot. Too hot. The handle too oh, cold. Oh, hold. Call Replicon radio. We in control. But we got we got a little bit. Of, you know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> you know, you we, know, gotta, we gotta get into the show and you know, slowly into. Did you watch? Uh, uh, I did not watch Roadhouse yet. But did I you did watch Ricky's the Nicky? Nicky? Nicky dude? And yes, okay, that was probably the first movie that you told me to watch that I actually laughed my. It's ass so off. funny. I told <laughs> you, it's so funny, bro. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, watch that fucking movie. I I recommend it. Shape, you better be on your best behavior, goddamn it. Oh, shape don't have to be. Shape say whatever he wants. Yeah, yeah, you're in the chat room, bro. Yeah, yeah you're That's in the free for all out there. We we don't have to share it. He doesn't have to know that we know you. Um, go tell your wife to share it on her uh, website. Or she has a website? Yeah, Juggalo News. Oh, I didn't know she was. Still uh, but yeah, I, I knew. Dude, there's no way you. There's no way anybody can not like that. It's so fucking funny. Yeah, if John I, Cena is fucking hilarious. I'm bro. not gonna lie, bro. The first scene, I was like, "You got to be fuck kidding me!" Another one of these motherfuckers when the dude when, when it was Halloween. Obviously, they do dressed up as a dog. I'm like, Get the fuck oh, out yeah. of here, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going through this. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna. I'm, don't even worry about that. But that was that shit was fucking funny when he was like, "I'm a puppy. I'm a puppy with a boner." And I'm like, "Get the fuck out of here. We're not going through this." <laughs> hey, what are you doing? They show him at his show in Vegas, dog. <laughs> oh my god, it's just bro, it was hilarious. so funny, dude. I highly recommend it. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Because you asked me, should I watch this or this? I hadn't seen Roadhouse yet, so I'm like, watch the fucking movie we talked about. Uh, yeah, that's why. But I then I watched Roadhouse, and I was blown away by that too. Yeah, see, I, I hear I mixed feelings about that. I hear a lot of people saying that. It was good, but it wasn't good. And then McGregor doesn't know how to fucking act that he needs to stick with the UFC. But I mean, and then I asked the question, is it similar to the first? one? I don't think it is. And th this one is more common, com com uh, more com comedy. It's more funny, apparently. Yeah. Um, uh, Not that I haven't seen anything, but I did watch the preview of it. It does look badass. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, there's a lot of action. Like I said, I didn't have any interest in it at all. I didn't even know it existed. And then I started, I, I saw people saying, Oh, you didn't know it existed until I said something? No, I mean, until like, oh, okay. people, you know, when it came, I didn't know it was being made. I didn't know any of that. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm usually hyped for movies like far in advance. Right. This shit was out. And I was like, Oh, that exists, I guess. Yeah. I guess um, it was. Uh... And I didn't remember. The first, like going into this, I knew I saw Roadhouse, but I didn't necessarily remember it. Yeah, and it never even. And then after I watched it, I watched the trailer for the old one, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember that. This is nothing like it." Yeah, you don't have to. Watch it's the, the first same one to watch idea. The you hire a bodyguard to come save your bar. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's that. That's it. It's, it could yeah. be. It could be a different name. 
Right. It has okay. nothing to do with. I mean, it, that's the concept. That's it. Right. I There's it. bad people in the small town. Help. Right. That's the movie. But it, it, I thought it was fucking great, man. I, I, I'm not even really into, you know, man movies like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean? Like you were saying last week, you wanted you wanted more ninja movies. Yeah. This you reminds me. Oh. Well, it's not really a ninja. It's not. They're not ninjas. Okay. I but it's you like you see a no, but it, no, but it reminds out. me of like that. 80s movie where men are just beating each other up. Yeah, it's I mean, not corny. It's not 80s corny, but yeah. it's like that. It's like a Van Dam, like a like they're badasses. Right. Both of them are. I, I get the Connor shit. Well, he's Conor he's a McGregor's little a really a badass. He's a little life. over the top, yeah. but that's it's his character. Like yeah. he's like badass so retarded. He, kind so of. he like took it to uh, to an extreme. It's. I mean, I can see. Role. I can see why people would be like, oh, I don't know about that. But at the same time, it works for the character because he's a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's a bad. <laughs> he's a bad guy, but he's a badass. Yeah. So it kind of works, but. But yeah, I I fucking dig it, bro. What's up? What's up? He's an air dicker. But yeah, and I and uh, like I didn't like I would never look at Gyllenhaal as a badass. No. Holy shit, bro. No, but that's what I heard a lot of people are saying. Like this dude, like kicks ass in this fucking movie. Yeah. I was actually talking about it to somebody else, and they were like, "There's he it's smiles hard. a lot." And, and the, the person I was talking to didn't. They're like, "That shit was weird." Yeah, but I was like, I thought it made it fucking better because he's like the nicest guy. He's like, "All right, guys, you know what I mean? Like, let's not do so this." So he's a Patrick Swayze. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. And the counter is just a fucking dipshit. Yeah, he's well, like he's like the shit, he's but, the goon. He's yeah. a goon. Yeah, literally the definition what of a, a fucking goon. goon, goon, goon I goblin. got you. I got you. What up, Star Crazy? But yeah, I would, I love it, bro. What up, Johnny? Just, be, you better be a motherfucking Astro, Jess. I fucking love you, and I miss you. If you guys don't know Star Crazy, then I don't know what you're doing here. Um, but get to know. Wait for Alex and go check bro. out his fucking. He dropped two mixtapes, dog. He dropped the fucking twisted. Goes 90s with a bunch of twisted songs over 90s beats and IC Pearl Jam. A bunch of ICP songs over Pearl Jam music. They're both for free on his band camp. Or you can give him money, which you should. Because he should be rich. Right? All the artists he works with are rich. And he's not. Or maybe he is. He should be. Uh, Shout out hey, to hey, bro. Okay, never mind. You know it. <laughs> Oh, he clicked it on the fucking I did. <laughs> Your wife is messaging you. Are you in trouble? You got to go? Oh, uh, no. I might leave a little bit early, though. Rabbit food? No, no, no. I might leave a little early, though, at like 930, because I don't want to drive home in a tornado. And we ain't getting no tornado. I know. I'm not worried about a tornado. I'm just worried about seeing the fucking road. It gets real dark over there down 30. <laughs> Yes, is it ready? It no real, light, it's supposed to start like storming its ass off at like 10. That's what made them Black Lives Matter people when they started marching out this way. They started to realize that there was nothing around. They're like, we might need to turn the fuck around. Is that's where they that turned a around. fucking axe? <laughs> that's, no! where they, that's where they turned around and they're like, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. No, nah, man, that's a terrible boom. But I mean, they could have came out here. Would have been fine. You know. No, it, there's long stretches on 30 that it gets so dark. Oh yeah. And if it's <laughs> just absolutely pissing rain outside, you cannot see anything because there's no street lights for like quarters of miles at a time, and it's like fuck. One really? of my favorite lines in a movie, that, especially by Grant's Farm. It's so dark right there. I know there's not a lot of people, but I, I mean, I don't want to drive home when it's like. They they like super severe weather that they're calling for. I'm not worried about getting hit by a tornado. I just don't want to drive home and then have to walk inside when it's you oh, know I don't blame you. shit canning rain outside. One of my favorite lines from Minister Society is, "I hope you can make it out of Compton before ten, motherfucker." <laughs> I hope you can make it up before sundown in Fenton, motherfucker. There's a lot of stories. Of, there's a there's a lot of stories of the back roads of town here, man. That a lot of people don't know. Yeah. Well, there's tea to tell. I don't know which tea she's talking about that would be applicable for this show. Because she just told me about it. I don't know what tea she's talking about. Like, she texted me about some shit that isn't related to the show. But it, that it's tea about some YouTubers, but I think it's bullshit because it's April Fool's. But, oh. but it's not applicable because none, neither of you and probably nobody in here besides me and her watch those people. There's been a lot of uh, April Fool's. That's not applicable for this shoe. 
Yep. There's a lot of silly April Fool stuff going on. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Did y'all hear about the motherfucker that took all these tires up? Like, a, like not Mount Everest, but like I, I forgot where the fuck it was. But he took like all these fucking tires and then lit them on fire. And everybody was flipping the fuck out that this big ass mount was like on fucking fire. Mm-hmm. And the dude got arrested. <laughs> It was just, it was for an April Fool's joke, but that's not funny. No, no, they didn't find it. Too Our much. ozone is not funny. Don't use I mean, it for your little TikTok and jokes, okay? I mean, it's our not ozone, funny. Our ozone's fine. It's not. It's gonna be okay. It, eventually, if people stop setting mountains of tires on fire. No, nah, motherfucker, you want to know what shocks the fuck out of me? Like, all right. I got to tell you guys this because I haven't like really had a chance to talk to anybody about it, but it really bothers me. All right. All right. Okay. So I see this commercial on TV about some of this battery. And it's like a little cartoon fucking commercial or whatever. And the battery's like, today I'm a battery, but I won't get put in a plastic bag and become a body bag battery. I'm going to be spread over. I'm going to be turned into fertilizer. And tomorrow, I might be an avocado. You think I want to eat a fucking avocado that got battery in it? From a fucking battery? Like, recycled battery? Like, fuck you. No, that's the point of the commercial. I haven't seen this commercial, but just from what you just yes, said. it's going to be recycled the whole, in the fertilizer. It's not. It, no, no, no. It, it gets. It, it, yeah, I, I mean, it's not going to. I don't know. I haven't seen the commercial. So, I, I, so it's a double negative. Like, the motherfucker's not going to turn into an avocado. You're not going to turn into, like, a fucking corn stalk. You're just fucking going to... I, I, I was going to contest it and be like, well, they're not going to recycle it. It's just going to go into a landfill, and then it's going to leak into the, the groundwater, and then it's going to uh-huh. then it's going to turn into an avocado. But I don't know how it's going to turn into the fertilizer. So, like... Uh... But even if you fucking grind it up or what, however you want to recycle it, it's still a fucking battery at the end of the fucking day that you're putting in the fertilizer. I mean, if you're going through a specialty recycling plant that deals with batteries and stuff, then it's recycled properly, but it's not going to turn into a... It's, like, it's not going to be turned into fertilizer. Not, at any, it might ever. be a plastic bottle or something later on down the road. Or it, I, there's or not something. even plastic in a battery. Like there, none of it. Like I mean, there is plastic. In, I, there's some plastic in, inside, and I think some on the label and all that shit. But it's mostly just metals. It's different metals. Oh yeah, yeah. But this commercial just fucking got me, and I, I'm sitting there trying to wrap my fucking head around like, how is this even fucking possible? I don't know. Sounds delicious. But, I mean, that would probably be healthier than what they're feeding us now. Everything's got poison in it. Yeah, you're right. Like, it's so, it's exhausting. Like, it, it, it used to be like, oh, only like fast food was was the worst for you. And then it, then it became, oh, like chips and, and like junk food is bad for you. That, that causes cancer. And now it's like, you got a bag of salad. Guess what? That causes cancer. Uh, you, you, <laughs> it, you know, a it, lot of people fail to realize that. Your body has cancer cells in it. It's, it's different, man. These are like chemicals that are used to keep, you know, the the soil fertile. It's, it's chemicals that used no, to I keep understand. bugs off of it. it, it there's but, microplastics in the fucking water. We, we all have cancer cells in our body. Yeah, but that's a different conversation. It's, it's a matter of what's going to wake them. Like they're, everything they're, they're putting in our in food. Your, they're in America, living, they they are alive in your body. But yeah, your body is containing them. They're keeping them content to where it's not dangerous to to you at all. And until but you... there's something that will eventually they can wake them. Sometimes it never does. Sometimes it does. Until you eat a banana that has red forty in it for no fucking reason, and then you're like, "Fuck! All right, cool. I guess I got prostate cancer now." Well, you leave the bananas out of this. Well, I'm t- you tell the government that. Even the even now, even the organic food has got poison shit in it. It's true. Like everything in this country everything is does. poisoned in our food. Unless you grow it yourself. Even then could be fucked up because the ingredients that you use to, to make your own food, even if you make right. it fresh, like like the seeds that you get could have certain chemicals that were in the, the bloodline of it or whatever, you know. Yeah, but like we, like, they're, they're the like fertilizer. similar to like us. Like as we grow, we get stronger. So yeah. if you leave those out, that weakens those chemicals that they may have put in there because you're not using them and you're not feeding them. Mm-hmm. So it's a little bit better for you. It. it it weakens them. But. It just sucks into everything. You can't escape it because it used to be, it, even just five years ago, it was like, well, you know, if you don't want to eat all this bad shit, you could, you know, you could just eat fresh fruit and vegetables and oh, fresh yeah, food. You, and, yeah. you okay. can't do that now. Nope. You can't do that. 
Nope. Organic, the label doesn't mean anything. Grass fed doesn't mean anything. Cage all that organic cage label means is it's more expensive. And and they they have <laughs> they have five yeah. five square yardage of, of, of grass per a hundred animals or chickens. That yeah. doesn't work because now I'm looking at roof. All right, now I'm looking at the wall. That's, I had it that way for a reason. <laughs> I just move it. Stop pushing buttons. I just move it sometimes. I, I I know I had the layout there for a reason because then when you look at him, it looks it does that on the screen. And then when I look at you, how do you know you're watching YouTube? I mean, I am. I have YouTube here. I'm and looking I at know you are. I'm asking him. I'm looking at the screen. Yeah, but it's different on the screen. Two right Why is it different fighting. on this screen than from the YouTube screen? Tony mad at him. I don't know. For changing the screen. We right. learned that a long time ago. And now they're gonna fight. So, I'm looking at you right now. Tony's gonna smack look, right, so I think I'll be. You're looking at me. I'm looking at the wall on his. Tony go. Tony gonna peel that banana. And, and, watch. and nobody's seeing it on YouTube right now because they're fucking at. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, even better. Even better. I told you these two so Now when I look at these two Now you're so looking, looking directly at him. him. Now I'm looking directly at you. Yes. On his screen. Yes. Let's see. Let's uh, let's see. Hey, you're looking at him on YouTube and him. Now you're looking at me. Yeah, because he just moved it. Yeah. Now when I look over here, I'm looking at the goddamn duck. You are looking at the Fuck duck. duck. <laughs> I'm looking at the duck. That's true. That duck right over there. So now half of the conversation when I'm just like looking at you for the next three, three hours when you're talking to your best friend, I'm just going to be looking at the fucking duck. Fuck a duck. Fuck yeah. that duck. Yeah. And then when I look at you, uh, now I'm actually looking at you. You ain't looking at nobody. Now, I'm looking at, now, now I'm looking at nobody. <laughs> you'll be right there most of the time looking straight ahead like a Hollywood Square. Uh, down. Hollywood Square. <laughs> I'm doing it for the aesthetics, okay? On today's you don't need to see me yeah. looking at you in real life, but like it makes it better. Yeah. Stop touching things, man. Never. I I understand, but you know what that button does. You don't need to touch it. <laughs> oh, we got Amber Alert. Uh oh, what is that? Uh -oh. Amber Alert. Uh oh, Amber Alert. I haven't got it yet. Yeah, well, yeah, I haven't got it yet. Yeah, Amber Alert. Oh, oh, oh seek indoor shelter now. The National Weather Service has issued a severe series of thunder surge and warning to the city uh, until midnight. Yeah, that's careful. probably why the internet was a little nearby. choppy. Oh, it's 10 miles away. We're all right. Yeah, and that's why I'm like, yo. I that's why the little thing popped up and said, your internet. I think I might bounce out at like 930, you know? Because that's when it's supposed to like start like I guess just, I don't get just storm raining. mornings. So that's good. Well, I mean, you could turn them off. I probably did. Possibly. Bro, there ain't shit on this motherfucking radar, dog. It's, it's still 80 degrees out there. And everything's north. 80 degrees. Want to tell that bitch, please? Bitch. Is yeah, we're in the fucking clear, tees? bro. This is all north. Did you get some of these? At ease. Yeah, no. Oh, if it, we might get a little rain. If it clears up, like the th severe thunderstorm, that's fine. I can drive home and rain. There's no big deal. I just don't want to go when you can't see more than 10 feet in front of the car. I mean, see where that arrow is at? We're on the fucking edge. We ain't getting shit. Ooh. Ooh. You have the little lightning strikes on there, too. Yeah. That's ten miles away. <coughs> yeah. Light and uh, what? Oh, yeah, but uh, we're, we're just that, that, yeah, but that's it. That's till six thirty p.m. It's not supposed to hit us until like ten. No, it ain't gonna hit us at all. It's supposed to hit us at like ten. Well, it's good. Well, it's supposed to start raining at nine thirty, and then by like ten thirty, ten forty-five, it's supposed to really cut start hitting us. As of right now, I got thirty percent at seven, eighty percent at eight, fifty percent at nine. 50% and 10. 60% and 11. So watch out for the rain, y'all. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the radar you just showed us was an hour ago. Like, that's that's the last. That's 635. That is 635. Yeah, so that radar you just showed us that went up to 630 is for right now. Of course it hasn't hit us. It didn't hit us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't going to hit us. Well, I'm just saying, it's you, just, the, you showed us radar for me driving out here. It's like, no, it didn't hit us. I can confirm that was a correct radar, but it looked pretty ominous outside. It wasn't crazy. I, yeah, it goes to six thirty-five when I play it. There you uh, go. So if you guys are where we are, watch out. Yeah, it goes up to six. It starts at like five fifty-five and goes to six thirty-five. 
Yeah, it's 636 right now. So that radar is useless to us now. 100. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fucking murder this motherfucker. Well, that's okay. We got Alex Abbott coming up shortly before you die. Shit, or if you die. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I can't even remember those fucking... Those little my dad, homie. Rubber bands even came from. Um, I don't even Our microphones. Uh, they go on the back here. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, these are the extra ones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For, those. Oh. for, the, for the fucking... Oh, this is for our fourth microphone that we didn't use. That we stopped using. Maybe. What more motherfuckers? What up? What up? What, what up? up? Silver stature. Uh, what else is going on in the world before we forget and get into Alex Abbas? Uh Ritz dropped a new album today. Yeah. If you guys are Ritz fans. I did not know that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll check that out. I'm Ritz, bitch. Is it good? Yeah. It's uh it's Lucy's Ritz. Lucy's volume three. Okay. So like unreleased or different versions of it's shit. It's like a mixtape for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just just shit that didn't make the came out the today. Albums. So yeah, Lucy's three. So like three. So that dropped today. Twisted Cryptic Collection five went up for pre order, which most of them are online because they've been dropping them in things. And the Young Wicked mixtape came out Friday. Volume two. Nice. Young Wicked volume two. Nice. It's just dope, bro. It's dope. So if you're listening to music, you got all kinds of shit to listen to. I wish my voice was as deeper as Glaze. That would be fun. That'd be cool. I like that. That'd be a lot better. A lot better than this nasally voice. It's just a singing voice. This talking voice is not that deep. It's pretty deep. I don't think it's that deep. It's deeper than mine. I think it's like... um, He just sounds like a man. Yeah. I guess. Okay. (laughs) The solo. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to say? You don't sound like a man. I didn't say anything. I mean, you kind of did. No, if he feels that way, I'm sorry. You said he sounds like a man. He does. But, but saying that he does. I didn't say that. I just, I, just, I don't think. Saying it, that he does. He doesn't have like, a, he's not like, what up? I didn't realize. I'm not uh, a baritone. The redheaded dude. <laughs> he said a black Ricky man. Snakey. Uh-huh. He's got his own. Well, he's got his <laughs> podcast with an Asian guy. Yeah, and it, dude, this shit's fucking hilarious, dude. Mm-hmm. And he was actually really hilarious in that fucking. Yeah, movie. he's funny as hell. I'm like, I know that. That's dude the about, I know him from. I know him from uh, Dave from Little Dicky Show. Okay, he's yeah. Dicky's manager. Yeah, 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 show. yeah, yeah. Yeah, they do a uh, best friends podcast with the. Uh, what's that dude's name? That dude's so funny. I watch him on everything. Uh, Labyrinthine. Uh, if you liked Ritz before he did that, he rapped about it. Like on all of his albums, he yeah, talked he, he about how he was a piece of shit he and he was in a ass. piece of shit re- relationship. She was a piece of shit. Everybody was a piece of shit. I doesn't condone what he did, but I mean, he was upfront about it. He got help. He went. He went to rehab. He got sober. About he got. He. He's as, as far as I know, he's become a better person and and has tried to you know repent for his past self i'm gonna lie that twins lake record was when i really started liking it so i mean because it was like deep and like he was like talking those, about those the the his, those police records were old when they when they broke out into the public somebody just put them on the internet and like oh he's a he's a wife beater it's like yeah those were old. i mean that's still ain't no good it's not good but like he was a different he was an addict and he had fucking issues i'm not defending his actions he had daddy issues but i'm just saying I agree with you, Shape. Blaze is still black in 2024. He puts the pantyhose on again. I think people agree with, this, with, that, with that statement, too. Uh, no. and Bobby Lee is the guy, the Asian guy's name. He's funny. Yeah, yeah, guy. yeah. He is fucking hilarious. Yeah, he's funny as shit. <laughs> I fuck with all of them. Them dudes shit. fucking crack me up, bro. I got to, I follow them on TikTok. Maybe who said, oh, <laughs> maybe the lady said something. Oh, because he's the, because he's the, the midget guy? Fuck it, I know exactly what you're talking about. I always thought that dude looked like somebody we don't talk about anymore. Yeah. And I don't think he ever glorified, like, hey, like, I'm on, like, you know, it's it's cool to beat your wife. It's like, nah, I got fucked up on coke. I was being a fucking menace to the neighborhood. They called the cops. I broke the fucking Man, case. Right. I fought my entire family. I be I, you know, I, you know, I got in a fight with my wife. And, you know, it like, he, at no point he's like, yeah, no, nah, fuck that bitch. I hit, it, I hit her in the face. You know, like the sirens were going off. By the way, the sirens. They said they canceled that test today. Oh, they were going off like a minute ago. Oh, I can't hear them. 
Oh yeah, Halloween. it's like the real. Oh yeah, because it is the first Monday. Well, they said they canceled it. They sent out a thing earlier for me, and they said they canceled it. At least in the city of St. Louis. No, the, the real ones are going. All the fucking radios went off today, though. I There's some. I'm like, rah, rah. I'm like, oh, my shape. God. You're ridiculous. Bro. Yeah, yeah. They... <laughs> <laughs> are you doing the Kermit the Frog thing? <laughs> I, I guess. I, guess. <laughs> I kind of was. Like, but that's none of my business. Yeah, I guess I kind of was. Indirectly, oh, uh, that's funny, though. but yeah, from but uh, I'll just end it on. I have not heard anything bad about Rich after he's tried to redeem himself, and also that was also a very long time ago. So, redemption, it's all about redemption, yeah. right? I mean, at what point does somebody can somebody not redeem themselves after you know they already did their time? Yeah, I, don't I mean, know. look at Drake beat the fuck out of Rihanna, and everybody still likes that motherfucker. You mean Chris, Chris Brown? Brown or Chris Brown? Yeah. Who, did, who did Drake fucking knock out? Of? I don't think he did. Yeah, yeah. Some dude, bro. No, it was a female. But yeah, whatever. Chris Brown, everybody like that dude still too. Like, oh my god, Chris Brown, they still fall head over heels for that motherfucker. See, that sucks. They never broke up, but I mean, maybe they both reformed uh themselves like and like you know they're both sober they're both yeah, maybe she likes getting her ass kicked i don't That's know maybe like stick it around i mean i don't know i don't know enough about it to speak of uh, yeah i don't know i just know what is on his records yeah. and then i know oh, on both his public records and and on the, the music, the, uh, the music yeah. records uh but i mean i've never heard him be an asshole to somebody that really didn't wasn't being a dickhead to him right and and if there if he was being an asshole he like the one time that he uh fucking stopped the show for a mosh pit like he rapped about it he talked about it in his music so I mean he's pretty transparent in everything that he does it's just that people that don't pay attention to it then this somebody says it out of context it's like yeah. wait a minute he did what it's like yeah no he told you on two albums <laughs> I mean, it's still like, I mean it it's not right. right it's not right oh yeah there's that one there's one where he's talking about they're fucking like fighting in the living room and they're punching each other and shit yeah they, yeah. Bla- they wake up the next him. morning and they don't even know what the fuck happened yeah and then they laughed why is it why is the it. coffee table broke and all that shit yeah like, it's Jesus a toxic Christ. relationship yeah, yeah. I, I hope i don't think it's that way anymore especially judging by the things that he raps about now but i mean you know yeah, we all jock Tyson, but we still get that dude a break because he redeemed himself. One, he did the fucking prison time, like the full sentence. What did he do? He raped somebody. Oh. Uh, and, uh, and I think that's the first thing that came to mind. That he, Tyson he, who? Mike Tyson. I never heard that story. Yeah, no, he, he got convicted and did like eight <laughs> or nine years in prison really? for raping some bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hear about that. Uh, well, she's I not did. a bitch. He, he did rape her. I mean, like, uh, but yeah, that was that was back in the uh the 90s man but he did his time and then he you know stopped being an absolute menace just a monster and stopped doing all the coke and drugs and all that stuff and then he eventually you know started coming back into public and redeeming himself so i mean oh i didn't know that shit <sighs> yep i mean maybe he got tired of people telling saying that he was gay that's why he had had to do it. Oh wow, hey man! You ever heard that dude talk? People, people think that he's gay. I don't think That's anybody. I, I think I think any age after fourteen, Mike Tyson, nobody <laughs> called him gay. Right. <laughs> True Your boy Jake Paul gave him want to fight his ass. He did it. He's the one. That's the problem. July. Uh, I think that's supposed. I don't know if it's still going to happen though. But they're trying to cancel it. But I think it's still going to go down on July twenty second. Who's there? Oh, sorry. He only he, he was sentenced to six years. He served three, but I mean he was in you know a prison in Brooklyn. Sir, we need you to be there. Me, Rue will be there. Why? Why don't, should that just say Rue and I? Well, it probably should. Me, Rue. Me. Me. Rue. I think I put an and and it went away or something. Me, Rue will be there. Me and Rue. Me and Rue will be me, there, Stir. Me and. And we need hugs, Stir. Me and Rue. Yeah, it'd be good to see you again, man. <clears throat> Last time I saw you, you gave me like three, four, five, eight pogs. Pogs? Yeah. I thought you just said hugs weird. <laughs> okay, listen, listen, like, listen pogs, here, hugs, Evelyn. They're like the same. You gave me five or six, eight hugs. Listen pogs. here, Evelyn. Okay, I'm not a wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a fair assessment after 
I mean, uh, yeah. After you back, I said I wasn't up, defending his you, after you They hit each man, other. Yeah, after you backed up a man that <laughs> beat the fuck out of a woman. I never defended his actions. I said he was transparent. Alex, blink twice if you feel if you don't feel safe at all. <laughs> She's fine. She told me that she, she doesn't feels, want to leave the house. She well, feels safe why. at home. Right, right, yeah. She doesn't even want to, you know, leave the house. Of course you know, she she's doesn't. Fine she doesn't to be there. see her. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want anybody she to see me like this. Yeah, she walk around the house with two black eyes. Yeah. Damn, we got a lot of doorknobs in this house. Shit. She's so clumsy. She keeps falling. <laughs> it's right into my beer cans. Right. I thought it was her gothic makeup. I don't know. My beer bottles, my beer Terrible. cans. It's not fun. <laughs> It's not no domestic violence is now funny. She ran right into that. Both physical bottle. and mental domestic violence is not okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> take a restroom break before the guest comes yeah, on. Yeah, I do. I gotta do that as well. well I gotta. You guys can continue on with your domestic Ooh. abuse. Well, we can we can talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. Here we go breaking shit. See, that's the way you... Who hit my headphones attached to my foot? Oh, my damn. Oh, my damn. Oh, my dinger. <laughs> Omen dinger. You know what Omen dinger is? He's a race car fucking, driver. You want one? You know, just, mm, you know? <laughs> it's all about aesthetic. Just, ha, you know? I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> can't you can't be here with you women beaters. Everybody in the chat. God damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Labyrinthon, we will be there for sure. We will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I think I gave I think I think gave Paul a heart attack today when I told him that I might be able to get off Thursday. Oh, shit. So we can leave, like, Thursday during the day. And he's like, is, is this some kind of April Fool's fucking prank or what? And I'm like... I didn't realize. I forgot the day was, like, April Fool's. I'm surprised like, he uh, remembered. What the fuck? What's that for? Uh, I was like, uh, no. I was I totally expected to show up today and then Paul be like, oh shit, it's, it's April Fool's today? How did you know that? Yeah, right. I don't partake in it. For no, I, mean, I don't either. Like, like, I did when I was younger, but like, it's just not fun anymore. No. No, I just fucked up shit. I like the truth. I don't, I don't like to go around lie to people and then like make them get their hopes up about shit this world sucks too bad to go around and just like get people's either hopes up or hopes down just as a joke for no reason like it's just it's just not something i want to do it, it feels dirty on my soul makes my soul feel dirty i don't like yeah, it yeah i'm not a fan i mean so i don't if you do want to play jokes that's fine I don't yeah care. yeah if you want to do innocent jokes like poke fun and put, you know put an airbag under your you know your co-worker's seat that's fine but like, yeah. don't be, don't, don't make a post of like, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> like, it's not funny. Uh, I mean, it, it, what's really funny is when karma comes and strikes your ass, and you are pregnant, and you're like, fuck. Oh, ooh, <laughs> April second, that's a real day. You're gonna come back pregnant. Right. <laughs> wait till that April. Funny. Wait till that April two roll around, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jokes just, just having fun and like everybody has fun with it. That's okay, but you know, it's like I, they, some people just make it way too cringe. They they do jokes that aren't even funny. That like they'll they'll just go on and on and on about something and make somebody be like, yeah, this is the whole scenario that's gonna happen, and then it, it's not. Uh, I don't know. That's just not not for me. I like I like things that are funny. What was the joke? You were in there holding your dick. Don't come in I here know, and ask me to hold, do a whole recap the whole time you were playing with yourself. I don't need hey, a recap. Right after the show, you can check out the replay. You can check it out <laughs> on YouTube and anywhere else you can get a podcast. I think just Spotify. We, can still, we still do that, right? Yeah. Uh, All right. Everywhere or just Spotify? Most everywhere. Most everywhere. We're on video on Spotify. The, you this, can watch this video. This stream? I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna go right now. And look at last week. Well, yeah, yeah, you see. can watch the video on Spotify and YouTube, but only but live on YouTube. Yeah, you can't watch live on Spotify. Yeah, you can only interact with us live on YouTube or on Instagram, Twitter, Insta. We gotta Facebook. take a break, or are we just gonna bring them in hot? No, not when we're doing the show. You gotta go to YouTube. Oh yeah, what I'm saying in general. Yeah, you can interact with us there. Yeah, but that's like after hours. Yeah, I'm talking about while we're doing this. You could talk to us live, and we will talk to you back. We will. On YouTube. 
It's your birthday. You can't go to. You can't. I mean, if you message us, I guess, and somebody sees it. Oh, that's why you texted me Happy New Year's eleven time. I was so confused. I'm not a pagan. I didn't know pagans had different New Year's Day. Oh, you're pagan, all right. You're getting paid. (laughs) Not true. (laughs) Definitely not into that. Definitely not into that. Did you hear that tap? Mm -hmm. It was loud. It was tappy. Tap tap tappy. Sounds like Christmas. Tap 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 tap. The jingle bells far away. We got Alex Abbas. Alex Abbas. Abbas. Why is it it spelled wrong? You know, no. (laughs) You don't know. You don't know. But it's spelled different now. It is. Wasn't there a Y in there? There is now. There wasn't back then. There's an I in there. Yeah. A Y or an I? Uh huh. A Y then? I now? No. Reverse. I then, why now? Yeah. Why now? I don't know. Why now? I don't know why. Why now? now? I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna have, we're gonna have to ask why now. Why now? Why? I was so, gonna ask why now. Are we why? doing? Is it? Can I ask this question, or you can just tell me to mind my business? Are we? Is he gonna be on video or just call it? Uh, it's gonna be. Oh, he's gonna no. be on in a little bit. Okay. This is Spotify. That answered my question. You can yeah. see us on Spotify. You can look at that. Oh, oh! You just click on it, and then, and then, and then the boop. Oh, look at that! Oh, it does it full screen? It oh, full yeah. screens. Yeah, Spotify video, baby. Wow, Spotify video. Sorry baby. if I fucked your headphone up. My hand <clears throat> I don't know. I just sorry. I, I didn't want to inter- interrupt, but like, I just have to show the people. Like it, boom. But yeah, eleven days. Is that right? Uh, Merle? eleven days or what? I guess Astros. What are you saying? Yeah, we gotta go all of next week and then the following week, and then we leave. Yeah, but we'll be here next week. Yeah, we got one more show before we leave. One more replicon before Astronomicon. They just announced the uh, panel schedule today. Uh, are you interested? Yeah, some of it. I fell asleep in the panel last year. Got yelled at. <laughs> oh, uh, I know we, we don't we don't really have a whole lot of time to talk about. It. We can talk about it later, oh, but. Shit. They did announce. So they not they, you know they they did the schedule the movie night no drink that's what you fell asleep in wasn't it no I, well yeah it was oh, the movie I night, fell asleep I in the fell, movie night but I fell asleep in the last panel that night so the Friday movie night. we'll go over the whole thing later like maybe after Alex um, but movie night is night one at eight o'clock why eight o'clock so people don't fall the VIP asleep. party doesn't start till ten ten to two so Friday when we get there at two. That's when Blaze starts. Yeah. The the via, the Blaze brews with Blaze. And then Astro. And then the convention is seven or five thirty. Five to eight. To, well, till I guess ten because, but I'm sure it probably closes at seven. So they got I don't know what the first there's a panel and then there's the Alex panel and then there's movie night with Twisted then there's the VIP party. I don't have. So VIP instead VIP of two in the morning after the thing, it's at eight. So from eight to ten is the movie. People will stay awake. I'll just be in the parking lot. And maybe go. Um, And then the VIP party. I'm sure I'll be in the parking lot. I don't have a VIP ticket. Mm -hmm. I can't get in. And then the pop-up shop is at 2 a.m. Where's that at? The Holiday Inn Express. Oh, yeah. We won't be there. I I think we were asleep last time. Yeah. Or part or something. It was, uh, yeah, Either were, asleep or party. You were probably sleeping. I was probably asleep because we was, drove straight there. And I was back at the hotel. I was so tired. That's why I don't want to be that this year. Which would be cool. Yeah, I think that's... Well, I think we're going to do something like that. Or we're just going to go all the way, I think. Yeah, I think we're... If we go that's through, what I was telling you. If really, we leave Thursday, we're going to go all the yeah, way. Yeah, if you, yeah. We might get off work, so... If I can get off work, we'll drive all the way through. That's why I, I'll you, be able to the drive idea through. was we were gonna leave it like night. Yeah, and I, was and like, I didn't. Yeah, I don't trust doing all that. That's why I was like, maybe we'll make it, maybe we won't. I was like, I don't want to book the hotel and be like six hours into it and be like, okay, I don't think I can stay awake anymore. And I feel like that'd be dumb because we wouldn't get up there until fucking three o'clock in the morning anyway. Yeah, I mean it would suck, but it would suck less than uh, yeah driving nine hours and then partying immediately. Yeah. Yes, I did. I was sleeping during that thing. 100%. I remember. <laughs> it was like, t- it started at like 
don't know. Uh, like two in the morning my, or something. Hey, hey, bro, my, and you yelled my, at me about leaving. The my drive boy don't work. My beer guy don't work there no more. Yeah, I did. Because it was late, and I was—I didn't want to fall asleep. I didn't leave. Room. I fell asleep. I still had to drive a half hour. To I get drove home. nine hours. Yeah. Then I played beer pong immediately. Then I went to an entire convention. Then a concert. Yeah. Then a movie. Yeah. And I fell asleep during the movie. Yeah. 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 I didn't go to one fucking. Yeah, but movie. you didn't have to drive another nine hours to get home. No. After the you. movie, I had to drive what forty-five minutes, I think. He fell asleep in the movie. I fell asleep in the very last panel and got woke up by fucking Dustin. Y'all, that'd be like, bro, dude, I'm fucking tired. I ain't even drunk, bro. I ain't even drink nothing, really. Yeah, I bet he believed that. No, he didn't. Shout out to Jeff. But it was true because, like, dude, I've been up since fucking 3 o'clock in the goddamn morning. We drove all the way to fuck here. Of course I'm fucking tired. Yeah. It was tiresome. Yes, bring some Gouda chips. I'm I'll eat the shit out of those. We are boring as hell. Fuck yeah. Get to it already! Oh, oh my god. God, did you just call him already? Jesus Christ. Fuck! Jeff. Jeff? Fuck! Stop. I can't do it. I can't do that. <laughs> it's like you do know this is part of the whole show, the right? The comment like, was one thing, but you're way worse than that guy. So what, are you, so what are you saying? Jeff. I mean, you think we control when we bring this guy on? Jeff, do you think we? Slots, bro. You think you can replace that body, man? Yeah, come on, come on in. I don't know why you got to replace. There's a, a plenty of room because for another I, square on there. I won't have to listen to you. I just have to hear his comment. You could just be our yeah, because that's the only thing he's gonna say is like, yeah, you remember those comments that I said? Yeah, that's it. You could be our third guest from the chat room. And only reply in chat. For Put him in the back room. So there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's coming, man. Coming, what are we man. getting to? I mean, we have time slots for a reason. Sorry, you don't know how things work in this world. Like we're doing an interview on the show. Yeah, it's not like, like it's not like we have them sitting out in the back room just hanging out. Yeah, we're where it'll be like, oh, we're gonna bring you on when we want to bring. Yeah, you this on. isn't a concert where they're just in their tour bus in the back. But they still wouldn't come on. Yeah, really. yeah, and then we wait four hours while everybody's standing there. You do know the artists are already there. You just they're just not in front of you. Right. No, that's not how this works. We're doing a show. Alex is gonna call in when he gets here for his time slot. Yeah, he gave us a time when he would be available. And he's going to be on. And we're just doing our normal time slot. And we're going to talk about stuff. If you don't like it, well, cool. And we're going to reveal the J.B. Madrox cover. And we're going to reveal some other stuff. If and you don't we like didn't it. even tell anybody this is part one. You can fuck oh, off. If you don't like <laughs> it, you can email the replicant is watching at gmail.com. Become a sponsor. And tell us all about <laughs> it. Tell us oh, fuck yeah. off every week. Oh, you became a sponsor. <laughs> I would love to have a hater sponsor. Right. <laughs> Like, this show is brought to you by fuck Replicon Radio. Yeah, Replicon Radio is the worst fucking show ever. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I'm going to pay them to shut the fuck up for four hours. That'd be fantastic. All right. We'll go home, everybody. That would be pretty epic. But yeah, it's going down. There you go. See? <laughs> Boom. We've been told before by a hater that we got the best deck. I mean, it was on a shirt. I still got it. That is true. Uh, it was one of my favorite shirts that I ever made. It's the only one, but it was my favorite. It is true. Unfortunately, that is true. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what that guy's been up to lately. Hate. Hate. <laughs> Look at all these haters. Surrounding me every day. That is one thing that we do have. We may suck. We may be boring. But we are still going to be here on Monday night, 6 to 10 Central standard time and what he said we're gonna be here whether we suck or not we got your attention you're here aren't you? <laughs> we've only we been, must be doing something yeah, right if you're only, here it only took us eight years to get jeff's attention right but we did it hey. we did it hey guess who's here now though shout out to jeff shout out to jeff tell us how boring we are again will you because you must be just as bored to be here hey man you know, we don't we, ever do anything you want to pay attention to, and more, all of a sudden you're here, huh? Yeah, yeah, we're more so just like hanging out with people, man. Like, if you want to come and talk shit with us every week, absolutely. Oh, 100. Like, yeah, yeah, look at you. So oh, you must shit. be just he as boring as we are, huh? He don't, he don't work tonight, so he does listen. Thanks, buddy. 
Well, we appreciate it. Oh, DC Fago guy. We just like talking shit. Yeah, but, DC Fago. Yeah, we know we're that boring, especially at certain points. We de- we definitely suck and we hate each other. We're like, what the fuck are we? Why are we still live? We we get it, okay? But we do bring that fire sometimes, and we hope that this interview is going to be one of them times. Shout I'm pretty DC. sure they will be. <laughs> Shout out to DC Fago guy. Shout out to Shape. But yeah. Oh, did, shape as well. did you put this one on the screen already? I did, but you can put it back. I'll put it back. I think we are uh, one of the longest running Juggalo podcasts. Uh, yeah, yes, absolutely. we are. The power of fast forward. That's also true, too. Yeah. That, that See, now, as a Tuesday listener, I totally get that. You could just, you just zoom past all this dumb shit. And he's like, fuck, I never had to listen to this before. I always just kind of skipped until I got to the good part. Yeah. And then they, yeah. I get it. I get it. You're here now, though. Yeah, and suckered you in the night. And hopefully, you? you're doing something. And you're just hanging out. Grab a beer if you drink. If you don't, grab a water. Both is okay. Eat yeah. an edible. Man, grab a beer and a blunt, bro. Yeah, grab an edible. Take a seat. I'll take an edible and a sip of beer with you. Where's my edibles? Hold on. Turn the game on. Or the video game. Just whatever. Hang out. Touch shit. And, you and know, enjoy yourself, man. And if we can get it, you know, Alex is going to be here. We got to, you know, talk to him. Oh, oh, he's uh no, <laughs> damn Mark. Canceled. Wait. Damn Mark, what you been? What's your algorithm up to? You're they're showing you Spanish ads. You're looking up that Latina porn again. Sweet. No, oh, no. Hey, we can hear you. No, but it's fine. I'll just, I'll just go ahead. Boop. There you go. That fuck up your headphones. Uh, it did do something. It did a little something. <laughs> right? Yeah, it didn't fuck them up and just like cut them out. It, and it like do the little, like, little pressure. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm. uh, thanks, Labyrinthine. Labyrinthine, you're the shit, bro. Y'all are the shit. I would love Everybody to. Everybody tune in right now or that tunes in on a daily, on a, on a weekly. I'm Y'all just, the shit. I'm just saying. I mean, I would huff some paint, but I think Rue would be really mad if I accidentally get something on the table. Yeah, I might be. Um, so. Yeah, and I got this beard. It gets in the beard. It's not. It doesn't. It doesn't do well. You know, because like the silver really stands out. Gold, it kind of blends in a little bit, but like silver is like boom. Like, uh, Thuggalo show was fresh, but it fell off a cliff when main dude left. Well, I mean, facts. Yeah, that was the uh, Barbell House guy, right? No, Bar- it was uh, Cinderella. Oh, okay. What and you know doing? that it sucks. I'm not saying the show sucks. I'm just saying that it sucks when, sorry, uh, it shows when people start falling off and stuff like that. It's not easy. It is not easy to to do this every fucking week. It takes week. a lot of hard work and dedication. I it appreciate really, all the love right now. It really does. It really um, does. But now we have to get to work. We appreciate you, Drew. <laughs> and like he said, we do have to get to work. I just wanted to appreciate that. Thank you. And uh, we are going to get to the... Share the link out. If you guys are, if you guys are uh, here, right. you're hanging out, share the link. Let the people know what's going on. Alex is here. Just oh, turn, shit. turn your camera off. We're going to talk we'll all about it. Yeah, well. But first, we're going to watch a little video about his brand new book, which is called. I'll leave that open until he, get, until he comes in here and I'll shut it. It gets hot. It gets hot in here, everybody. It's hot. It does. I haven't got the AC on. It's fine right now. I just know that we're going to... I'm assuming this is going to be so exciting. I I feel like this is going to be a a lengthy interview. So (laughs) I feel like we're going to watch a real quick video about the uh, the new book from Alex Abyss. It's called Chivalrous Chivalrous Arts. Well, I mean, you can do it. So check this out. I am the last of the Animosus Knights. My entire order has vanished. There's no one left but me now. A man, 500 years out of time. It is fate itself that has brought me here. I sense a terrible darkness upon this new land that is ready to consume all. This new world is full of ignorance. They can do nothing to stop the horrors to come. I am all alone, but I am not afraid. It is my sworn duty to protect me. I must act now, but if I fail, I fear all of humanity will fail with me. 
But there is one thing that is in my favor. The one path that can always bring victory. I call upon all of my trust. I call upon all of the lost knowledge of the ancient world. I call upon horsemanship and swordsmanship, craft and creations, honor and valor, wisdom and justice, life and the light, the chivalrous arts. Yeah, but he doesn't have a mic. Oh. Ah. Boom. That looks dope as hell. Boom. It does. The, yeah. uh, I'm excited for it. And, yes, uh, yes, Jeff. That is, he's talking about the comic book that he is releasing at Astro. Yes, sir. That was his like little promo tra- trailer for it. And I'm gonna quote me a copy when I'm there. And we got Alex Abyss right here on the line right now. Alex, are you there? Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? Hey. What's up, Abyss? What's going Holy on, brother? Oh my god! Shit. Talking to the legend himself. It's true, yeah. man. It's true, man. I'm not gonna. I gotta sit here. I gotta be 100 real. Make sure I know who's who. So who's Mr. Uh, Longbeard looking fresh? That's Rue. That's me. I'm right. That's here. Big Rue. Okay, got it. And then we got DMB and I, Freaky I, P. Yeah, I, and that's I, the crew. Yeah, I'm Dead Body sure. Man. D, DBM right here. DBM. All right, got it. Or you got uh, it. I'll, 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 <laughs> can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, there's a little bit of mumbling. Is that coming through on the stream, or is that just in my? Uh, it, could, it might just be coming through there. It's a uh, just through the uh, through the cord there. Uh, okay. I mean, you know, I, I can't read the comments, but if you're listening, if you could comment that the audio sounds good, or we should try some adjustment in the comments, that would be dope. Yeah, let us know if you. Yep. Okay, stir crazy. Stir fine. I, yeah, I trust good. stir crazy. Yeah, I do. He, he what, does things with audio. <laughs> okay so he says he says we sound good yep everybody yeah. says it's coming through good man all right sweet so we just watched the okay. video for the brand new uh comic book yeah man so uh you know i don't know who's familiar with what so i'll just get down to it so uh back in like uh 2020 2021 when everything was shut down i have a business out in cali uh i do video games and it shut down like i don't know almost everybody it didn't matter what you did you know your shit was just like shut unless you were like a paramedic or a firefighter fire, fire, firefighter then they're like fuck it dude you got <laughs> you got to keep working you right. can't you can't just chill for a year right so anyway so uh i've been dming and gming for a long long time you know, people tell me that my stuff's really good. So uh, I took all my best notes and I wrote this book. And uh, yeah, this book, I feel definitely would definitely have quite a bit of crossover appeal. I mean, you just can't manage ICP and Twisted and just be like just this normal manager guy, right? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, I got there's some pretty fucking dark, sick shit that's uh, happening in that book that I definitely think that, you know, uh, some juggalos would definitely uh, find appealing for sure. And uh, the, the, the book's just gorgeous. It's a beautiful book. Uh, the guy that drew it, uh, Ryan T, he's going to be at uh, Astro. Uh, I got a panel there. Uh, I don't know, seminar panel. I don't know how they technically describe it. Same going way. down uh, uh, Friday night where we're going to go uh, into uh, – a lot about the book and a lot of uh, other cool things but yeah man it's uh excited times uh just got done cutting a deal with uh amazon gonna get that on there exclusively for uh people that would prefer uh, a digital copy uh being honest i mean the digital copy is super dope because you can go panel by panel but if this ends up blowing up it ends up being the next big thing only the juggalos that got it the first press first edition at astro i mean those are the only ones that are going to make 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 money off of it you know what i'm saying like if you just got a, di- a digital copy or some second third press that you bought a year later at some comic book store that probably ain't gonna be worth nothing so buy it now you gotta get that first printing man now. hey you know what guys so i was at the la comic con i live in the san diego area and I got access to both those cons, but I was just like, you know, there's just like no way. I was just like, 
George and Paul and Jamie, you know, because Astro is a little different than the gathering. It's kind of like if you were to like explain it, I, I mean, you guys can come back at me and be like, I see this way. But the way I see it is almost like a pop con yeah. with concerts at night. Yep. Maybe yeah. you guys see it differently, but that's kind of how I see Astro. No, I and there was a, go ahead, say, let me hear what you guys' opinion on that. No, I think you nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just like, you can't get any better than this. So I ended up, was originally thinking about dropping the book uh, at the uh, LA Comic Con. But instead, I just ran promotions when I was out there. And I was just like, nah, I'm going to drop this at uh, Astro. It would be really cool, you know, to see see the Juggalos after all these years. I think and it's yeah, it's just idea. fun. I think it's a great idea because, like, everybody wins off of that publicity. Like, you win because you get to sell the comic and you get, you know, your name out there again. And, like, hey, this is what I'm doing now. And then Twisted wins because it's like, hey, we got Alex back and all that stuff. And so, like, it, I think it's a, it's like a, a perfect world storm of uh, publicity that just works for, for everybody. I think it's a great idea that you chose the Astro to, to release that comic. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's just a situation where, you know, they kind of run this pop con, comic con thing. And, yeah, I don't know. It's just a win, win, win. But, yeah, I'm really excited to go to Astro. I'm really excited to uh, drop the book. And, you know, the book actually doesn't come out till April 24th. So, you know, at Astro, you can get it almost two weeks early, which I think is, you know, something really dope. Just a special treat for uh, the uh, Juggalos. Like, how crazy is it that, like, a band that you used to manage and, like, the gathering was the big thing. And then, like, you're like, ah, I'm going to step away for a little while. And then you go into comic books and then the band made an event that's as big as the gathering now or what you know like in the hearts of the juggalos that is comic book based and you're like oh shit yeah. like damn oh shit you're in comic books too damn all right what's up i, I just think it's crazy that that's how like how the how everything ended up for now it, it, it is it really is it's like almost uh they call it a synchronicity mm-hmm. like you like you can't even like make this shit up it's just like well you know i was getting i was already had the book like written and then i'm you know sitting there thinking you know how am i going to roll it out or where i'm going to debut it and it was just like you know twisted has a pop con right it's like right oh yeah right (laughs) well all right (laughs) and you know i think this is it's like gonna get the biggest splash in the pan you know at releasing it at astro and then it's like okay cool now you got the traction now you can go to other cons and like hey this is the shit you know yeah, I mean, honestly, I, it's a really, really uh, strong title. Like, I look, bro, I mean, there's other people that come out, you know, especially because, like, all the years I was in the music industry, and, like, just people come out and, like, hey, Alex, check out my demo. And it's just, like, ass. And I'm just like, <laughs> bro, this, this ain't good, bro. So, I mean, I had to sit there, and I was just like, there's no fucking way in hell that I'm fucking getting – I'm not back in music, but I am back in entertainment. There is a slight difference, but there's like, there's no way I'm getting back in entertainment if the book is anything less than a 10. I mean, I have to look for my artist, Ryan T. Man, I looked for him for a half a fucking year going through people until I found the the best artist. I don't give a fuck. I don't like like hyping myself up too much, but I will hype up Ryan. I don't give a fuck. You can put any motherfucker on the planet in a drawing contest, I'll put my money on Ryan every fucking time. That motherfucker's hands are blessed. He <laughs> he can draw some shit. If you're listening, Ryan, but you might have to you might have to draw a picture or two live at Astro to prove this point. <laughs> Hell yeah, that'd be awesome. He'll be there, man. He'll be there. Yeah, it's so crazy how it all, like you said, it all just kind of came back around. I kind of want to ask you about that too. Like, so you. And we'll get into the past a little bit later. We won't talk about the book right now, but uh, but just being gone from this scene for so long, you know, and now you're coming back to Astronomicon, but you linked back up with Twisted when they did the NetFest during COVID. How did you guys like come back together? Like, how did that relationship come back around? How did you guys end up linking yeah. up for that? I know you just made a short appearance on there. Bro, I'm so sorry. I've always been around. I mean, I mean, you want some like, you know, like honest, like, uh true feelings like sometimes like i would see like events and i'm not gonna name any events but you can probably guess the events 
And I'm like, man, do I need to call up and get myself invited to that event? And I was just like, man, Alex, you can't fucking do that, bro. That's some buster shit. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta wait for the fucking the phone to ring. Yeah. You know, so like I'm just like I'm like I'm being really honest with you guys. Like these are like the higher levels of politics. Some of the jugglers listening right now might not understand, but I am letting you guys know that it, this is really how it works at the highest levels of politics. Do you guys understand what I'm saying or oh, not? Really? Sure. Yeah. Oh, you do. Okay, oh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, I'm waiting, waiting for these phone calls for these certain events, and I'm like, man, that's off the chain. I would love to get invited to that. And then, you know, it is what it is. Nothing really happened. And so when the guys, uh, when the phone did ring, it's like, hey, you want to blah, 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 give, give us this plug? I was like, sure. I'll take anything, <laughs> I'll take anything I can get. It sounds great. <laughs> so, yeah, I just, just did it. It was fun. That's awesome. So you guys just kind of, so just someone finally reached out, um, which is awesome. Shout out to uh, George and, and Twisted for, uh, for doing that because that's huge. For us, just as fans, like that's 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 cool to see because that yeah. you know what I mean. Like that was, you know, family this, family that. You guys wore our family growing up, Juggalo. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So that that's dope to come around, and now here we are. You got a comic book coming out. You're gonna be at Astronomicon debuting it, and we kind of uh, we talked about it a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna reveal. Jamie actually did a cover for your book. Oh. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, reveal that, and let's talk about how that went down. Oh, the big reveal. I'm excited for this. <laughs> Hold on, give me one second. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're going to pull this Press up. the button, Brenton. Yeah, Alex, yeah, Alex, so you know that the three of us, we, we're old school juggalos, man. We, I mean, I've been personally, I think P and I, we've been listening to this since like 94, 95-ish, so... I think Dead Body Man actually came in a little later. Yeah, like 96, 96. Oh, no, 97. When, when did Malenko, when was that out? Like 97? 97, then kind of 98. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That, the re-release. That's about right. when I, the first time I ever heard him was on a great Malenko cassette. Yeah, you're young. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. There it is. That's it's up on your cool. screen right now, guys. The uh, hashtag Jamie dope. Drew, it pops in vintage. Jamie Madrox. I think that's the best Madrox thing I've ever seen. Exclusive cover for Chivalrous Arts. That's so dope. That is dope. Yeah, that is that 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 is dope. So yeah, so like uh, you know, uh, we're gonna have like combo packs where you can get both covers and like a a bunch of extra free stuff for like one price. But yeah, I'll tell you this, man. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't know how far Chivalrous Arts is gonna go, but if I do end up getting a, a animated series, you know, I don't know, man. I'm just saying, if I win. The Juggalos are going to win. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> maybe buy, maybe buy, maybe buy two copies. Keep one mint. Read the other one, and, and just see. You know, fucking a. No, no, you know, we got a we got a role play game coming out. We got a board game coming out. We're hoping to at least get a mobile app, if not a full video game. And I mean, it's cool. I mean, like if you can go back in time and buy some. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Right. I mean, would you oh, grab one or would you grab that whole? <laughs> would whole you grab that whole? Box. Give me the box. Stack. Whole fucking box, bro. <laughs> you guys, you guys have any idea? Look, listen, I want to be clear. I mean, I just threw that out there as a similar type example, but no, my shit ain't going no Ninja Turtles. Maybe one percent, <laughs> but you guys have any idea what a first press copy of Ninja Turtles is worth? Yeah, it's probably about yeah. 10, 20 grand. Way more. Way more. So we're looking at way more. Price. So we're looking probably about seven hundred thou. Yeah, a gem mint copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is about a half million dollars. Ooh, dang. Crazy. Yeah, you know what that original sticker book sticker price on that book was? Twenty five cents, like two bucks. Or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was like what? It was two dollars and ninety five cents. Yeah, it was a little was... little price gouging. Yeah, I was say, that was the <laughs> ninety. So yeah. That, Back in the day, most of the books was like ninety nine cents or a dollar ninety five. Back then, yeah, that's crazy. Fucking, fucking funny. Yeah. So anyway, man. So let me talk about that cover. So, uh, you know, I was, uh, I, I was in Detroit. You know, I so I live in Cali, but I still have a bunch of friends and family in, in, in Detroit. And so I was there, and. Uh, I came in to the office to uh, 
Magic Ninja Entertainment. And I was just sitting there and I was talking with uh, George and, you know, I just cut that promo video that you guys had shown. And I, and I had the, uh, mm, about half the book done. I kind of had it printed out and George was uh, <laughs> thumbing through it. And then Jamie came in and he sat down He's just like, I heard the video from the hall. Can you play it? And I played it. <laughs> he's like, this is dope, man. And then he's then he looked like looked through the video. I'm sorry, looked through the the printout. And he was seeing all like the scary fucking monsters and all the horrific beasts and demons and shit that are in the book. This is no kitty book, by the way. I mean, it's definitely a very dark feel, cryptic type horror, you know, type book. Uh so but it's also got like these badass knights. Well, I, I don't want to ruin the plot, but it's it's good shit. You guys trust me on anything, trust me on this. <laughs> the book's dope, and you guys will enjoy it. So anyway, so Jamie uh was going through it and he's just like, this, this, this is dope. He's like, man, he's like, I want to hook you up. And I was like, how's that? He's just like, I want to do you a cover. I was like, really? He was like, yeah. And I was just like, okay, cool. How about I give you a thousand dollars? And he was like, what? I was like, two thousand? He was like, what? I was like, fuck hey, what four thousand? He's like, he's like, man, I'm a nice guy. I'm getting a little upset. I was like, I don't understand. What is it? He's like, I don't want no money, bro. I was like, oh, oh, oh damn, I'm dude. A- Give me. Oh, I get it. Oh, the other way. Oh, the, oh, okay. I get it. I was completely going. I was, I was completely going in the wrong direction. You're listening, Jamie. I love you, bro. Thanks for the hookup, man. But yeah, so he, you guys got to understand, man. You know how much fucking work that was? Probably worked on that thing for a fucking week. Oh, sure. Yeah. But yeah, so he just went at it. He looked through some of the different monsters and characters, and then he picked this uh, one monster. Uh, that was uh, predominantly featured in the book, and he freaked it, man, and it was uh, awesome. Yeah, it turned out pretty badass. Yeah, free of charge, man. Now, were those Fucking, like limited yeah. edition Astro exclusives, or? Uh... So here's the way that book works. Uh, that book will. Uh, I don't know what the was. I think that cover I pressed. Uh, I think I think I ended up pressing up fifteen hundred copies of that cover. So if they all blow out at Astro, they all blow out at Astro. But if they end up, you know, going on the website and then uh, a few weeks later, they run out and then they run out. The bottom, the bottom line is that book, you're never going to see it with like second press or third press. Once sure. that book is gone, that book is gone. It's, gonna it's gone. never going to be, pre- it's never, that, that cover will never be pressed up again. So get to Astro and grab you a copy. Yeah, bro, I, you know what? Uh, I mean, that's just how it works, man. It's just like, it was like, oh, where'd you get that freshness? Where'd you get that it's convention special convention? Absolutely. I went to the convention and I'm not trying to taunt the jug, but bro, if you can make it, let's go, man, go to Astro. It's going to be fun. For sure. Yeah. You got, uh, you still got, you know, 10, 11 days to figure it out. Yeah. That's plenty of time to tell your boss you ain't going to make it to work. Well, depends on your. It's boss. not a request; <laughs> it's a notice. You're telling them you're not going to be there, and they need to figure it out. That's right. We're not going to make it. Yeah, I'm not coming in that day. You figure I'm it out. I'm not going to make it. No, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> That's right. I'm not it Use my old. PTO. I'm excited for it. Man. <laughs> and that that the little the uh, the commercial or, or you know the video we played at the beginning of the episode. I mean, that, I'm not gonna lie. That's that's like an animation all of its own, man. I would I yeah. would watch that just that you know if it was the, it was the full thing. How did that little thing come about? That's pretty cool. That is dope. Yeah, I got a couple. Uh, I got a, I guess I'm just a popular guy. I got friends everywhere. I got a buddy of mine uh, out in Cali. All he does is video shit, and I'm just like, uh, I'm like you know, you owe me a favor, bro. And he's just like, yeah. I'm like, I want to cash it in. He's just like, man, this is like a hundred favors, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know how much fucking work this is. So anyway, I don't know. We we worked we worked it out, and he hooked me up, and yeah, I was really happy with it. 
It looks great. Yeah, thanks, guys. For sure, man. I think it's super cool. I'm excited for it. And I'm not like I'm not a big comic book collector or comic book guy at all, but I'm I'm looking forward to picking this up for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm telling you, man. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't like I said before. I seriously been writing for a long time. And uh yeah, another thing was just, you know, like I used to be a big Star Wars fan and a Lord of the Rings fan, and even Marvel, you know, I said this before, like everything they've just been putting out was fucking like just the last like three, four years, just been so disappointing. So I was like, you know what, man? Let me put out my own fucking shit. Show them how to put something fucking entertaining and dope out. I trust me. I guarantee guarantee you, you'll have a good read on that book. Yeah, if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. Yeah, that's true. And I I just had had a quick question. I know you haven't been to the con yet or anything like that, but I know you've been hanging around uh, for, you know, you've seen him doing the con and all that stuff. Not that he has to be a part of everything comic in the, the you know, the Twisted World and all that stuff. But, like, have you had any interactions with Dirk Manning? Because, like, he is, like, one of the big comic book guys in the, you know, the Astronomicon uh, scene and all that. And I'm, I'm sure you'll probably link up with him at Astro. I just I just figured I'd ask because you're talking about the longevity of your, your project. And, like, you're like, I don't know if it's going to go anywhere. And, you know, Dirk has been such a staple of like creating comic books, especially with Twisted, yeah, the haunted high, like the haunted high ons and all that stuff. I just wanted to know that maybe have you run, have you bumped shoulders with them at the maybe at the headquarters or something like that, or have you have you done anything with them, or or, or is that too much? Hey, the last time I seen Dirk Manning was at the Toledo Sports Arena in the late nineties, and we were just, we were talking. I, I ride no. it up for for comics. <laughs> I don't know what his situation was in comics at that point. But, you know, we had, like, various little comics, you know, that we were doing at that point and stuff. And, you know, we were just talking about comics. I had to talk with him for, like, about five minutes. But ironically enough, uh, as I was going through my search, I did then come across Dirk as a source. And then he gave me, like, a a bunch of artist options. And then I started going through Dirk those also. Really Actually, yeah, Dirk had a Dirk was a part of this book. Yeah, yeah he he's definitely a really was. good dude. And, and you know, it, it, if anything, I I think you should just go and do, hey man, the, the, at the at the Astro and you know, because just to hang out, you know, talk. Hey, if you're listening, if you're listening, Dirk, not only we cut it up at Astro, but uh, we got a free signed copy. Of chivalrous arts coming your way, bro. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Yeah. Yeah. I think Look at that. Be a great collab mm. or, you know, whatever. I think it'd be yeah. great for the industry, you know? Right. Yeah. Dirk's awesome. That's crazy because he back, that was probably back in the day when he shadowed ICP for that uh, uh, article or whatever he was writing. Yeah. Down. Right. Like a million. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you at this point. It's just a vague memory, but it was, it was, it was Toledo in the 90s. Crazy. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It's crazy how everything just goes full circle, man. Like, yeah, yeah, it really is. Like, it, re- it really fucking is. Yeah, it's wild. Um, you never know who you're gonna be talking to tomorrow. That's it's, it's just wild. Yeah. But. So I, I want to talk about the old times, obviously. And I, I told you uh, when we talked earlier in the week, Alex, that we wanted to share our story of the first time we actually interacted with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Um, so it was me and Rue. Yeah, it wasn't the, really. I don't think it was good, but it wasn't bad either. Yeah. It's, it's we've actually told this story a couple times because it's it's hilarious to us in retrospect. It is funny. Um, so it was, it was it's it got was a great a Peoria, catch right? Yeah, I was in Peoria. So it was the Peoria gathering, 2002. Um, it was me, Rue. We were with. Uh, I don't know if you remember a guy named Havoc. He was a vampire rapper. I was his manager. Um, and a couple I, other people. Uh. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, actually, I do. Do I you do remember something? I do remember something about this rapid vampire. Yeah, I don't. I never met the guy. I know. Yeah, he go did, on. He go got on, like yeah. six in underground psychos. Um, okay. So it, he had like a he had a proper ten minutes there. <laughs> but uh, so we were all at the gathering. You know, we're just juggalos having a good time, and uh, they ended up linking up with Sin with G Man. It was his first gathering too. It was like the introduction to Zug Island, and uh, they all were smoking together, and uh, he was like. He invited us up to his room. Yeah. And we're like, holy shit, where's a bunch of fucking kid juggalos? We're like, all right. He's like, he's like, I got more fucking weed in my room and pizza and shit, blah, blah, blah. So it was me. It was me, Rue, Havoc, 
our buddy Jason and their two girlfriends. So it was four dudes and two chicks. And uh, I'm not going to describe what the floor of the hotel looked like, but it was the <laughs> entire floor. I'm sure you've been on these floors before. Why well, he was there that day? <laughs> well, yeah, he was 100 percent there that day. We were the only men that weren't security guards. <laughs> um, we go into the that room. Was true. It was it was us, G Man, Esham, Lil Pig, and I think somebody else. And we were in there probably 30 minutes, 45 minutes, just hanging out, eating pizza. Everybody was smoking. Next thing you know, the door flies open. Flew open. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> like, and that. you just looked at your watch and you were like. It's a lot of ninjas in here, Sin. Like, like everybody got quiet. Like, Dad just walked in. Like, we're all of shit creek right now. Like, we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> it's a lot of ninjas in here. Um, and Sin was like, yeah, we're going to wrap it up up here. And you're like, all right, hurry up. And then, go ahead, B. No, you know, no. And then the door shut. You're like, all right, well, hurry up. So then you went out. And uh, clearly, we nobody was hurrying up. And you came back, and you were like, what I say? There was a lot of ninjas in here. Let's go. got to wrap it up. You guys get out. We're like, oh, shit. We're busted. <laughs> so, yeah, the first time we met, you kicked us out of a hotel room. But Awesome. What time was it? Was it late? Yeah, it was, well, it was probably like, well, the, the gathering we got over started when it about, I guess it got over at like midnight. So it was probably like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, first of all, I don't, honestly speaking, I don't remember the event. I would say the first thing that would like possibly like uh, put me in like a fucking, I don't know, like a fucking all right, regulating type mood. If like, because my number is on the main hotel for problem. Yeah. So they're going to call me for like, hey, one of your rooms is being too loud. We're about to call the police and kick you guys out. I'm not even saying that that happened, right. but that would be the, that would be the first thing to come to mind is that the hotel is sweating me. That one of my rooms is just is just too too fucking noisy. Right. So, right. No, we actually we weren't even mad. We oh thought, no, I wasn't mad at all. It wasn't <laughs> even like we weren't even like fuck that dude. We were just like, first of all, we were like, holy shit, that was fucking Alex. Yeah, we were like, oh my god, right. there he is. But like I said, I told you earlier, man, it was like you were like the father figure of the juggalo. So it was just like, daddy's home. Shit, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we're busted. We're in trouble. But it was just epic. Like it's it's funny because it's come like an inside joke for us. Like man, there's a lot of ninjas in here. Just because we had a room full of dudes, and it was just like, yeah. "Come on, G man, what are you doing, bro?" But what is the shit? Yeah, it was funny. Because, yeah, <laughs> because like, yeah, you came in and like, like we weren't even pissed off. We were just like, it was a, like a shocking moment for us. Like, dude, there's Alex. Like that dude's the shit right now. Oh, he just yelled at us. <laughs> <laughs> he just kicked us out, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> it was a good time for sure. Yeah, so uh, I don't remember the event, but I would have to say uh, the terminology is a uh, terminology that I would use. So, yeah, if you're going to pin that on me, I'm going to have to accept it. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was super funny. And I appreciate the memories you gave us that day. That was awesome. <laughs> it's For something sure, we'll man. never forget. Uh, but yeah, speaking of old times, man, I, I want to, I, I know we don't have all the time in the world, and we could probably talk to you for hours and hours and hours. But I do want to go back. Obviously, we, we people would hate us if we didn't talk about psychopathic ICP. Um, like one, I just want to know kind of how, like, if we could go from like a beginning, middle, end type of thing, you know. And I think hopefully we're going to catch up again at Astronomicon. So if we have more questions and things like that, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you. At Astro, we'll, uh, sure. yeah, let, yeah. Let me be clear on this. Uh, we're definitely, definitely doing our second interview. At Astro and video and all the shit and whatever questions, uh, because now the juggalos are like, oh, okay, cool. So if they have a question, well, if you're going, just hey, come say hi. And you can ask whatever question you want. But if you're not going, then uh, let the guys know. You know, be like, hey, can you ask them this? Can you ask them that? And yeah, and, uh, we'll we'll definitely do this uh, again at Astronomicon. Hell yeah, yeah. And I, and and his panel there, I know it's you know the the juggalo lore and. Uh, and the comic book. So I'm sure we'll talk, you'll talk more about that at the panel too. You guys don't want to miss the panel, but I just want to touch on it briefly. Like, you know, really just like how it all kind of came together. Cause I heard you recently, you were on an interview recently with uh, our friend Lars. And uh, I think you touched on it a little bit. Like you guys were all friends and like, I just want to talk on like how it all. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I want to, I want to make sure that the, that the true story is out there because like, there seems to be this like narrative that 
I was just this, like Johnny come lately after the fact, uh, like money guy that came around lately, you know, after the fact and fucking then laughed and stole and, and all that narrative, like, doesn't, none of that, none of that's the truth or the correct narrative. Like, I went to high school with those guys. I met Rob in Woodshop class. And uh, he was sitting there and he was designing a battle mech for a game called Battle Tech, which I don't know if you guys uh, ever heard of. And at the time, I was kind of into like uh, the whole transforming robot things. I looked pretty much big in anything like Japanese. And that was uh, for the people that probably have no clue what I'm talking about. That was like a really big craze in the late 80s, which is like the transforming robots. Yeah. Like you can like get in one. I don't know. They fire like missiles and lasers. <laughs> like gun or something. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro, bro. Look, I was like mech bots and shit. They were like spring loaded yeah. that they would shoot like missiles out. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of kind of like that. Yeah, you know, whatever, bro. I was like fucking. Like, were you 15, jumping a 16. mech suit? Yeah, yeah. Nerdy stuff. Huh? Yeah, yeah. You like it's <laughs> like being a, it's like being an it's like being in a, a armored suit. It's like almost being like in a tank, except the tank has legs. And has a bunch of fucking machine guns and hands. rocket launchers. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's right. A, it's an exosuit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what mechs are. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, if, if even if you don't know what that is, if you're a gamer, if you ever, if you want to just Google, like, I think it's called Mech Warrior. It was actually sold a, a shitload of copies, and that was for, like, Xbox and PlayStation. Yeah, but anyway, at the time, it was, like, a, a tabletop... Uh, combat simulator game called Battletech and he was sitting there and he was designing mechs and I was like oh that's really cool because uh kind of like uh I don't know just nerdy stuff at the time like I uh played Dungeons and Dragons and, and liked it of course back then when you played Dungeons and Dragons like you had to keep it to yourself because it was just like fucking you were like the devil yeah <laughs> like seriously yeah I like if you that. play versus versus now you guys want when you're uh when we're all together in uh L uh novi i'm sorry livonia uh for uh astro we can go all go strolling down the target and i'll show you fucking <laughs> all the dungeons and dragons books and the coffee fucking mugs and right. dice Everybody. and target like bro can you, you can't get no more fucking mainstream than a fucking target right <laughs> right <laughs> right that, that that just goes to show you like how, how full circle uh that that has gone yeah. yeah, so we we started gaming together, and then from there, you know, I met Joe, and I met Joey. Uh, Joe never really, I may have gamed, like, one time with him. Uh, gaming really wasn't his thing, but Joey was kind of got into it for, like, uh, a couple years. I definitely remember having a few uh, ad, uh, role-playing adventures with me, Rob, and Joey. And, yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were super, super fun. And then, yeah, and then, uh, you know, everyone else, Billy and, you know, other people that you guys have, have heard of. Yeah, we all went, we all went to school together. No oh, shit. That's crazy. That's awesome, though. Yeah. Yeah, because we, I had always, I was always under the impression that they kind of, uh, you know, they met you through Hot Hits, which I guess uh, your sister ran. Right. Right. So I did work at, yeah, this, this is the phenomenon of two things can be true at the same time. I did work at Hot Hits. Uh, that is absolutely true. Uh, and actually, I don't know if anyone knows, I had to keep working in Hot Hits all the way up till, till before Ringmaster came out. So Dog Beats, Carnival Carnage, and even fucking uh, Beverly Hills, Beverly Kills EP. I was still had to work because we just like, you know, we just weren't making enough money off of the uh records yeah we were still you know building it you were just a friend that had a job that had a little bit of yeah money. it was like <laughs> i'll help pay for this let's help let's get it going right that right exactly Ex exactly yeah and that was i mean for for old school juggalos that may or may not know because there's a shit ton of new juggalos but like hot hits was, was like the staple and shout out to your sister god rest her soul man when I went to the first gathering, which is the first time I ever traveled without my family, like I was, I just turned 16 or something. She was the first person I'd met, like, you know, like 
in that world. And she, you know, she was working at Hot Hits, and we had to go to Hot Hits because it was like Juggalo that was where you Mecca. Went, yeah. And she was the sweetest lady in the whole world. Like, like it was memorable moment to meet her, and like she was super cool. That store was amazing, and it was just, it was just. I just wanted to just give her a shout out because. Uh, yeah. yeah, it sucks, bro. Like I said, you know, I was saying on Lars' interview, like just 2020 was just such a bad year for me, and there's just no problem. Yeah, she died in 2020. I was like, of course, like because it was, it was, just, it was just a a terrible year. Yeah. Uh, another thing is this another, another interesting note is I had my my doggy. I had my, my doggy. Uh, her name was Candela. It was this uh, Chow Chow mm-hmm. that Joey gave to me. Believe it or not back in the day yeah and she lived 17 years and she died in 2020 oh, saying shit <laughs> yeah so yeah man it was just it was good yeah you know, i know i know probably everybody listening can be like hey all this shit happened to me in 20- i know bro i know trust right. me like I, I don't even know like one person's like oh 2020 was great Right. Not even fucking right. one. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody had a. I think twenty twenty killed year. a lot of dogs because it killed mine too. So yeah, it's terrible. So. Sorry about that, bro. Right. I mean, some people make fun of that shit, but man, when you when you've had one for a long time, man, well, that shit fair. hurts. Oh, that's yeah, that's fair. your that's boy fair. or that's your baby girl, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. No, it's, it's you know it's tragic to lose a pet for sure. So was that? I mean, go ahead. No, finish what finish your thought. I was gonna say, like you know, like how often, like with humans, you know, whether your girlfriend or your wife or you know whatever, or even your like buddy. I mean, most of the time it's like, hey, what's up, bro? But like you fucking your dog, bro. Do you get up in the morning and you know whatever, let them out of the bathroom or wherever they're at, and they come up running and they jump up yeah. on you. I mean, it's like legit. They're like legit hey what's up homie yeah, it's, the be- <laughs> it's the best kind of love for real right 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 glad to see you and it's like man i gotta go to the store anybody want to go now you look down now you see four fucking legs and a big fucking long tongue and <laughs> panting right <laughs> right yeah you're fucking, right, you son of right, a bitch i'm in yeah it's right exactly thing. just like you ain't gotta ask twice i'm always down to hey, I, yeah, I, I, huh? I'm a dog guy through and through. Like I'm never gonna have kids, but dogs are my family. So I I, I totally resonate with this. I, I get it. Through yeah, through. well, then you actually might get a little bit of extra kick out of my book because uh there's four main characters, and one of the main characters uh actually is a dog, Ooh. which I don't want to ruin any more of the plot. Uh-oh. He's actually a little bit more than a dog, but is he a, I, is bro, he a mystery investigator? He's got no uh, dog. No, this is fucking. He's not Scooby. <laughs> no, it's nothing. 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 Lame. nothing You'll lame. see. Just, just. You know what? He fights bro? crime. He's scrappy. You know, if you if you can swing it, read binge read the book Friday night. We'll, we'll talk Saturday if you if you can fit it in. If you can't, maybe if you can fit it in Saturday night. We'll talk Sunday, but we'll you'll see what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. So you'll but, be there, yeah. You'll be there all weekend, then, correct? Oh yeah. Right, cool. Oh yeah. All weekend. I got a autograph session. I got photo shoot. Yeah, I got I got I got event. I got event every day. And plus uh I mean I, I got a booth too. I mean I'm I'm not planning on uh being there, but I mean whatever. I'll be I'll be in and out. I'll be around. Let's just keep it it that way for sure. Yeah. So not to get like super deep or anything, but like, you know, we're talking about like all the loss in twenty twenty and you know, the world being shit and bad things happening was that kind of like maybe a catalyst for like you getting into writing this story like fuck it we're running out of time maybe linking back up with jamie and paul and 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 then like was that kind of a thing where it's like it's time for me to like do these things or made you remember like the happy days or you know what i mean like well you know i just fucking you know i've i've just always felt that i've had really really good writing abilities and you know like i would gm at like conventions professionally and it's almost the same skill set you know this is the world these are the characters this is the situation this is the drama except when you role play i'm like you know here you go you know you're gonna be a boxer and here you go you know you're gonna be a firefighter here you go you know you're a policeman and that's like for modern times if it's like in a fantasy setting or you're a ranger you know you're a knight you know, you're a wizard. 
you know, it's the same shit. And then they do the interaction. So the only difference is, you know, I create the heroes and this is what you have them do. And yeah, it's just like, I'm like, you know what? If I got all these good stories in me, you know, let me uh, get them out there. And uh, yeah, and just as far as, you know, like I said, they, you know, again, Google it. It's called a synchronicity. And you know, the fact that, you know, Paul and Jamie and George, you know, do a pop con, you know, it's just, just utterly fucking fantastic. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I can't wait for you to check it out either. Um, it's a good time. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. You'll have fun for sure. It'll be a good time. So going going back to the to the psychopathic stuff, the uh this I think this this will probably be the only negative part of the interview, if it's even negative. But uh speaking of 2020, ICP did the uh the Patreon streams and they did their uh their shoot interview and uh they told the story about kind of, I guess about you leaving and maybe like you mentioned earlier about you know money missing or whatever happened. So I just wanted to wanted to give you that opportunity to talk about that kind of like what happened at the end of your run there? Like I know yeah. the story goes, okay. you just committed to the, to the Joker cards and you just wanted to move on. Right. And then, so yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, here, here's the deal. Man. Right, hold on a second. You guys really want to know what I'm doing. I'm grabbing a bottle of water. I, saw, I, I got, I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got two of them sitting next to me. I'm drinking I, I medieval, understand completely. I'm drinking medieval no. water. It's fine. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta, can't be parched. You gotta be hydrated. Especially after such an intense. Yeah, he, well, he's gotta wet the whistle before he goes on and tells the tale. So, so even right now with what I'm doing, is am I am I getting back in entertainment? Yes, but entertainment is very broad. I'm still not getting back into music. Yeah, only fans uh, so only. The way, the way the way I work is when I'm into something, I'm a workaholic. So, like, I got to be into it or else I won't work on it. But if I'm into it, you know, working 60, 70, 80 hours a week, it's not a problem. Like, right now, like, you know, other than this interview, I've been seriously working 14 hours a day on all this shit to do uh, for my uh, book release. And that's just where I'm at. So if I'm into something, I love working it. And, you know, for the whole psychopathic records thing, I was fine with it because, you know, a deal is a deal. We were going to do the six Jokers cards, and I did them. And they did better than I thought. And it was a great success, and everybody had a good time. And then, honestly, you know, I, like, retired, and everything was good. And I was constantly in contact with Rob because uh, we could still had all the role-playing stuff and gaming stuff that we could do together. I was the last time I was at his house was either 2012 or 2013. We did some battle tech. A bunch of friends were there. Uh, what's the name of the big guy that he did the board game with? Does anybody know this man? Lewis. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Lewis. Lewis was there. I played some battle tech with a Lewis. It was a fun, fun time. And then. I played Echo side with Lewis. Yeah. 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 Right. And then uh, other than that, it's just like, you know, so he's still in Michigan. I'm in Cali. Just like, hey, conventions, gaming convention, you going? Okay, cool. See you there. You know, I'd see him uh, at gaming convention. Last time, you know, I seen him at gaming convention was like 2019. And, uh, but, you know, same thing. I said, Lars, hey, how, same thing I said every time. How are the guys doing? Oh, they're doing good. Tell him I said hi. I mean, like I said, like, never, ever, like, look, guys, this is seriously, like, no, we're not bullshit. We're talking, like, serious money here. Like, uh, come on. It's just, like, there's a certain way to, like, do business. I mean, like, can we talk about something or uh, send an email or a text message or a phone call or we had a question about one thing? Or, like I told Lars, just out and out, just audit all the fucking books then. You know, you don't have to guess. It's like well, there's systems in place. There's ways to do things. But yeah, it was just like out of nowhere. I just got lit the fuck up. And it was just a complete fucking surprise. Yeah. And that was, got you left in 2006, stuff. right? Am I, is it, am I right about that? Yeah. Yeah, I left in 2006. So 14 so years the, later, the, right. 
Right, right. It's fucking all these years. So on the shoot interview, so first of all, it was like there was three million in the savings account exactly, and that was weird. There was three million in the savings account because that's a round number. Because there was also several other hundreds of thousands of dollars in the checking account that didn't get mentioned. So yeah, it was true that when we chopped the three million dollars, it was like, hey. We we should do something for Billy. Where did that money come from? It came from the checking account. <laughs> oh, it did? Yeah. That, that's where that came from. So, uh, so let's just take what Joe's statement at face value. So he said a year later, he looked at the bank account and there was $3 million in it. He's like, I must have gotten the fucking guy for millions. So that bank account didn't start from zero. It started with, let's say, about 400000 in it. So, okay. So he's like, there was like 2.6 million new money for a total of 3 million. You know what? So well, let's just go with that. So I look at uh, all the returns from 2000 all the way to uh, 2005, the last full year I was there. And, uh, you know, if we got any uh, math ninjas on the line, you know, some years we did 2 million. Some years we did 2.5 million, which is the exact amount that he's seen and freaked him out. And I added it all up. And from between 2000 to 2005, we did about 13 and a half million. So it's like, hey, look at this. Alex Abyss is admitting to 13 and a half million. Yes, I am. Way more than 3 million. And what happened to it? Well, we paid about six point seven five million in taxes. Each guy earned out about a million, which really isn't much over six fucking years. No. Is that even two hundred thousand a year? That's not even two hundred thousand a year. So we all earned out a modest income. So if you take that and you subtract three million from six point seven five million. You're left with like three million or three point seven million, which is almost exactly what the checking and savings account fucking had in it to the pen. <laughs> so, uh, any other questions? No. Sounds legit to me. Sounds spot on. Yeah. It sounds spot on. I mean, especially when you you know, that money is there to pay employees and pay people that or taxes, whatever. L L listen, listen. If you're a juggalo, listen in and you're just a wage earner. If anyone's like, hey, you're getting a job, you're going to make $20 an hour, and you're going to work 40 hours a week, the first thing that might pop in your mind is, where is my $800? Where is it? Right. At, at the top of your check, it's going to say 800 But at the bottom of your check, it's going to say like 525 right. or 515 <laughs> or some fucking bullshit like that. And, and, and that's the low wage. When you're in the high wage, they take 50%. Yep. But a business, you can ask anybody you want, a business is responsible for paying their own fucking taxes. Yep. So at the end of the year, this is what we made. And then you pay it. So whatever's in there, whether it's a million or two million or three million, that shit's going to get chopped in half. And then the executives take some pay. Yep. That's how anybody that runs any fucking company works. So Let's, even by their numbers, what they're like, this is what happened, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> this is what happened. To like, it. Yeah, no, that, taxes yeah, and yeah, pay, right. taxes and payout. What the fuck? Yeah. So I don't know, bro. Like I said, uh, really, I really want to get to the point where fucking uh, we can patch things up and, and move forward on this. I do not have. Sure. any acts whatsoever to grind with the guy we're good and i don't and i'm a bitch i don't need a fucking apology i don't need anything like that i just need the guys to be like yeah we're straight and that's it right yeah it's not i mean it sounds to me like it was just you know a misunderstanding or maybe joe just spoke without thinking which is a common thing that happens um a lot. you know what i mean and, and but since it was public to thousands of people 
it doesn't go away. No. You know what I mean? And then just people, juggalos run with it, haters run with it, people just grab it. They're like, oh shit. And yeah, it gives you a bad name or them a bad name, whatever. Yeah, well, so, well, well that's, that's, that's the thing. And I mean, honestly, it, it, it kind of like certain juggalos, like it's kind of caused sadness in the juggalo community for no reason. Yeah, we have Because there was always, there was always the magic golden years. Yeah. And the original narrative, it's, 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 it's the true narrative, is the original narrative. It was a band of brothers that freaked it. And now we got this new narrative. No, there was this traitor guy in the crew. And it's just like, really? It's, yeah. So, you know, and it's, it's just like, talk about like a, a trash storyline. You know, it's like, hey, Vince McMahon, can you write me a better storyline? It's just like, okay, so now it's just like <laughs> NWA or even Motley Crue with their manager, even like 1955 fucking, you know, Chubby Checker. You know, that's just like like the oldest, the oldest, the oldest trope in the music industry is the fucking, my manager stole all my money. It's just like, right. okay, awesome. <laughs> yeah, man. And I, it's, you know, it's like, I hopefully, you know, talking about it will we'll make it better and, and maybe, you know, hopefully they'll hear it and be like, yeah, we fucked up because just the idea of just the legacy you guys created just for me as a fan i'm sure many other people especially the old school juggalos like that legacy and like i told you earlier you were you know what i mean you were a father figure right to a lot of kids growing up because you were like the authority in that world you're the only man i've ever seen grace a stage in front of thousands of juggalos and they all shut up shut which was a big yeah, deal uh, yeah. like like i said bro i ain't looking for an apology i ain't looking for a retraction I'm not even looking for an explanation. All I'm looking for is, oh, the guys have dropped it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. They've just dropped it. They moved on from it. Good. They've dropped it. I drop it. We all move on. Who knows? Maybe we can fucking do try to do something together uh, in the future. But yeah, man. I mean, I ain't coming out of here. I don't give a fuck. No matter what, I will refuse. I'll never throw fucking any fucking dirt their way. Because like I said, man, those were my boys. And you know, just doing that would just tarnish, just tarnish the legacy of fucking what we did, which, in my opinion, is one of the greatest stories, if not the greatest story in music history, because we didn't have right. all the radio right. and all the fucking uh, MTV. Fuck, we did it ourselves, so that's why it's the greatest. Yeah, for sure. Um, that is, that. It's amazing. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, so being out for so long and being part of this huge legacy. And now here we are, I think, I guess just over another 17 years removed. Do you, you uh, have, I mean, obviously you pay, you paid a little attention. You still went to gaming cons with Rob and stuff like, but do you, have you seen, you know, some of the things that, that psychopathic has done and M and E has done and, and even like long live evil and like all the different strands of the underground. Like have you paid any attention to like, Bro, I'm gonna upgrade. school your ass. I'm gonna school your ass because one of my fucking <laughs> all time all time heroes is George Lucas. Uh -huh. And when he sold Disney, he you can you know, the story will come up. He after he sold Disney, he was on his way because he heard like a few years later they were shooting the new Star Wars film, and he said he was driving on his way to the fucking studio to fucking peep in on the production and see what's going on and put his two cents in. And he said he pulled over the car and stopped on the fucking highway for an hour as he checked himself. And it was just like, either you're in, either you're all in or you're all out. And he's just like, he does what he said on the end. He's like, I sold. He's like, I checked out. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. He's just like, you know, whatever my Instagram feed, fucking Twitter feed, whatever fucking Star Wars. He said he cut them all, and that was it because, you know, he had moved on, he had moved on. And so, yeah, basically, kind of the same thing. No, like, the first year, I'm, yeah, the first year, maybe the first couple of years, definitely, you know, like, 06, 07, you know, definitely, you know, I sit there and, you know, fire up the computer, uh, for the younger ones, you basically had like a desktop and it was slow and shitty. It was, <laughs> you didn't just have the internet on your phone the way you do now, all fucking, all fucking easy. Like, yeah. So, you know, I'd fire up a computer and see what's going on. But I mean, honestly, 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 since 08, like not at all. 
just I've just been doing my own thing. Uh, I had a lot of changes. I got married. I started having a bunch of kids. Uh, I opened up a gaming business. And, you know, just like, you know, I just had like my own things uh, going on. For sure. No, absolutely. So is there... Is there a world where you uh, where you get back into the uh, the music business? I can't say zero. I can't say zero percent. I really, I really can't. I, I really can't say that it's zero percent. Uh, I mean, you know, throughout the years, not to exaggerate, I'd say I've at least had, you know, twenty various rappers or bands. Be like, come on, bro! You want to get back in the fucking music business? You, you can manage. Me. You can manage me and this or that. Uh, I could name a few. I guarantee. I could name a few. I would guarantee you if I name a few, you would be like, oh, I know that guy. Oh, I heard of that guy. Oh, that guy was at the Scavenger. Oh, that guy was at Astro. I believe it. <laughs> but I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But yeah, you know, like I said. Um, <laughs> You know, just the way my work method of operation is, you know, I just got to be like into it. So if I met a group that, you know, I was really feeling the music and, you know, their vibe and what they're about, you know, I definitely say it's like possible. Uh, but right now, you know, I'm trying to delve deep into the nerdy world. You know, like I said, board games, role playing games, comic books stuff like that so that, that that's where i find myself today but i heard you are dropping an album ah busted okay yes oh, shit. well there was that that little teeny <laughs> tiny piece of psychopathic ceo that was still remained deep in my heart that said one last time one last record okay i want to be clear <laughs> to the juggalos that are listening that this it's just a single uh, it's kind of like, uh, almost like a promo. Like if you read the, uh, book, if you read the graphic novel and then hear the single, it'll make a lot more sense to you. But I want to be clear. It is not fresh. Like it's not fresh, <laughs> but it is, it is level 10 ninja fresh and it is level 10 ninja fun. But I just want I just want to be clear. I want everyone to know that I don't think a lot that it's fresh for real. But it's got a hell of a lot of novelty appeal to it. That's for sure. It's entertaining. It's for entertainment yeah. purposes only. Yeah, it's for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. You got a graphic you got a graphic for the fellows? Yeah, it keeps messing up. Hang on. <clears throat> I keep putting it up there and it keeps blowing up. It's so people it's so exciting it blows up on its own. Hang on, I'll fix it. <laughs> oh man, I've never seen it do that before. I literally clicked the normal size image, and it blows up to where you can see it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's all they get to see. They get to see a little, little, little bit. Uh, there well, it you... there it is. There it is. I got there it, it is. <laughs> there we Limited go. edition, first pressing, only fifteen hundred copies made. Yeah, and we're not going to repress. That's, the That's it. So once those are gone, those are gone. I love that it's in an old uh, school CD case with the old school stickers on it and all that stuff. It's got yeah, the yeah, hype it. sticker. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. All, 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 all the flavor, the inside art is looking oh, dope shit. as fuck too. Yeah, it's, it's it's a nice piece. I'll tell you what. Uh, we're running a super combo where you get both books. You get Jamie's cover. You get the original cover. You get that CD. You get a poster. You get a sticker. I don't know for like fifty bucks, like fucking eighty dollars worth of shit. That hopefully next year at this time will be like worth like a couple hundred. Now uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to give too much away, but like, what what is it? Are you rapping? Are you are you? What's going on on here? It's a spoken <laughs> word. It's okay. a spoken word. Ah, so similar okay. to the uh, to to the video. Yeah, similar, similar, similar to the okay. video. Correct. Because I was gonna be like, man, if you're on there rapping, Alex, like, you're, we're gonna need some more than fifteen hundred. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll see. So if I get a, if I, if I get a book, if I tell you what, if I get a book too, I go in the studio. I'll see if I can bust out a rap <laughs> song. I'll see how see how it is, and maybe for book two, I'll do a a rap single uh, promo. Just do yeah. All, so yeah. just do all uh, auto tune. You'll be fine. That's yeah. dope. 
<laughs> so yeah, so we we already had uh, some music elements and some spoken word elements for the video. So we went back and we added about two two and a half minutes of all new shit and kind of mixed it in. Uh, I think the final uh, recording time on that piece is like three hours and I mean, uh, three hours. Wow, it's like a, it's like a four CD box set. It's like three <laughs> minutes and three minutes and forty five seconds, or maybe three minutes and like fifty seconds. It's almost like a four minute long track. That's cool though. I'll tell you what though. What you gotta do is you gotta get a hold of a sip the silas mushroom. You gotta eat it. And then you gotta get a hold of a good, good, good high quality strain of 420 and smoke it. And then listen to the song. You'd be like, oh man, this thing is great. <laughs> Holy cow. And and you can you can uh you have the book in front of you for visuals as well. Yeah, everything, all all, all the benefits. You think Alex Abbas came back in the game and didn't think of everything, right? Uh, you know, let's let's let's, let's keep the shit fun, right? Yeah. Definitely. Oh yeah, that's all, we were talking about it before we came on the show. Just a weird random question. Uh, what's up with the name spelling? Yeah, why? We yeah, let's out? yeah let's talk let's talk about that. So, uh. Basically, I kind of like always uh, wanted like uh, I don't know. Like, I'm also a big fan of Stan Lee, and uh, that's kind of like uh, from Marvel. And it's kind of like that was his name, and it kind of blended together. And he always would tell the story that he was gonna like one of these days, like write a great book with like a, a pseudonym. So I just it's kind of a variation on my name. So. I'm a fluent uh, Arabic speaker, so L means the. So when I, I just changed it to uh, Alex, the Abyss, which is I don't know. I just thought it was fucking cool. It's just my pen name. It's me. That's what I figured. I figured I was. I figured he just made it Abyss, like like deep into the abyss. Like it's a way. Right. Cool. Right. Yeah. Same okay. Name, yeah. So you got it. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but I wasn't gonna tell you why you changed the name. I wanted to ask, but, uh, but that's what no, I figured. I was like, "Oh, that's way cooler for a comic, especially like." Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, especially a dark comic with yeah. like fucking demonic cults uh, doing terrible things and bringing demons into our world. It's yeah, the book's cool, bro. It's got definitely got some dark elements to it, but it's got some fun elements to it. Oh uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I I I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see what uh you guys think but uh honestly i think it's something really special i'm i'm hyped for it man i mean i'm hyped i'm hyped for you first of all i've been to every astronomicon and there's i'm not a big celebrity guy like you know i mean there's a few people where i'm like oh that's cool um it's true i wasn't at 6.5 but (laughs) but it's like you know i have a good time i love the people you know what i mean it's it's more of like seeing the family and the friends and you know obviously jamie and all you know those guys too but it's like I'm not a big celebrity con guy, but then they announced you. I was like, this is fucking epic. Like as a old right. school juggalo, I'm like, hell yeah, Alex is back. Like that's so hype. Yeah. You were like, and now you got a comic book too. And I, fu- I love comics. These guys aren't nerd as nerdy as I am in that world, but I, I like video games. So I'm yeah. a little bit of a nerd. Fuck yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm hyped for it, man. Yeah. When I heard you were announced, I was like, damn, dude, I had I, two people. I want to see it out at, at, at Astro, Alex on this. And then my buddy Buckshot. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm excited when they announced you. I was like, hell yeah, dude, that's dope as shit. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, no, nah, it's good. Uh George has been uh taking good care of me. Yeah, you guys uh how, how did you guys experience? You guys familiar with George? You guys meet George? No, George? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I I would consider George a friend, man. I I yes. I I've known George <laughs> since he worked for you. He's he's the one that put havoc on the gathering back in the day when we played the gathering and I I've you know, talk to him since we've actually had him on on here yep. years ago. Yeah, the beginning yeah. days of this show was was like hardcore juggalo. Like, if I'd have known how to get in touch with you seven years ago, I would have tried my best because it was like I we had Missy. We, I believe we tried. It was actually. like Missy Choco, <laughs> uh, Vinny the ICP kid. Like it was like super juggalo. Like the first year of our show was like it was all you know. And then obviously we started getting artists and then some bigger names on, but. But yeah, I I absolutely love George. I consider him a friend. Jamie's yeah, a can, huge supporter of our show. He drew a comic book cover for me. Yeah, I consider him all friends. For sure. Yeah, I love him to death, man. Yeah, yeah, I can. George is a great, great guy. He's busting his ass on tour. 
You're probably too busy busting your ass on tour tonight, George, to be listening in. But yeah, if you're here, brother, thanks for everything, bro. If really looking forward to doing some some business with you. Hell yeah! If, say, if he's not here, Winnegar will tell him what happened. Yeah, for sure. Shout, okay. out, to, shout out to Winnegar too. No, we love everybody over there, man. They're they're good dudes. Um, and I'm ex- I'm excited for you to not only be back in the scene, even if it's for a minute, just to, to see the world. Oh, what's happened? Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Well. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave you guys on this mega, mega cliffhanger because oh. there, there might be something secretive in the works, something oh, big. I'm <laughs> excited. <laughs> and that's all. That's all. That's all I could say. There might be, uh, might be a little bit more flavor coming, or actually, quite a bit more flavor coming than I that I can reveal. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's that. I got to keep it at that now. Uh, I might have already said I might, I might have already said too too much, but there, <laughs> there might be some serious major freshness that's going to be coming up. Well, we'll see. Well, we're we'll looking see. forward to it for sure. I'm here for it, man. Yeah. So don't don't it. don't 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 assume just this little. Oh, he stuck his pinky toe <laughs> in the uh, juggalo water, and now he's moving. I don't make such assumptions. <laughs> There, I'm telling you, there may or may not be something very, very new, big, and secretive coming up. And that's all I can say. Those are my favorite types of things. Hopefully, we yeah. learned some about it at Astro. And for everybody listening, we're gonna we're gonna link up again at Astro and bring you guys a video version of different conversations with Alex. So, if you guys have questions, Alex, party send them motion. to us. Let us Trump know. Party motion. <laughs> I don't even know if you drink, but but drunk party version. Yeah, <laughs> I drink, I smoke. And you guys smoke. You guys want me to bring you guys a little of this uh this uh California this uh Pacific Ocean bud. Tony's the only one that smokes and he's not gonna be there. Yeah. Uh Rue man. smokes cigars and we both drink plenty. Yeah. Yeah. You can okay. give him any gifts that you want to give to me. Yeah. I love edibles. <laughs> Yeah, okay. There's, there's plenty of smokers there for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Huh. Maybe I'll bring a little bit and pass it out anyway oh, oh. To, so, to those. To the, you to make those a little extra like friends. Oh, I'm well, sure. Yeah, we'll definitely have to have a drink together for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm done it's, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be a good time for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna be awesome, man. It's gonna be awesome. I'm um, looking forward to meeting you in person for sure. Yeah. Hey, listen, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. <clears throat> It's literally starting to get a little hoarse, Uh-oh, but it's gotcha. cool. We can go a couple more minutes. You guys got a couple more. Yeah, I was just going to say I was going to questions. We've got to start shutting this down, though, really sure. soon. But but again, not not none to be too, too sad about. We'll be firing it right back up in 12 days. Uh, all right. right. When you get off here, drink some hot tea with some honey, spoonfuls of honey, man. Rest that voice. Yeah, you're going to be talking a lot out there. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll leave you with one more question, man. Just, just because you know, people, people are asking, and people want to know. The juggalos want to know. Um, let's say you know whatever issues you may have had with the clowns or whatever that that's that's not real, and you guys squash it. Is there a? Is there? Are you ever gonna? You think there's a world where you're you're back at psychopathic, or you're or you're running a gathering, or or you're doing something like that? Like, is there is there a time where you're gonna be? You could see yourself being back as the Alex Abyss that we knew uh, 17 years ago? So, like, you know, like, so Rob runs The Gathering, Billy runs Psychopathic. Uh, I'm not in, that would never want to squat, you know, eh, step on anybody's toes. So I don't really see that as being possible. But, I mean, you know, if we could get past our current grievances, which I really, really, really hope we can, I mean, if I was invited, yeah, I mean, I'd go to a gathering. I'd do an autograph at a gathering. I'd do a seminar. I mean, I'd love, to, I'd love to be at. You should host do a seminar for, on, on proper management techniques. <laughs> sure. Yeah, somebody said that earlier. Yeah, somebody yeah. said that in the chat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would, I would, I would love to go. But as far as like that, no. But this secretive thing that I that I have in the work. Uh, is definitely very, very, very fresh for juggalos, and it, it doesn't like step on anybody's toes. And I really can't say anything else. Well, one, because not, now is not the time to announce it, right. and two, it's 
like a living, breathing thing. It's not quite formalized yet, but we got some we got some freshness cracking lately. That's all I got to say. Hell yeah. I'm excited for it. Me oh, too. Big Sherm is the one that said that comment. Shout out to Big Sherm. Big Sherm. <laughs> Big Sherm in the house. Big Sherm. Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm excited for it. I hope we can learn more about this big secret project at Astro. Yes. The new comic book, Chivalrous Arts, is dropping. The Jamie Madrox cover, limited edition. The CD. God knows oh, what else this man has up his sleeve. You're on Instagram at Alchemist Elite Comics. You guys can follow Alex over there and the team that's putting together this comic book. Now, is this the is this like the only? I know you you said you you hope this one's successful for a number two. Are there other uh, titles or anything on Alchemist Comics, or is this specifically for the uh, chivalrous arts? Nah, man. If this book ends up hitting, fucking you know some juggalos that can draw, some juggalos that can write some stories, maybe some collabs. Let's go, man. Fucking Double A's got a comic book line. He's very juggalo friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight That's up, huge. Man. Yeah, I got, awesome. I got, I, I got distribution with Diamond. I got fucking distribution oh, with wow. fucking Amazon. So I mean, yeah, I can get that shit out there. That's a big. That's be- I, I apologize yeah. in advance for your DMs, <laughs> but there you go. Oh, yeah. I know there's a lot. There's a lot of talented and creative juggalos out there, man. So yeah, right. man. Yeah, nice. Hey, you fucking. Uh, if you're going to Astro, put together you, you uh, artist or uh, you. Uh, writer whatever man come come by and talk for a minute let's see if uh, maybe uh we can uh do do some some work together for sure because yeah this is this is where i'm at oh and also if you're a juggalo slash nerd board games role-playing games card games all that nerdy shit definitely talk to me there too because that that's where i'm at that that that's where i'm at right now oh yeah that's awesome man hell yeah so if yeah any old school juggalo definitely come out the astro because it's going to be a good time. Alex Abyss is going to be in the house. It's going to be a port. Oh, yeah. Be even, if you're, even if you're a new school juggalo that wants a little yeah. bit of a little bit of taste of the uh, what they call the golden age, come on, come on over, see what's up, man. A little history could be a, could could be a new flavor. Could be a new golden age. Get ready to start. Right. You never know. Come on, young bloods, let's school you. Come on Amen. over here, let me school you. The Amen. legend. And hopefully we can get we'll get more into the golden age. Uh, when we see you in 12 days, 11, 12 days. Yeah, man. Well, bro, when I'm talking to you guys, the time fucking flies. It does. It's the funniest shit. I shouldn't break fucking cover, but, you know, when we're talking, Paul, like, eh, we'll go on that 30, 40 minutes. It's like almost an hour and a half. Right. I, well, when we talked the other day, you were like 30 minutes. I was like, bro, we've already been on the phone for four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, it's cool. But, yeah, but, but, but legitimately, you definitely need to – start chewing down those halls and the more important thing is uh let's keep a little meat on the bone for astro because it's coming right up for sure sure. yep absolutely absolutely man well i i'm looking forward to seeing you and talking some more and hanging out and and hearing some 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 stories on and off camera and uh if you guys aren't going to astro you should fucking sign up right now and for the people that aren't going they can order the book on through your website right right you can get it on uh if you want a digital you can get it on Amazon on April 24th, or if you uh, want an actual book, which in my opinion, if the series actually hits, is going to be worth quite a bit, then yeah, you could just go right to uh, uh, the web store. Is The link is right on the uh, Instagram page, and you can go ahead and uh, pre-order one right now. Uh, Andy says, how about the bundle? I think uh, only at Astro unless it doesn't sell out, correct? Right. Uh, no, I've set aside, uh, 200 for the, uh, web store, uh, and then the rest that asked her, but that, the, the Jamie Madrox cover will not be reprinted again, period. When it's, when it's just the one initial pressing, when it's gone, it's gone. So you won't open up a book and see the monster cover, second press, third press, not, not that, not the night cover that you'll see, but not, not, not the Jamie Madrox. We do the one batch. They're gone. They're gone. They're not coming back. Well, if you don't mind, would you put four copies, four bundles aside for uh, Replicon Radio? I know <laughs> P would like to, and I would like to. That's true. You already got four uh, sales from us. All right. You, 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 got, you, you guys got it. Well, we'll for you guys, no special. I'll, I'll throw in either uh, uh, extra hat or extra shirt to show you guys a little love. But I'll tell you what, though. 
might want to swap. You guys got that one uh, black bucket hat? That oh, yeah. is looking dope, bro. I've got my eye on it. Just saying. Hell yeah. We can hook you up. I'll hook you up with a bucket hat. Yeah, we <laughs> got you on a bucket hat. Well, double sure. A can get a bucket give hat. Give him one of those. Right. Right. All right, man. <laughs> Bring me that bucket hat. I'll give you, I'll trade you for, I'll trade you guys. I'll give you fucking a sweepy. I'll trade you guys. I'll trade you one bucket hat for two shirts. Yeah. Uh, I got, I got XL double and triple. Please tell me that'll work. Well, they well, need nine. Well, so we're both fat as hell. I can tell yeah. you that. Yeah. Uh, or the trip's gonna work. I'll squeeze into one. You squeeze into the trip. Okay. <laughs> we might have a uh, problem. Uh, all good. He's losing weight. He, I, I am losing goals. weight, so that'll 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 just goals. That'll, yeah, that'll that'll make me push a little harder to fit in it. We're going sure. on diet so we can fit in the double A shirts. <laughs> all right. That's Sounds good. good. All, all right. right, guys. Man, it's been a blast. Now I'm, I was like level nine excited for Astro, but now I'm like. Level level ten, man. It's oh, gonna be shit. fucking fun hanging out. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna yeah. be a party. It's gonna if be a everyone else reunion. sucks, we'll make it fun for you. But everyone else is gonna be awesome too. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be also awesome. It's gonna be a good time. For sure, All right, man. guys. Thank you yeah, so much well, for being here, bro. Yeah, yeah, thank you, Alex. No, appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. We'll uh, hook it up at uh, Astro and shit. That ain't gonna be the end. We'll see. Maybe a month after that. We'll see. Whatever. We'll get uh, back on there and give you guys a little update. Let's see how things are going. We love updates. Hell yeah, man. Absolutely, brother. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for 17 years of magic. Yes. And God knows what's ahead of us. I can't wait. You schooled it. You schooled it the first time. I, I can only imagine what we're gonna get the second time, right, man. Right. Yeah. It might might be time to rise again. We'll yeah. talk. All right. Take care, guys. All right, brother. All right, Much love. Good one. Be right, careful, buddy. Care, Much love. All right, yeah. Whoop, whoop. Peace. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what you guys get, man. The legend, Alex Abyss. God, that was great. So dope, bro. Man, he's such a nice guy. When we first met him, we just, were like, just, there's the man. Like, just great energy. Say nothing to him. Just great energy coming off that, man. Yeah. yeah I'm dude. excited for him, too, man. Just a lot of stuff going on. Bro, there's, I'm not going to. I know some people are going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. There's so many things I wanted to talk about. Yeah. We could have yeah. talked about. Like just the time. I mean, the seventeen years of juggalo is right. We don't have enough time for that. No, and we knew that. Obviously, this book's important. It's big. It's it's the next, yeah. the next thing. And we're gonna talk at Astro. Like, yeah, he was pretty hyped about that. Like, we're gonna sit down. It's gonna be on video. Yeah, and it, you know what I mean. So if you guys have questions for Alex, Hit legit us, questions, not way. bullshit. Shoot him our sit, way. Can you save Lotus? But uh. <laughs> But yeah, send us questions, um, and we'll, we'll we'll try to get as many questions. I'm hyped for it, man. Send them to the replicon is watching yes, at gmail.com. But yeah, shout out to Alex for sure. Go follow him on Instagram. Let him know you heard it on Replicon. You know, tell these people that you know what I mean, like that you heard him here, so that way more people come. Hell yeah, you know what I mean, like. That is a good good man. He's such a great guy. Yeah, I, I, I love that he brought that shit up, bro. I told like, I didn't want to like, you know, I mean, it's a peek behind the curtain type shit. So like last week, I hit him up, like, well, once I realized there was a way to do it because, like right. I said, I would have done this years ago. I've tried. Right. We tried. I've looked for how to get a hold of him. We tried. We um, actually thought we had his number at one point. Yeah, <laughs> and tried to call it. it was so I was like, oh, he did that interview with Lars. Um, and I was like, oh shit. And they had, you know, I'm sorry, hit him up. And then I, I don't know, it was like a couple days later, he messaged us, messaged me back right when we were ending the show. Yeah. So, like, as soon as we ended the show, I was like, oh shit, like freaking out about it. And then, you know, he asked to talk to me because I'm assuming, you know, I mean, I, I don't want to speak for him, but I'm assuming, you know, he wanted to see who I was. Like, yeah, he didn't know us. No, not at all. So I was like, are you, are you guys just going to fucking, you stole from ICP? You know right, what I mean? like just trash him or something. Assholes, right. You know what I mean? So he's like, "Can I talk? Can I speak to you? Like, you know, in person?" And we ended up talking. I sat in my driveway for like forty-five he minutes. He was like, "Oh fuck, Danny, want to talk to me? I'm in trouble." <laughs> <laughs> but we just sat there like old friends. Uh, yeah. In my, I sat literally after I left here Monday. I was in my driveway for forty-five minutes, just talking. Like, yeah. just, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Dude, Catching up like old dope, friends, man. and then we talked again. Like, you know what I mean? It's like we talked. We ended up. It's crazy, bro. It, but it's dope. Like it was. It wasn't. You know what I mean? It was like. I even like I messaged you guys. I'm like, this is fucking wild. Because like, like, I didn't even reply. I'm like, fuck this dude, man. Like, <laughs> you were mad at me. You'll be like, oh, this is crazy. And I'm like, okay. Look at all these fun things I'm doing. 
Why, 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 why do I have to ask this guy what's crazy? Why don't you just, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm talking to Alex right now. We're talking about yeah. all kinds of shit. Why can't you just put that in? So I was like, fuck this. No, story. no, no. Vague status is on. Right, him. right. I'm going to make these guys ask me what's so crazy. No, fuck off. I already I'm not asking you shit. I knew what he was talking I was, about. I was That's... sleeping. I was... It shit ain't even entertaining. Fuck you, P. I'm sleeping, motherfucker. I don't even <laughs> care about what's crazy. I don't give a shit about what's crazy, motherfucker. I'm... I don't even care. Oh, I'm yeah, that, that night you made? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't even give two shits right now. But, yeah, it was just, it was just wild, you know what I mean? Like, I think I just got home at that point. Yeah. The Heineken? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, yeah shout out to fucking Alex and this, man. Yeah. Like, you know, I never had it since uh, St. Patrick's Day. And I was like, oh, shit, this is good. Yeah, yeah, it's, good. yeah it's good shit, man. Because I even wanted to, like, I wanted to talk about it, and we can still talk about it, obviously, you know, even though it's not here, but, like, like some people, like, old, I feel like old Juggalos forget, and new Juggalos don't know, like, how much of an impact, like, Alex was. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? We've touched oh, on it briefly, sure. but, like, that that moment at that gathering is such a, you know how much shit I forget? You know what I'm saying? Like, I that forget. one memory. You... I forget so much shit. That was a core memory for It's you. a core, 100%. The, the, I mean, obviously, him coming in that room, that whole evening was a core well, memory. Yeah. It's yeah, fucking yeah. Esham, and you know what I mean? And we were fucking, how old were we And, like, then? we didn't even know, like, that when was, was really... Like uh, eight, nine, 18, 19. Yeah, we weren't 20. even sure it was Isham at first. We were just yeah, we were like, is that Isham? Like, we're all whispering to each other. Yeah, Isham. we weren't Isham. sure. Like, did we literally and just Sin was go like, into fucking Isham's hotel room? Yeah, and then Sin was like, hey, Isham, you want to hit? We're like, that's Isham. Yeah, 2002. He said, he said the name. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, that was probably right. 2000. That makes sense. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was 22, so he was probably 20. 2002. Yeah, that's yeah. probably, yeah. Yeah, I was probably 20 years old. Yeah, we were young. Which weird. Weird to think how young that is, but yeah, so it was a long time ago, and we we're fucking. I mean, Juggalo was new still yeah. ish. It, no, it was still new, you know, I mean, not really, but kind of. There, there was, there, I mean, it was the third gathering, yeah, there wasn't, it was many. still indoors, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but there wasn't many people, like, there was a lot of people following, but there wasn't nowhere near what it is. But hey, the, well, the, 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 oh, you weren't at a, the fucking one I was talking about, the, the you weren't first at one, the, no. No, the, the Toledo one when he came out on stage. Uh, I mean, I think no, he's done it before. He on, wasn't that him that came out on the stage? He came out at, at, at Peoria too, though, when he was when after the riot shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Rob was outside about. on the ladder. Yeah, and then he came out on stage. Later. Yeah, before before any at the Toledo gathering, there was like a straight up riot, or about to be a riot. Well, we that was the, that was when Peoria the, the, was a riot. The, yeah, no, well, there was about to be one in Toledo, <laughs> and uh, like there's and those were big gatherings, and everyone's in state inside an arena. It wasn't like everyone's on the camp. It wasn't like seven thousand people on a campground where right. four thousand of them are up there getting high. Right. They're all right here. Yeah. <laughs> They're all in one fucking spot, going crazy. Like ICP started, I think, and they were supposed to reveal the wraith, and they canceled it because the shit got fucked that up. Was, was they did. Peoria. They did it the next year. They were gonna do it there. Oh, okay. They had a thing on stage to do it, and they didn't. Yeah, because they released. They released both of them. They released Shangri-La and Hell's Pit. Uh, yeah, Peel, Wraith, yeah, Wraith and Hell's Pit. And he, but he, yeah, he walked out. Dude, I've never. I'm, no, cops and he's do not, not like booze. And he's not a talk. You know what I mean? He doesn't. He wasn't a big talker. Never has been. He's no. never. You know what I mean? Not, not at least not to us. Except for there's a lot of ninjas in here. Yeah, but I'm saying like to us, it wasn't like he wasn't a public figure. He was no. just Al. He was the guy. And then when you heard that's him, the on guy. A, when you heard him on an album, you're like, holy shit. That's him. No, yeah, like you dope. know, he showed up, in, like, but he wasn't like you know what I mean. ICP was a personality. Right. He was just the guy. He was the boss. Yeah. But the boss doesn't need to talk. We're being entertained. Yeah. But then when he fucking walked out, of air, seven thousand juggalos just, you know what I mean, throwing shit, punching each other, fucking, you know, spanking horses. God knows what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and he just walks out on stage. He's like, I don't even know. I can't remember. What he, I, he's maybe he said something. Hey. <laughs> but everyone just he goes and get here. And he just drive. fucking, hey ninjas, you know, like everyone's just like fuck. This is for because it was like this is serious. Yeah, Alex just stepped on. You know what I mean? Like this, this doesn't happen. This is serious. Like if Billy walked out on stage, people would probably throw shit at him. <laughs> no, I don't mean that disrespectfully to Billy. He just doesn't. Nobody cares. He's just he doesn't have that. Like, like these kids. Like it, it could be. The, the, yeah, he doesn't the, have that respect. He's an ex security guard. I don't want to say he became a boss. I don't want to say he doesn't have that respect, but these kids don't have that respect th these days as well. So it might be a little bit of both. But yeah, back literally. then, like, you know, we had that respect for, like, one another and, and like, 
authority figures, if you will. You know, so when like somebody who you knew didn't wasn't supposed to be out there was out there and like you looked at it and knew it was Alex, you just focused on him. Like everything just came to a stop. It don't matter what the fuck was going on. It don't matter if you was in the middle of a game of hacky sag and that ball was getting kicked to you. And if you missed it, you were getting kicked in the nuts. You missed it because you were focused on what was on the stage when he stepped foot out there. Yeah, it was it was such a big deal, man. And obviously, yeah. like, you know what I mean? He was a fucking toy. He, you know what I mean? His ICP and Twisted and Alex and the Beanie Boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? They made him a fucking toy. Like. He's a he's Hazad or whatever in Big Money Hustlers. He was a huge part of that era. Man. Yeah, it was a big thing. A and lot of people just don't understand. He was the boss. Like, it's weird to even think about like just talking to him as a person. So many years later. Yeah. I mean that gathering was oh two. You know what I mean? Like that's twenty two years ago. Yeah, that's a long time. Ago. Yeah, so it's like it's crazy. Because it was such a like back in, if we had talked to him in two thousand two, you know what I mean? Like we we wouldn't be having a fucking normal conversation like that. No. Was, we probably would have been in trouble or something. But. <laughs> right. But it's just yeah, it's just if you're if you're ever war or ever have been or ever will be a juggalo, that man's just as important as insane clown posse is to the oh, fucking yeah. to all of it. I would have to say that that's probably that, that's in like the top three <coughs> of my favorite interviews that we've done. Yeah, it was dope. I didn't even fucking get to ask about, you know what I mean? There's so, like, I want to ask about Twisted. I want to ask about Blaze. I want to ask about fucking, you know what I mean? Like, he he was all their managers. He was there for all of that. Yeah, like you said, there was at least 17 years of history that you could have went over. Yeah. And you guys talked about literally two stories. You were talking about yeah. the story that you guys met and the story that of the, the, the books, you know, the, yeah. the controversy. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much to talk about. Like, yeah, the, we, yeah, we had to talk about the thing that. with the money because well, it was yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, we, you touched on what needed to be touched on, but like on a follow-up yeah, interview, so many then stories, it yeah. could just be like... Like, all right, let's talk about let's talk about yeah. shit. You know, even like the this little I didn't even think about bringing up hat. Like we could was, we could even ask. But it was like oh, I kind of remember that because the whole underground psycho thing was huge. Oh, yeah. Still to this day, I'm like, why hasn't that been done? I, again? I would like to I would like to ask like if he comes back and we do a, a recampment of like that 17 years. Like I want to hear his side of how ICP treated Twisted behind the scenes because it says that ICP was kind of jerks to him. You know that didn't they get into a fight at that, one point? I think that was well after he left. Well, I, I, I don't okay. think they had any problems. Okay, that I've heard I, of. I, I wasn't sure. I, I don't know the timelines, how it all lines up. I didn't yeah. know what he saw, what he didn't see. <clears throat> I think it just. I think from my understanding, you know what I mean, is when the twisted thing started happening was basically poor management, yeah. which was after Alex left, which way makes after, sense. Yeah, way okay. after. Okay, like it was like. Uh, started with Green Book and then into Abominations and Abominations was the yeah that was strong. probably like 2013, 12, 13, probably yeah because I mean in all honestly I mean this is just so they had all that time like when this is it, just me talking and you know I mean I hate I, I it always comes up but it's pretty prominent in Juggalo history regardless but like if you just look at it as a person oh no 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 the Green sense. Book uh, released in two thousand three if he didn't leave until two thousand six he was there for a couple of years yeah. of it. Yeah, maybe. And especially if it went on to Abominations and all that stuff. Well, that was like 2010, 2012, or whatever year that came out. Yeah, so, well, yeah, you could be right. Yeah, because uh, M&E is celebrating 10 years. You believe that? 10 years. No. no. 10 years of Magic Ninja Entertainment. That was 2014. Yeah, uh, t- Abominations came out in 2012. So the, he was there for at least the beginning of it. And uh, what? when, uh, let's see, did, when did Twisted get on? Psychopathic, like what? Like, do what year? Ninety seven. Ninety seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so like, maybe. it's just weird that yeah. like they went so long and they were homies. They were the best. They were I mean, yeah, they were best friends. And, and then like, I mean, just because they, they were still homies after they shit. left, though. Yeah. You know, people forget that. Yeah, Magic Ninja and Twisted leaving, they were still boys, right? For five more years, they were still doing gatherings. They were still doing Lotus. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then they once they started saying no. It's when it became a problem. Yep. To be like that's what happened. Yeah. Um. And I, I think I think a shit ton of that is also a misunderstanding. Oh, what, a lot 100%. of it. I mean, the the mismanagement and all that shit. That's business and it sucks. But it, it goes I, to me. I I put it as a simple fact that 
you know, we just talked to the man that was in charge for the, the as people say, the golden age of Juggalo, right? Mm-hmm. So when he left, the security guard is now the boss. I don't mean that disrespectfully to Bill, yeah. but that's what he, that was his job before that. Yeah. You know, be like, you know what I mean? Like, imagine George left M and E and they put Dustin in charge. Yeah, it would go great. Andy, are you saying that to us no. enjoying psychopathic at 99? And, and probably even worse than that, because he's actually been around enough to like know working. Um, but you know what I mean? Like it's not his it's not his job. It's not his yeah, he right. it's not his skill set. Well, he doesn't know what schooling so does now, he have to do accounting. But like, it's like, you know what I mean? But it's not just like, hey, call this guy, set up a meeting. It's like, no, you gotta like yeah. pay taxes. You gotta know what taxes you gotta pay. Well, sure. you, but just able like, and then managing. You know, I don't understand it. I still don't get it. And this is just my personal thing. Even with M and E, from the beginning, I don't understand it. They they have the same uh, concept. I don't understand how George is the manager of all these bands. I don't because it's I and I you know what I mean. And, and there's been arguments where they have similar problems at M and E that the reasons Twisted left. You know what I mean, like such and such didn't get enough shine. Could you imagine such and such doesn't get enough shine? Well, that, that that would never happen. I know it's just funny to say, uh, like, but I'm saying the idea of twisted left him any. Oh. Well, I'm saying that the idea, of, down. the idea of one man <laughs> is in charge of you know all these people. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I get that he's the but the boss. You know what I mean, like so when Billy was the boss, but he's got to be responsible for all these people. ICP is the main focus. Those are his boys. That's who he grew up with. That's why he's here. They're focused on ICP. ICP's focused on ICP. So Twisted's like, what about us? You know what I mean? Which I, was the problem, which m and is also had the same problem with artists. We've heard people complain. You know what I mean? Some of it's sure. true. Strange, some of it's here. Strange say. music. Yeah. They, they had the same problem there. Because like, why would you have... One person can't do that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't care how great George is. Some George can't manage 15 people. Billy can't manage 15 people. He, Alex probably couldn't manage. You know what I mean? Someone has to... Where do you have a label? They all have to have their own people. Well, the problem managed a lot of people back in the day. Well, the problem is that when you have a label that small and it's focused and built by one one artist, one entity, like you cannot just separate that. It's not Sony. It's not. It's not. You know, but that's what. Yeah, but they have. Like, if you were on Sony, though, Sony would be Sony's the boss. Yeah. Whoever, Mr. Sony, that's not a real person. Yeah, we'll just say Mr. Sony's the the boss. Yeah, and they have ICP, Twisted Blaze. And dead body man. Yeah. Well, each one of those people has their own fucking management team mm-hmm. taking care of them. Right. And then they report to Mr. Sony and say, "This is what we're doing, Mr. Sony." Yeah, but they all have. But their the way own psychopathic M yeah. and E run is Mr. Sony is managing all these bands by himself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's doing all the things. He's booking all the tours. He's doing all the CDs. And the and one. And, and if they, one like, of them also successful, focusing on the main person that's bulkheading everything yeah. so like he's like yeah he's got all these bands that he's managing but he's really focusing on the money makers yeah That's which it. which means the, the the second third fourth guy in line even if they have the chance to be the money makers they don't have as much but it's not a, but it's in this world a lot of artists are self-sufficient anyway i understand it as they should be which is the idea behind labels now right you know what i mean it's like you get we'll give you our services but you're self-managed you know what i mean you have to self-manage yourself which is kind of what you know they do, and some people don't get think, that. But, but, I mean, but like, they're upfront about it. That was, a, that was a dream. as far as I know. They're like they find people that do. That's like Gmo, for example. I don't want to speak for him, but I think he would agree to the same thing. He left M and E because he was unhappy with the way they were doing things. Right. So then he he did it on his own. He learned a lot of shit, and then he went back, and he's happier than he's ever been. And he's putting out. You know what I mean? Like he learned to he. He learned to he learned from them and then learned how to self manage and then use what they have to help him while he self manages. You know what I mean? So like, he was I'm sure he was mad when he left. You know what I mean? I know he said a couple of things, not nothing too crazy. Just he didn't like the way they were spending money or whatever. Right. I could do it for better. And now he's in charge of his own career with the help of them instead of I think being we- a because he was an unknowledgeable artist. For business, I think where we're at is that like we are in a transition period of where we lived in a a golden age of like, uh, oh, you you get signed to a level, they're gonna do all the work for you. Yeah, but that was just a dream that like you know everybody was. That's how psychopathic work. But but with the with the internet and with being able to, they took most of the money. But with 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 the with the internet now and like you could just you could produce all your own stuff. You you could have all the tools. You could be your own manager. Like I think it got lost to like. 
hey, this is how man- labels are working now. And we're in the transition yeah, period a lot of- that, that like now artists are starting to realize, oh, shit, I just got to manage myself. And then I use their tools and relationships, yeah, relationships exactly, their yes. connections. And then I could I could benefit from that. And, and there was a lot you, of what you just said about Gmail. Like he realized that. Yeah. And and like we're in the, the learning period, like because this is a new age. This is mm-hmm. a new age of artists, new age of labels, new For age sure. of getting music out there. So now people are starting to realize that and yeah, they're like so that now they know they know what they're signing up for they before they you know um i think the the thing with lsp and sevidemic that like he thought he was going to be getting like the the golden the, or the red carpet treatment and all that stuff and it's like that just wasn't exactly the case and then you know so like it but i think it's just a we're going through growing pains is what for i'm sure. saying it, it, with artists and labels and understanding well, yeah, how the world especially is in the underground because you know, they learned it from Psychopath. I mean, yeah. they're, they're, but minus, you know, being on a couple major labels, but it was Psychopathic signed to a major label. So then you learn inner workings, but then you got to, you have to, you have to reevaluate everything that you've never done before. The artist, the management, everyone. That's, that's insane, you know. It's a lot of, it's a lot of shit. But I, I think what's it's a get, lot of shit for one person to do if you're not doing what you need to do yourself. Well, I mean, uh, Ouija Mac is a perfect a lot of Ouija news. Mac is a perfect example of knowing what he was getting mm-hmm. into, knowing what he was doing. But that was a way different deal than anyone it, in the was, past has it, ever. It was, but I mean, he he's also doing all of his own shit. They did an interview recently. I don't know if this. I they they get him a car. I just assume it's true. You I, know what I mean, I don't. There's. You know, it's ICP. You know, sometimes they just say things to say things. Sometimes, you know, no. maybe, maybe the shit they said about Alex might have just been a work, just to get people talking. I mean, because he, they he do things. Just been in the moment, and like I know I have a bad memory. Sometimes, yeah. like I recant shit that wasn't that, that it wasn't actual factual. But they literally say things just to get people to talk. You know what I mean? Like especially back in the day before the internet, that was their whole thing. If they did an interview, it was fucking wild. So crazy shit in the Stop world. Stop buying our shit. <laughs> yeah, or they would just make weird noises, or they, you know, what I mean, they'd say stupid shit. But like they did an interview recently, and uh, I can't remember what it was on. I wish I could tell you, but they it said something about Ouija back. They're like, Ouija's not signed to psychopath. They said he is not signed to psychopathic. We just made a it's like he doesn't need us. We basically just had an agreement where he gets the stamp of psychopathic. Yeah, he puts our shit on his shit. And we let it run with it. They said they said we don't make a dime off of Ouija Max. What they said, hmm. he's not signed. We don't make a dime off him. It's just love. That sounds f- false. I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what they said. When was this? Real recent. Huh. When they just did that whole podcast run. It was one of them. I don't remember which one. They just did like fucking seven or eight podcasts. I don't know which one it was specifically, but yeah, I don't know if that's true. But whether it's not, I know it's a different whatever. If they do have a deal, because I, I believe that there's some sort of deal, it's it's similar to that. It's not he's not signed, but it's like same shit. You use us, and we do because he's fucking bringing in the new kids. Chapter seventeen. He's got a whole new generation of Juggalo. Yeah, that you know what I mean. That relationship seems to work. <clears throat> he does his own thing. He has his own fucking management. You know what I mean? He's got he's, he's got his own thing. It's Billy. I'm sure Billy doesn't have any control over Ouija Man at all. No, no. Probably. You know what I mean? I mean, if she if he did something crazy or something, they'd be like, Bro. but it, well, yeah, obviously, like the overall public image. But yeah, Ouija has Kevin Buck. Ouija has his own fucking merch. He's got Relish brand doing all his merch. You know what I mean? Like Relish does his merch. Kev Buck takes care of the management. He's got his own fucking team of people. Chapter 17 is its own thing. Yeah. They just put Hatchet Man on everything and everybody wins. Juggalos. Yeah, everybody wins. Yeah. I mean, somebody's got to get something. I mean, that's I, I feel like there's probably some sort of tiny. I mean, they said there's not, but there's got to be some sort of tiny percentage or something. But yeah. There's got to be. Maybe there's not. Maybe it's they get the fucking. He, he got 3,000 new Juggalos coming day. to the gathering to see weed. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, yeah. You know, that's just not going to be public information, but that's what they said. But either way, it's still, wor- I'm sure they don't, If even if they do, it's not a lot. It's not like it used to be. I remember we used to see old fucking psychopathic contracts come to light. People like, holy shit, you own everything? Right. Or even like the Young Wicked days. You know what I mean? When that whole drama went about, you see his kind of, this man's sleeping on a couch at Joe's right. house or in the weird artist hotel. While he's producing platinum albums, right? He produced platinum albums for you, and he can't afford an apartment, right? Pretty shitty. Yeah, like that's you know, 
things, things aren't like that anymore. You know what I mean? But that's also that also goes back on the labels too. So if you're a guy that runs a label with the old school mentality, you're not bringing in that kind of money anymore either. No, you're not selling records. You're not. You know what I mean? You're not. You ain't doing shit. So it's a different world. I don't even remember what the, how that started. It's going on for too long. Shout out to Alex Piss. But yeah, I'm excited. We're doing a part two. So if you guys are still tuned in and you got questions, what were you saying about uh, Rock of Ages? We touched on that a little bit when he worked there. Um, yeah, his 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 sister worked there. She owned it, Sue. She was the shit. I feel like I remember when I was 16 years old when I went to the first gathering. I don't know how the fuck we checked into a hotel room. And I remember we were worried about that. And I remember Sue Abyss at Hot Hits was like, if you guys have any problems, come back here and I'll check in. Oh, that's cool. Because it, it wasn't as big of a deal back then as it is now. But yeah. Well, you couldn't do that. I don't yeah, know. you could pay cash for a hotel room back then. Yeah. Yeah, you can't do that now. But yeah, I remember like that was so significant to me. Because like, it was cool to me because I knew who it was. I knew she was Alex's sister, which Alex was fucking dad. And she you probably thought I mean? it like, was cool because like she's like, I don't I don't know who these fucking kids are, but they think I'm pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Well, well there was a lot of it was the first gather, yeah, there's a lot of people in town. But he did, yeah, you're right. He did he said that on the uh the Fago Lovers interview, Drew. I remember I remember hearing that. But I also understand the uh the separate, you know what I mean? Like not to take twisted side on that, because I well, kind of like Alex said earlier, there can always be two true stories, two uh, two right answers. Because I think it works great for Ouija. Mm-hmm. It's fucking, it's a great relationship for both of them. And I think it could have worked out great for Twisted too. They could have done their own thing. And that would have been great. Put a hatchet man. You know what I mean? There's a hatchet man and an M and E logo and everything. It could have worked out fine. But the whole reason for them leaving was to start fresh. You know what I mean? People to not goals. to not be. You know what I mean? Like I still love you. We're still boys. This business, we did this for 15 years. We want to do our thing. Right. You know what I mean? And everybody juggle up hater or not a hater. Everyone knows how Violent J, right? Violent J is not a guy who does, you know what I mean? He gets his way majority of the time. You know what I mean? Mm. So, and they knew that. They worked under him. They're like, no, we don't want to. The whole thing is we don't want to answer to you. So, if we're putting your logo on our product, I'm assuming we're going to have to answer to you at some point. We have to accept you. You know what I mean? And they're like, no, well, they're out, we're out. And they can't just do big, big deals uh, like without having to get <coughs> clearance. Who? <laughs> I think he's talking about ICP. Oh, they didn't. Do, they didn't do replica. I mean, they're they're welcome. We've tried to get them on. Jay reached out to us. He told <laughs> us how fresh we were. He, or how how fresh we could be, and tell him why he wasn't coming on. Yeah, <laughs> uh, for a reason that we don't even do anymore. Right? Uh, just saying, like, oh, maybe I, you should maybe bring that back again. out to him. Be like, hey, we stopped doing that thing. We don't play so, music anymore, oh, specifically because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> or copyrights. <laughs> it's because no, it's because the they're more, than, they're more. Yeah, they're more than welcome to come on. Oh yeah, shout out Shaggy was just on Clownvis too. Shout out to Clownvis. Shaggy linked up with Clonvis and they did a thing. We will interview. It was dope. <laughs> <laughs> there, see, uh, it's so that, funny. It's fun. I, I, here's the. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, the difference between us and majority of other people is I, that I can laugh at that because it's funny, right. but I don't take it serious. Right. Yeah, I don't even. I, he doesn't even. Shape doesn't even take it serious. No. It's funny. It's entertaining. It, that is funny. Yes. But at the same time, shout out to Ouija. Ouija's dope. Yeah. I don't. Are you mean Ouija's? And shout out to anybody with a with the chapter seventeen tattoo. I love the chapter it's seventeen funny. It's people hilarious. because they're they're breathing new life into this. Sure. So I love it. I, I love to see it. I don't care if they're dicks or anything like that. They're a whole new generation of Juggalo. Yeah. I don't know, man. If I that that they're not they're whole, not what we used to be. You that, see that on yeah. somebody that could mean a whole different thing if they don't know what the fuck it is. Well, just no, saying. I, I agree. No, I, I don't get me wrong. There's some idiots, but that's just kids. There's, there's new. You know what I mean? I'm what sure do a you lot mean of by them, idiots, like just idiot people, like that are don't understand the culture. I guess, but I do. I, mean, I do believe I mean, if that, I've seen a C17 on somebody. 
that's like 50 years old, I might have questions, bro. Like, if I don't know anything about it, I might have you would, questions. You would have about questions that if you didn't know what a hatchet man was either. Like, why is this guy sure. a fucking. Well, I, mean, I guess, or, but. Or, or any weird tattoo. You but know? a number is a little different than a hatchet, like, than a figure. Yeah. But it makes sense. It makes it, it's, it's, like it's a great fuck. I think it's a great. Uh, I think it was a clever uh, thing to come up with to keep with the legacy of. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's very clever, um, but no. I, but I do think that people. I love that he's bringing people in, but I do think that those people need to uh, learn their history. Oh yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe we should uh, inform him that like, hey, as as your. <laughs> but he does a lot of ice. He, he samples ice. I, that's one of the my favorite thing about some of Ouija Max shit, and even Darby now, because he's on chapter seventeen. Is they're sampling old ICP. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that's cool as shit because nobody else can really get away with that because they'd have to get the rights to the sample. And I'm sure Psychopathic wouldn't clear it, but they clear it for them. You know what I mean? No. But I, I think that's pretty dope. But yeah, I think I think they need to know their history because you know what I mean. There's obviously there's a big there's a big drug culture and, and you know that's old school and new school. But it's, I it's saw worse something now. on the internet the uh, <laughs> the other day that it resonated with me that it had to do with the different generations of rap. Yeah. And it said, you know, the difference is, is that like I grew up listening to the drug dealers, and then they grew up listening to the drug users. True. Yeah, <laughs> you know that. So, and it and it really is true for that is true. You know that like you you had a lot of people they grew up in the '90s with with the gangster rap and all that stuff. Those people were doing that. They were they were selling drugs. They were shooting people. They were doing that. Yeah. And then now you got these people. They're drug drug users like you know like suicide. It, it sounds so bad. I'm, they weren't like shooting people to shoot people. They're... Murder was the charge, bro. It was the murder case murder was me. the case they gave him. But yeah. it, he beat that case. He beat yeah. it. But he's saying they were gangsters and fucking. Dealers and bosses. Even, story even into, even and the new the, generation is now the the, the addict, users, right. the user. Yeah, even into the even into the two thousands, you had the like, brother of the man who was murdered. You had T, you had Ti, you had Jeezy, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, Lil Wayne. You're in the even, 2000s, bro. Lil you Wayne, remember? 99. Speaking of juggling, I was world, saying going into the two thousands. It's weird to think about where we are now. Do you remember when uh, ICP was sober? Like the, the define sober, please. Uh, they 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 were. Literally anti drug, yeah. Like Shaggy was a drunk, yeah, in secret, but they were they were anti drugs, yeah. Like, do not fuck with drugs, we don't fuck with drugs. Yeah, I remember when don't fuck with drugs. weed on the stage at the Ray seminar, yeah. it was fucking insane. Like, yeah, holy shit, Violent J's time. doing drugs, yeah. weed, weed was the drug he was doing for right. the first time ever, ever, yes. Yeah, I remember that. That's insane. That's when it all went downhill. <laughs> Marijuana is a gateway drug. Immediately right after that, he went right into Hell's Pit. Ah, yep. Jesus! And it's been downhill ever since. But that's—I mean, that's no one, no one, no one in chapter C seventeen knows that world. No. Yeah, they're like weed. What do you mean? That's like a grandma drug. And that's, and that's when their music was actually decent. They, we, we, what do you Give mean? me the they battery. They didn't take, they didn't take tanks to the gathering. It's like I'm going to take battery acid and tanks to the gathering. That's when their music was insane, at its bro. best. One hundred. Like you ain't you ain't never done a fucking pint of lean. It's crazy. I ate a bottle of Xanax. Come on, man. And now Joey's like the soberest person in the world, and uh, right. he's like a father of eighty-two kids. True that. Killing what? it. Claims Shout three. Out to Shaggy, bro. Shout out to Shaggy. I'm so glad we gave him an award for killing it. Sure he is. I'm sure it's up in this house somewhere. It is. I don't know. Every time, anytime I ever try to watch a show, I want to see it. So where is it? He's got all like stuff on display. Where so. is it? He's talked about it before with him and uh, Keegan had a show. Yeah, I remember. I've he talked about the Whitney somebody. Nugs, too. Yeah. The yeah, and then he got when Shaggy and Keegan got a new one. Yeah. And he's like, I got one of those. He's like, but mine's fresher. It was fucking handmade. Yeah. Because they got one of the acrylic ones. Yep. Yeah. He's like, mine's fresher. To, yeah, he's like, fucking got the Nugs and the fucking sparkles <laughs> and shit. Oh, yeah. That was the freshest. Shout out to fucking Jason and Dana. Shout out to them. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Just another culture vulture. Who? Yeah. Who are we referring to? Oh, man. Did you guys have fun? Shout out to fucking Alex Abbas, man. Abbas. That shit was dope, bro. Yeah, by the way, we're interviewing him again at Astro. In person. If you didn't know that. If you didn't know, now you know. 
I gotta go pee. Are you going somewhere? You are pee. I know. Where's Tony going? Is Tony leaving? No. That storm must be moving. The do- the, 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 there was just a roll of thunder, and the dog is freaking out under the table. I was trying to trying to pet the dog, but the dog don't want to come to me. And the thunder rolls. So I tried to cut my, my, my thing off so I can get down. Get down low enough without being like all weird on the camera. And the light like to be strikes. left alone when it storms. Yeah. Now the love grows cold. I gotta go pee. I get it. They just be they just be they just be doing the thing. What does that say? Uh is this app going to be on any podcast app? Yeah. Uh it's gonna be on Spotify. It's gonna be on what was it, iTunes. Uh it should and be everywhere. It, it should be everywhere you most get a podcast. Places, yeah, yeah most most major places that you can you can listen to you can listen to podcasts, but it's to be after tonight because we got to re-upload it manually and shit. So, uh, but I know on Spotify you could actually watch this visual and listen to the audio as well. So like it's both. So like if you can, you can listen, you can watch it, and uh, it's also obviously going to be up on YouTube. You can replay it as 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 you see fit, and you know. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be up everywhere. Uh, we'll probably tomorrow uh, or late tonight. Because we got to do it manually now, but it's fine. Look at that ad. Look at that ad. That's beautiful, right? Yeah, but I mean, I think that's just for not having premium YouTube. It just be doing it. Like, I know, I know, I know. P likes to hit all the buttons for the ads, but like, he does. Even he doesn't hit it as much as it goes off. So, I know, I know, I know. It sucks when we do live interviews that ads go off on YouTube. But one. That gives us a couple pennies, so watch the ads. Uh, two, maybe pay for premium, and you don't have to worry about ads on YouTube ever. I didn't get very many on that on this table. Yeah, well, yeah. he well he was busy, so he, he the buttons that he pushes him, you know, that was just normal YouTube ads, probably. Even when he does it, for some reason I don't get him over here. But... Yeah, he likes to play pretend like he can't press the button, but I know I can't. I see him hit the button sometimes. I know he has before. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Well, I know that when we had it on our old uh, streaming platform, uh, you could absolutely do it. Like when we were going through OBS, you just boop, yeah. boop. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a button on there. I can't see it though. What you motherfuckers know about the cassette tape? Huh? What y'all know That's about fully that? rewound. Look at that. That's fully rewound yeah. cassette tape. What you know about that? Huh? Huh? What y'all know about that? Put a little piece of tape up over the corner of that bitch. Get your shit. There's no ad button. There's no ad button on this on this new interface. No. All right. So that's just. So YouTube is just a of So that that's just that's just YouTube. <clears throat> that's just uh, poor people that use YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's just YouTube. Got it. But watch it uh, and actually click on the ads. You know, go click on them. Go go do the things that they yeah, want you to do. Just on don't there. do it off on the same computer. Don't give them any of your information, but just click on it. Uh, shit. Again, it's just a bunch of Percocet, possums, and fentanyl ferrets anymore. I know we see you there every year, bro. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we, we yeah we, we see you. Shout out to Shape, you know, uh, Percocet parrot. I miss shape. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's been popping in uh, a couple times. I know. Yeah. Is that a float this year? Yeah. I think it was the last, the last time I seen him. I think. Yeah, that, yeah, it was the last time I seen him for sure. If he goes to this float, I'm going to see him again. We might be doing big shit of the float. I'm excited. I don't even know what you're talking about, but I like it. Anything new? It's because you forget everything. We had a whole conversation. What was that last week we talked about? Oh, that? I thought you uh, you said yeah, it like it was like long new. Long. You you said it was like there was new revelations of that. I mean, it's not a it's not a public group. Well, no, it's not. But I I don't know who you fucking talked to throughout the week. You t- you you became best friends with Alex <laughs> over the week. I don't even know what you guys talked about. I can't tell you that exactly. I was waiting till off the air. So like when you were like we we might be doing big things at the ga- at the float and I'm like shit oh, like yeah, no, bigger no, nothing new just the new so the sorry bigger. my fucking excitement Jesus I know my brain is broken but goddamn you don't have to like fucking tard shame me yes I do you no know, you don't yes, I do I already feel bad enough about it I'm sorry feel bad motherfucker because we don't <laughs> I'm just kidding I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
that's not nice, Rue. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But yeah, uh, we were talking about earlier. I told you I'd pull up. They announced the uh, panels uh, and that, events. Nobody see that. Can you see it? Thank you. That works. Can you zoom in? Well, I can, I can, I, I, it doesn't normally let Enhance. me do that. But yeah. Enhance. No, I have, well, yeah. Most things don't let me do that. This one does. Um, so yeah, Bruise with Blaze. We got the ROC, Young Wicket, Illus Duminati. We just put some up on the screen. And and Loon Squad performance. What's the free event? Oh, that's a beers with Bruise. Uh, yeah, Bruce with that's Blaze. free for like even if you don't have Astronomicon tickets, you don't have tickets to anything. You can go to this and just kick it. Yeah, you see the concerts free, the parties free, everything's free. The beer probably costs money, but it's free. You don't have to. You literally, if you live out there or something, just come. So all the homies that live in Michigan, they're just like, oh, I'm not coming to Astro. And then go do so. Yeah. And then fuck off. So then Astro opens, I, I think, at, at five. Um, then there's... Oh, let me pull up the other thing. Can you see it okay? Because I can't see this. I can right see it. Okay. But do you want me to re- like read it off? Uh, well, hang on. I'm going to pull up the... Just, uh, just... There's an explanation thing. So I was going to tell oh, you. Oh, like a description? Yeah, so I was gonna tell you what they are, but I didn't have it prepared. <sighs> and I can't put that's the one thing I don't like about this is the, the, the screen. Well yeah, you can't put a like a, a well, I thought you could do this through OBS and like you could make apparently there's a way, but I don't fucking know how to do it. And you probably have to pay. Hell yeah, Emily. Shout out to YouTube Premium. That's my shit. Um, yeah, um no, Keepers like- of the Movie Crypt is the first panel. It features a Q&A with filmmakers and podcasters. You're going to get Adam Green, the guy who did Hatchet, and uh, Joel Lynch from Suitable Flesh. Joel Lynch from Lynch Mob, though. And then 7 p.m. is the Juggalo Lore the sh- and the Chivalrous Arts with Alex Abbas. So that's, I love that that's going down 7 p.m. day one. So that means we can, well, whatever announcements there is, we can talk about. Yeah. So that'll be dope. So hopefully, so we're not going to sit down with Alex Friday. We're going to do it another day. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I still don't. I, was, I was thought they were going to like save that shit. So, um, and then 8 p.m., they're doing movie night with Twisted Night One. So, they, I don't think they've announced the actual movie yet. <coughs> but it's not at two in the morning this year. So, I might stay awake for it. I might actually go to it. Um, and then the VIP party, which is that's crazy to me that the, the, the VIP party doesn't even start till 10 p.m. So, from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Attack of the Ninjas is the movie. Like that's no, that's the next day. That's the concert. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the VIP party, oh, yeah. Return of the Killer, Killer Karaoke, hosted by Twisted Blaze and Gmo, with performances by Boondocks, Buckshot, Insane E, and the Casket Creatures. Which is like, I'm not gonna lie, some of these things are cool. I know uh, Tony always complains about the same people all the time. Like so, Illus Illuminati's playing the uh, Bruce with Blaze, which is super dope. That's, that's the homie we've that's had him not on the, the show. Same person. I know, but he's the homie. He's the guy who drew the fucking twisted cover yeah, that Replica put cool. out. Um, and the Casket Creatures is uh, Derek Obscura's band. Um, you met him. He was uh, helping Beeve last year. Yeah, the dude with the makeup. He uh, sometimes plays guitar for yeah. Twisted. That's his band. All right. So I'm like, fuck yeah! It's like family affair type of shit. Like people oh, yeah. are playing. So I'm I'm happy to see all that. And then they're doing the pop up shop again at two in the morning at the hotel. I'll probably be, I'll probably be sleeping at two a.m. Bro, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Um, and then day two starts at eleven a.m. with trivia. Dave Santia doing a speed painting again. If you guys haven't seen it, you should check it out. You it's should really. I I, I want to stress this to people. I know that it's not a very attended event. Like there's it usually fills in because you know because whatever's after it. Go watch this dude paint. It is yeah, fun. It is entertaining. And it, it is just, it, it, you get to literally watch a master at work. Yeah, this sure. guy is phenomenal. And even if you've seen him before, does. it's always something new. It's usually related to the con. But like, I understand it sounds like a, 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 the most boring thing to do is to go watch somebody paint. Right. It does. But I promise you, it is not boring. It's pretty dope. It is fun. And then there is the uh, Scream for Me Scream panel. Where you get a QA with Jamie Kennedy, Roger L. Jackson, and Heather Matrazaro. I know you like that, but I care about Scream. What? Scream? Yeah. Uh, I was excited about Old Boy that canceled. Or, you know, had to, he couldn't make it. Um, Skeet, Skeet Ulrich had to uh, pull out. Yeah. But they added uh, the little girl from Terrifier 2. Yeah. And fucking uh, Michael Rooker, which is fucking super dope. Yeah, I like that idea. 
Yeah, that's way cooler to me. Uh, then we got Be My Victim. Or no, Ice Ice to Meet You. It's yeah. a silly name Save for this one. But that's uh, Spencer Charnes, the uh, lead singer of Ice Nine Kills, doing a panel. Tony Todd, Be Be My Victim, which is a fun play on words because he's the candy man. Go check that out. Counting Kills. He's full of bees. With the dead meat panel. Do you know about this, Tony? What? The... Uh, Counting Kills Dead Meat panel? Yeah, the, I guess it's a podcast called Dead Meat featuring James and Chelsea. P- people were hyped when they announced them. I've never heard of it in my life. It's uh, like, I guess it's like a horror podcast. Alex has probably heard of them. I have not. Uh, I can I can ask. I don't, yeah, I, don't, I literally I don't care. I just wondered if you knew because I don't. Even when they announced it, I was like, who? I'm like, oh, it's a podcast that I've never heard of. Um, then you can check out the cosplay contest for adults. I think one of those is supposed to be for Damn children. Bro, Friday, I got to find something to do from 10 to 2. Oh, the VIP? Yeah. Just go. Um, and then 8 p.m., Tack of the Ninjas going down on site, Twisted Blaze, Boondocks, ABJ, what? GMO, Ollie's Lily Lou, what? Young Wicket, what? Axe Murder Boys, what? the ROC, no. the Underground Avengers, what? and Kalido, which is actually a pretty dope band from Michigan. That's over at midnight. What are we going to do at the midnight? I don't know. Hang out what with... makes you think it's over at midnight? I mean, it probably is, but... I'm hang out with Alex Abbas. Yeah, hang out with Alex Abbas. That's going to be fun. It's going to be a good time anyway. And then uh, Sunday, the final day, we got the Kids Zone Dance Party. We got It's Morphin Time with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Which David ones? Ghost, and Walter. It's Blue and Black. Blue and Black. There we go. That's all we did. I don't think <laughs> Black was original. Yeah. It was the black guy. I don't black think... Ranger with the black guy. I thought that was the White Ranger. No, that's Tommy. Who was originally the Green Ranger? He died. Turned white. So. <coughs> yeah, the White Ranger didn't come until Power Rangers was already super popular. See, I thought the Black Ranger didn't come until uh, maybe I'm I'm missing. No, I'm yeah, no, the, green, not... the Green Ranger, which was Tommy, eventually became the White Ranger, which was also Tommy, which was most everyone's favorite Power Ranger, was from my friend zone, and he uh, unfortunately passed away a couple of years ago. So. And then we got the Mall Rat of the MCU with Michael Rooker, which is pretty dope. I definitely want to check that out. Um, Yandu in the motherfucking house. And then this one's cool. Voices in my head. Conversations with voice actors. Billy West, Roger. It's like fucking the dude from Futurama and uh, Squidward and uh, some Simpsons dudes. All voice actors, which is pretty cool. And then you got the Mick Foley seminar, Three Faces of Foley. And then you got the Demented Duo. Can you name the Three Faces of Foley? Did you just uh, go skim over Foley? Like I like that. Just said. Three Faces of Foley. Yeah, Mick you were Foley. like, then you got Three Faces of Foley. And then they're twisted. Well, there's no like explanation. It's just the Mick Foley seminar. Uh, well, you got Cactus Jack. Man, yeah, Mankind, Cactus Jack, and Dude Love. There you go. Yeah, I actually knew that one. Surprised. I wouldn't have got Dude Love, even though I knew it. I just I wouldn't have thought of the name. I just know it because of Juggaloism. Oh, if you if it was yeah, mostly I don't know. But, uh, was that he? Wasn't he like all three in um uh Big Money no. Hustlers? It was in Big Money Hustlers. Was, I know he was, he was, was Jack. He was Cactus Jack, and now I couldn't I yeah. couldn't remember which one. But I thought it was it became a shtick where he like carried on, and then like he did he did um like catchphrases from the other. Uh, characters that he plays. I thought I'm he. Pretty I, sure it was all just characters. Jack. Okay, because uh, yeah, because I thought he brought out Mister Sacco and then, he did have Mister. Uh, yeah, but like yeah. I thought it like but it that just, was part of Cactus Jack. And that was then, mankind. And, well, was Sacco Cactus was Mister Jack, Jack and, then, was, and then he carried it over yeah, to he, mankind. I, maybe he was just mankind in that. He might have been mankind. No, because he came out with the flannel on. He that was a Cactus Jack. That was a, on. That was a Cactus Jack era. So Mankind I think he was, was kind of. I think it was two characters. I yeah. think he Dude could, Love was definitely not. A part of it. No, but the, I think uh, he may have had. A, he, he might because I definitely had Sako, and then yeah, he said he was something like, silly. Ah, that's not when he right. was Mankind, he had the leather mask and yeah. like a white dress shirt that was untucked. Yeah, he almost had like a medieval like blacksmith thing on. Like, he had like the leather okay. vest and like. Because I remember it's because the reason they even did it because they made fun of him in Strangle Mania, which is how he even got involved in Juggle the World at all. Yeah. But they called him Cactus Sack. <laughs> Instead of characters Jack yeah. in Strangle Me, that's weird. Juggle the world is weird. Why haven't we had him on yet? Remember we? 
Sweet. Maybe you should maybe you should go Good luck to his seminar over. and ask him. Hey man, why haven't you been on Why Rapplicon? have you been on Rapplicon? Yeah. Well, we spent like a whole year basically and, not doing it. And Dustin either. will kick you out. How dare you talk during this? Get out. Hmm? No favoritism. Oh fuck that dude. <laughs> <laughs> no favoritism. It's in the crowd asking questions. No! Don't even look at it's it. Like Don't knows. even listen to this. Do your research. Do you? I don't. Not here. Don't ask him. But anyway, back to then. Then you have the the, the twisted duo, uh, the demented duo. The demented yeah, duo. no fun name or nothing for that one. Well, it's demented duo. That's a fun name. This is what they're called. Yeah, it's a fun name. So it's always been that way. The self titled either twisted or demented duo. Yeah, but they usually have silly names like they do for the rest of them. Like if one was like something with a twist, but it was spelled, you know, with a Z. Well, they put all the cool pictures on the on the timeline this time. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe, they, and then they did like the then they did the fucking mystery box thing the one year. That didn't work out very well for me or anybody really. <laughs> one guy. I then had to pay tags on that shit. <laughs> A couple people got some cool shit. I didn't get nothing. I just right. spent four hundred dollars. I got thanks for playing. <laughs> I still got playing. all four of those boxes in my closet full. If anybody wants to buy one of those fucking. Uh, 10k mystery boxes. I got the whole set. <laughs> the whole set. <laughs> the whole set, bro. Got four of them bitches. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. We already talked about the new music that came out. What else happened? Drew watched Ricky Stadicki. We talked about that at the beginning. We talked about Roadhouse, which is dope. That's it. Show's over. Time to go home. That's it. I am. It is almost time for me to go ahead. The yeah. The I, it was funny because I was looking at the the weather radar and it was clear. Like it was to the point where I was like, oh shit, I could I could probably leave in normal time. And then I heard the thunder, and then the dogs started freaking out. And then I was like, ah, let me refresh this radar. And immediately it was like, nope, nope. The rain actually is coming in now. I was like, well, how did you fuck that up that bad? Like it totally looks like a different radar. Yeah, I mean, you might be getting shit. I mean, it's all pretty much up north. We just got probably a little bit here. Mm, that's not what the radar is saying now. Like, it's going to hit us. It's just a different time. That's what it's showing. Right, like, now it's saying it's supposed to be raining between 9, well, between now and fucking 2 a.m. I hope it fucking storms the ass. Yeah, it's cool. Just as soon as I get home after I get home. Sleeping so good. Because, like, now it's showing that. Storm in. He did all three. Driving. Did he do all three? That's the part I don't want. That, that little red part I don't want driving now. Oh, he did all three in the movie. I thought he did. I thought because like he kept trying to do his catchphrase, and he's like, "Oh no, that's that's not right." And then he would do this, and he like pull out one of the like pull out Sokka, and he goes, "Oh, that that's not it either." I remember the Sokka. I think Sokka was like the final, like, "Oh, this is it." it, it like, but he kept, he did catchphrases as a shtick from all of them. You, I mean, that probably happened. I, I think that's remember. what it was. All three catchphrases. And, and I didn't know who. Like, and to be fair, I had no fucking idea who that was at the time. Uh, I know he did the whole like the bang bang, and then he grabbed a Mr. Sokka. Bang bang. That was Cactus Jack. He bang bang. He did do bang, that. Bang. And he goes, no, the fuck, that's not right. All three catchphrases yeah. and Sako. He in he and then he you says, guys are, "You would know they they like wrestling." See, I didn't I didn't like wrestling. I didn't know who the fuck he was. Yeah. I knew the cactus sack reference because of Stranglemania. That's mm-hmm. it. So yeah, that was uh well, I was that was the Attitude Era of WWF at the time, and I was WWE. that was like I said F at the time. Well, WWE uh, though, it was F at the time, and I was into wrestling at that WWE. time. The attitude era, they were still E. That changed early, didn't it? No, it didn't change until 2000 something, like 2010s. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I believe. Mm-hmm. Because I remember, like, like well after I stopped watching wrestling, it then they I saw that the WWF was making the WWF change it to WWE. I was like, that's fucking stupid. Nobody gives a shit about WWF. The World Wildlife Foundation, you bastards. Nobody cares about your sticker. Let the wrestling people have it. It was a good name. Yeah, I don't know the name of it. Well, that's what happened. The, the, 
You sounded Canadian when you said it. 98. That's what happened. Damn, it changed that late or that early. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Because I know that like Stone Cold, like that the whole attitude era, like it was basically like over and that's it. and then it changed. Or it could have been trickling down, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know a few out. people said this, but I think I'm going to have to rewatch Big Money Hustlers. Yeah. I feel like I've seen Rustlers more. Yeah. It was uh, like on TV for a while there, and it would just like be on. It's a fun adventure, you know. Uh, Hustlers is definitely like gritty, and it's just full juggalo like that. Like Rustlers can be a movie, like that. That's more a movie akin. To, like if you don't know anything about ICP or anything, you're like this is a fucking wild movie. I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna watch it, not know anything about it. There's pandas. Was there a panda commercial? I hope so. Oh no, Pandas was the logo for WWF on the sticker. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was a panda. I don't know anything about it. Yeah. And uh you see that cool cover? Look at that cover. That's a WWF you guys cover missed right it. there. That's uh the exclusive the world premiere earlier today. It's the Jamie Madrox. <laughs> the world premiere earlier today. <laughs> Just like an hour ago. Mm. Jamie Madrox exclusive cover. Right here. Alex Abbott. Right here. Those are words that are weird. The Jamie Madrox exclusive cover for the Alex Abbott comic. Yeah. Dropping it twisted Comic Con. Okay, so, so ninety eight is when they actually were going to court over it. And then two thousand two is when they used their the two thousand is when they used the whole F this era or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then two thousand two they changed everything over to WWE. Okay, that may, yeah, that's that timeline makes sense. It was about one that was when I was getting into high school and I stopped I stopped really watching it. I, I was watching it mostly yeah, it was 99 WWE goes public and is traded on the New York Times or the New York Stock Exchange. Stock Exchange. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So it, it was right after that. Um, but, you know, oh, that was a good time. I, for me, that was that was the peak. I know, the, you know, yeah, 97 you, was the attitude there. Yeah. If you grow if you grew up in the eight, in the 80s, obviously it was, you know, fucking Hulk Hogan. That Drop era. Good Then that ran its course, and then it came back, and then it ran its course again, and then the Attitude Era started, and then that came back and ran its course, and then I think it it might be back now. I don't fucking know. I, no, I mean, not in not. well, not in an official title, but like some of the the big names are, are like popping back in. Like Stone Cold came back for a little bit. Oh, they're still under contract. That's why. Well, well, yeah, but I mean, they weren't wrestling, but then they started wrestling again. Like, fucking Ric Flair came back, and he wasn't even a part of the shit. Oh, that was a long time ago. Like, he was in a total different federation. He ain't wrestling no more. Not anymore. I mean, he retired. Sting he retired. Came back when his when his daughter was it became a new WWE wrestler. Yeah. He was in WWE like made like her manager or whatever, and then had like one or two matches, and then that was it. Yeah, I don't know a whole hell of a lot about it now. I know that uh, the Vince is gone, and now I think it's Triple H. Is he the main guy? Yeah. I, I think he's the main guy, and the Stephanie is the, like the, the Vince isn't gone. Well, she owned. No, Vince is gone. There was a he's, controversy uh, he, with him. He stood. He stepped away officially. Like, he's not if, gone. By if, on paper, it looks like he's gone, but he's not gone. Uh, maybe I know, but he's, I know that he cut. He cut all all oh, official Vince? ties. Yeah, yeah, he's going to court. Yeah, he, he poop on bitches. Yeah, he cut all official ties because he had some sexual abuse allegations, some poop allegations. He was pooping on them. Well, yeah, but like they, they did that works. He's still getting paid from WWE. Oh, I'm not saying he's not getting paid. He's still he on definitely he probably has severance for life. I, I get it, but but like he, he officially his, had stepped he, away. He took his name off of everything and put it in a Stephanie's name. So any of these cases that go to court can't go after. Well, his, yeah, his, they can't go after the WWE because it's not his anymore. Well, yeah, on paper. Yeah, but he also is stepping away from the limelight of that position because he doesn't want well, he his fate. He doesn't he, want to be associated with the the company right now. He has to until his court c- cases are all gone. He'll be back. Poop Just things people. you do to bypass laws. Yeah, you only poop on people that that that. Uh, I'll want it. 
Yeah, I don't know about all that, but I, I don't know any of these sexual. Things. What you guys want to do it on people that don't want it? Jeez, you guys are sick. At all. You guys are sick. That's sexual abuse. Calm down, P Diddy. No, he has sex with men's. It's probably poop involved there. He was sex trafficking. Sex trafficking rappers booty holes. Bro, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Shit. I don't know, and it makes him look worse that they can't find him. Because he left. <clears throat> He's he, he. I saw a I saw a video of him on the plane after they they did one of his raids in Miami. They're yeah. like, nope. Mm-hmm. Um, he can run, but like when when you're, they'll find him. You're on, that hard, yeah. You can't you can't you can't run in today's world. It's hard, and you think to hide a plane. But yeah, because like, but he, if you talk to some people, they say it's pretty fucking easy to hide a plane. Which. Uh, I'm going to believe the people that are in the military to hide a plane. It's pretty easy. I believe it is pretty easy to hide a plane. If you got millions of dollars, it's pretty easy, though. When you got access to Hide a plane. Yeah, when you got <laughs> access to it. All he's got to do yeah, is just get on his friend's plane. You got to think, though. It's not like, hard. Just hop on his plane. Everybody plane. in the world knows this guy. So you yeah, gotta he's go, this guy. He all he has to do gotta is go somewhere where nobody fucking knows. You. Escape long enough for the next fucking headline. Yep. As soon as the next fucking pedophile comes forward, everyone forget about P. Diddy. No. They, they didn't forget about R. Kelly, did they? He got he got locked up. Yeah, but look at all the timelines that popped up when he got locked up, before he got locked up. Yeah, but did, did he fucking escape on an airplane? Uh, he probably tried. No, actually, he took his shit like a man. P. Diddy's scared. P. Diddy knows he fucked Well, up. the difference is I don't, I don't think R. Kelly had the money to... The P. Diddy, to I feel like it's just P. Diddy has got the, the money. The P. Diddy thing, I think, is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, you know what I mean? Like, because I don't really know. I don't... The problem with today's world, I don't know what's real and what's not. That's why I don't watch the news. You know what I mean? Like... Because fuck the news. Well, yeah, I don't either. But, I mean, I still see... You know what I mean? Something like Diddy doesn't get away from you. Um, but I don't I know mean, what's if true. If got away with murder, then this motherfucker can get away with... Well, yeah, I, well... Uh, that depends on well that was one crime yeah but when one when when shit starts hitting the fan that's when shit starts you know what I mean I mean OJ people start time, coming forward it wasn't even yeah but if OJ murdered, murdered hundreds of people he'd eventually you know what I mean it, I mean Devin Dimer got away with it for a while for a little bit yeah <laughs> for a well, hot I'm saying, minute Diddy's been doing this since the Diddy days I mean look at Epstein Epstein that's why had Diddy's been diddling since Puff Daddy right that's why Mace was like I'm out of here yeah bro. that, that actually up. makes sense I'm telling you. That but I'm saying when you when we, if uh, like is the Usher and Bieber is that shit legit? Like they're stepping uh, forward, saying I mean, he. I don't know. Like you I fucking said, just, groom them just as look children. At, just look at I Weinstein. Think look, I think they're doing that. For, it, I mean, it's giving them more video time. It caught up to Weinstein. It caught up to Epstein. And those people, that. those people have behind the scenes power. Yeah, it, exactly. Diddy's in the in the in the public eye. Well, he he had more way think, more behind the scenes power than public eye. I know, but not not compared to Epstein or Weinstein. Oh, in the music industry, bro. In the music industry, maybe, but like we're talking like like real money. Weinstein with, was with, Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, Pete Diddy was mu- music, bro. He had his hands in everything. Yeah, he had his hands in Biggie and Pac. I'm not saying he's not big. I'm just saying Apparently, that, like, he literally had his hands in Bieber, literally, and Usher. He got them stanky things. Maybe yeah. Kevin know Hart. That. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, Usher's older than like. There's a lot of shit. Know. Usher is he's not older than Diddy, but he's older than Bieber. He ain't. I mean, I don't know. Because I feel I, I feel like Usher was out way longer than fucking Diddy was. No, nah. well, yeah, but Puff Daddy counts. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. Though. Puff Daddy. Puff no, Daddy. I go by P now. P Diddy. I'm coming. It was not before fucking nice and slow. No way. Well, I'm saying I don't know if it's real. Like, did Usher really say something about Diddy fucking diddling him? You know what I mean? Or breaking them these like that's what I've heard, but I don't know if it's true. So, but if it is, and th- his involvement with fucking Tupac and shit is starting to come around, like you know what I mean? Like that's I think what, that I, was the first thing that yeah, broke. that was like the first thing. Yeah. It was like his involvement in fucking paying the hitman to fucking yeah. kill Pac. All I'm looking is for an age here, bro. Like, I don't need I don't need all this bullshit headline. Just say how old. Yeah, dude, Usher's fucking younger than fucking. Diddy's 54 and fucking Usher's 45. Fuck out of here. 10, 10 years different. Nine years different. You going to tell me this motherfucker was so, yes. an old ass man? No. I mean, Brendan Fraser got, got raped. I mean, he was a grown man. Well, how how old was Puff Daddy when he hit? Google's going to know that. 
I don't know. Let's see here. 69 years active with 90. I would say... I would say Pete Diddy probably hit 94, 95-ish. Maybe, maybe 93. 94, 93, 94 maybe. So you figure... 20, he's probably 20 years old when he got 23. He's probably 23 when he, when he, he was got, a 22 year old radio intern when he got big. Apparently, his first event he ever did, nine people died. Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's not funny. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what a stampede! He did, he uh co hosted a celebrity basketball game with rapper Heavy D, a stampede erupted. Erupted and jammed the crowd outside the oversold college in New York, so and 20, killing nine people. So his whole career has been like revolving. That's around when it started. He was like, "Fuck it, nine people are dead. Fuck it. Fuck yeah, I got a body count." <laughs> so he was 20, 22, 23 years old. No, Diddy's the OJ of the fucking. So when he was twenty two, Usher was twelve. Yeah. So yeah, that I mean a 20 22 25 year old man can diddle a 12 13 year old. And it's inappropriate. I thought that was over. Yeah, it's definitely inappropriate. And then make him a star. Yep. Here, let me touch your star and then I will make you a star. That's what's fucked. This is chocolate star. It's fucking crazy, bro. All the shit that's coming to light and shit, fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, but I think in the end it might make everything a better place. I don't think it's going to well, yeah, fix anything. Going on for- but I mean, at least it's going to stop generations of whatever's already happening. What? You know, I'm sure there's other shit that's just as bad going on. I don't well, think it's going to stop anything. I mean, it should really. definitely come to life. No, but it, sick fucking people out there that are just going to continue. Well, to no, do that, this no, shit. that's what I'm saying. Like, there's, there's stuff going on, but like that, at least those generations of things that have been happening have been stopped. Well, hopefully, people. You know, I mean, the shit like this keeps coming forward and happening. Like, hopefully, people just learn to not, not talk about it. Yeah, that's the biggest thing is these people in power. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it, even people that aren't in power are fucking disgusting mm-hmm. and do disgusting things. But these people are getting over on it because you don't, you don't want to fuck up. You don't want to. You're scared. Yeah, you, or you want a paycheck or you want the career. opportunity. Yeah, you want a paycheck and a career. The wine scenes that did like get the fuck out of here, bro. You got to think that like. And these people, they're, they're they're handed the world in exchange for what they're yeah. enduring and not talking. And the about. shit with Diddy, like, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot of shit to come out about it. But the thing I keep hearing is about these fucking parties. Like, there's so many people that weren't fucked by Diddy, but knew about it because of Diddy's parties. He's having weird parties, and see, I don't know why these people coming out. It, he's definitely be trying to get. He's definitely under investigation for sex trafficking. Yeah. So I don't know about these raped. Victims like Beaver, but it was like kids, right? It's like, I mean, if you're sex trafficking children, you're doing it. I think it was all over the place. I think it was sex trafficking a lot of people. It's insane. Either way, it's but, still crazy. Yeah. The fuck, bro? The fuck's wrong with you, dog? I mean, they don't have to be kids to be sex trafficking. Well, I know. Well, I'm saying, like I said, I don't know enough about it, but either way, it's gross. <clears throat> You made Bieber do the naked walk for cheesecake. <laughs> that's terrible, bro. I don't even know if that's a joke. That could be real life. And I was like, baby, baby, baby. Oh! oh! And I guess it makes sense. We, oh, man. What if. Oh, man. <coughs> so if Diddy fucked Usher and made Usher Usher, Usher. Was the one that found Bieber on YouTube and brought him under his wing, which means he fucking basically trafficked Bieber to Diddy. Well, he brought Bieber to the Predator, pretty much. He yeah. basically was like, "Here you go." And clearly, if it happened to him, he knew what the fuck was going on. But he was like, "This kid's you're talented enough to get raped." Is that the fuck, bro? You know what I mean, like. If that shit, I mean, you're just as fucking bad as the guy doing it. The fuck, bro? The fact that this is even a conversation that could be real is fucking disgusting. Right. What the hell's wrong with you people? 
Yo, what the fuck? The fuck, Hollywood? And still to this day, like you're it's still, still doing... going on. Then things well, that, things are going on. Apparently, he is. He did post on Facebook, or he posted on social media. Who since the raid did? He? Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I ain't do it. Check out my new single. <laughs> I'm on a plane, man. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what Diddy sounds like now, like music wise. Like, when was the last time he came out with music? I don't know. Like, he don't need to. He don't do music no more. Like, he he's behind the scenes music. So, uh, there is a headline. It said Diddy grills a nervous Justin Bieber, sixteen, in resurface clip. I mean, that doesn't mean he did anything to him. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I mean, I ain't saying that he didn't either, so. Shit's fucking wild, bro. It's not okay. It's never okay. And I mean, you're going to raid the dude's house. You don't think he got rid of all the shit that you would even have evidence for? Well, you just hear the one. Like I said, I don't pay that much attention to it. But obviously I see it. But I, I still want to know what. Yeah, I still want to know. But uh, you just got fucking. You just like zoom. Man, on your fucking cigarette. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody said the raid wasn't a raid. It was a raid to fucking wipe the shit. Oh, the police came in and wiped it? Yeah, like it was like it wasn't the actual uh it was because Homeland Security is who raided them, apparently. Yeah. It wasn't Homeland Security, it was Homeland Security and they went and fucking deleted all the footage and videos and shit. <laughs> so what are they what are they what is he gonna look at the FBI it's like, well no, they already they well, already like, got well, me. maybe I mean if you're if you're that big of a celebrity, you know shit, right? So you know they're coming. Yeah. So you send a fucking your own raid to fucking clean your shit up. Cause apparently got raided at two places at the same time, so maybe one of them was real, one of them was the fucking Delete. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's just what I hear. Conspiracy. Well, apparently, he's been spotted several times since the raid in South Florida. So, yeah, they lo- they're looking for him real hard. Good, that's probably a good thing. Does it say on whatever you're reading, which may or may not be true, like what? To, like what they're looking like? Is he charged with something? What did they raid sex his trap? Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Other than sex trafficking, nothing else. Yeah. But they just raided his house on an assumption that he was sex trafficking. Two they, houses. They didn't find proof. Did they find? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they haven't released any what they found yeah. yet. I mean, a lot of the shit that they're saying is that's like, what I'm saying. The like, 1999 shooting could be reinvestigated. I've heard that because apparently someone fucking yeah narked on themselves. If you basically. find new evidence, you can open. Like, I think they found the actual killer. It was like a bodyguard or something. And he said he did it and he was paid by Diddy. But other than that, I haven't, I haven't, like I said, I haven't paid that much attention, but I haven't heard any. Like, first of all, how did we get here? You know what I mean? Like, what happened to where two. Somebody, somebody ratted him out. Somebody went to him and said, This happened to me. And then, yeah, but people say shit all the time. I that wonder if it was. If there it had to be enough information and evidence for them to get. A, yeah, that's a big. You know what I mean? And I saw photos like they well, trashed just what his house. You, what you just said about the murder of Tupac, like what if so, somebody that was tied to that that was like, okay, yeah, sure, I was involved, but I want immunity, and I'll give you these details of what what I know that he's yeah. been doing. Like that's possible. And so somebody probably flipped on that because I mean, it sounds like don't it started know. cascading, like you said, when shit starts hitting the fan, oh, yeah. it it all, all starts all hitting the fan. Oh, it so trickles far. down for sure. So I think it all started with fucking Cat Williams. A lot of it. Cat called out Puffy on that interview. A long time. Well, he talking called, about he offered him five million dollars. He called out on his first inter- uh, his first stand up that he blew up on. Yeah, but on that interview, he literally said, "Did he?" He's like, "I turned down five million dollars to keep my fucking butthole a virgin." Yeah, because when Diddy wants to party, Diddy wants to party. Yeah, he's like straight up said that. Like to keep my integrity, I turned down five million dollars to keep his fucking butthole secure from Diddy. Yeah, this is all I found so far. That federal agents with U.S. Homeland Security raided two of the rappers' houses in Los Angeles and Miami, which Miami was puffed in. Yeah, who? <laughs> um, 
faces a string of accusations. So there's a Apparently enough accusations against him for them to go and be like, oh, we're going to go and investigate this fucking guy. Yeah, you don't just raid two houses. You got to have a, a mountain of evidence to to get not one, but two search warrants like that, especially against somebody that has that kind of money and influence. They got to have a lot of evidence on this guy. They don't just like, oh, yeah, let's go ahead. You don't think he has like the top lawyers that or you could possibly they get? They were both his home. Yeah, they were both Diddy's homes in two different locations. So that, that, yeah, no, they definitely got some stuff on this guy. Fucking wild, bro. And how much stuff? Well, that's to be determined. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, I don't know what the fuck's going on. What did you do, dude? In the dude? age of information, we have zero. I mean, look, look how very cute they little look information. Look how cute they look. Together. Oh, that's fucking. Aww. Crazy. Look how cute. They look, look at that. He's innocent. Look how cute they look. look at together. that. That's terrible. And, and you see the fucking Tyson clip that's going around now. They were on like Arsenio or something together, and fucking. Uh, he was talking about something. You see Diddy's hand. Like, looks like he's trying to touch Tyson, oh, and no. Tyson, Tyson literally grabs his hand. And fucking, like, p- physically moves his hand over and puts it on his own leg and then scoots over. <laughs> like Diddy was trying to fuck Tyson. That was fucking crazy, bro. So a lot of people are like, he's just trying to show off his watch and jewelry. But, like, it, it you can tell it's pretty fucking awkward. And he, he moves out of the way. Mike, Mike Tyson? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I have not seen that. The clip. Iron Mike Tyson. No, no, Diddy. No, Diddy. Yeah. Don't touch me there. He was like, yeah, because he picks his hand up. He's like, it really is all about the Benjamins or something, and like fucking moves his hand and scoots over. Yeah. It's it's weird. I seen it a few times. It just shows up in my algorithm. For some <laughs> I just be watching it sometimes late at night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Right, yeah, because there was mul- apparently there was multiple <clears throat> civil civil lawsuits like. Of accusing him of sex trafficking, so that's why they started raiding his house. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you're telling me if I got 30 fucking people to sit there and put something on one person, we're, we're gonna have a fucking, we're fucking federal and homeland security gonna go raid their fucking shit? Yes. I mean, I mean, with, 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 with evidence. Fucking evidence well, that's some, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's all the evidence that there was because there was law, multiple law, civil lawsuits put on. Well, I mean, those lawsuits all have details involved with them. I mean, there's, there's, <laughs> it, it, it says lawsuits, yeah, but, but there's probably evidence in those lawsuits. But you had to be convicted on them lawsuits. No, you can, you can. I mean, that's what search warrants are for to go find that, go find like concrete evidence. Like, okay, well, we have enough evidence to say, okay, you're doing some suspicious shit. We need to see what you're doing. Let's go find your shit. And if you're fine, then, you know, you're not going to have any problems. See, no, but a lot of this shit is, and this is what I don't like about it, because somebody's, I mean, I'm not saying that he didn't do any of this, but if somebody were to sit there and say that I killed somebody, I'm I'm going to get locked up until my innocence is proven. And if my innocence ain't proven, I'm going to spend my the rest of my life locked up. Welcome to even America. Even though I didn't fucking do a damn thing. This is America. So for this even to fucking happen, you're being accused of shit. Who the fuck's to say that he even did any of this? It probably what, what it what it probably ends up being is with most most cases, and that's why <coughs> they offer money and it, they get paid off because they don't want it, they don't want it to go to courts because shit didn't happen. But here we'll offer you this. Oh shit, I'll take that amount of money. Yeah, okay, cool. But when you're young, stupid, you want to meet famous people and then you want to fuck them. Then 20 years later, you want to say that I was raped? Fuck off. You weren't raped. You were you were in that scene. That's what you wanted. And now you did now you feel like, oh, this guy is so successful that he's got all this money. I want a part. I want a piece of it. Well, There's sick kids, twisted fucking though. bitches out there that are like that. Yeah, but, but yeah, mean, like you said, now they're like there's kids involved with this, and it's a whole different ball game. Obviously, I mean, rape is rape. Okay, whether it be kids or adults. But a lot of these bitches nowadays, they no, just he's saying accuse like accuse people of rape when it wasn't. Yeah, but yeah or but there's a, women, a, women. Yeah, I, I, I see happens, what you're saying, but, but I don't think that's the allegation. Per, it's a small per, percentage. No, not at all. No, not at all. Is it a small percentage? It's there's more women percentage. out there that lie about getting raped that weren't raped that, oh, that wanted it. That's not true. The fuck it ain't. That, that that there is, saying, there's more women that are raped than than falsely accused of rape. No, you're not understanding what I'm saying. He's saying like women 
looking for an opportunity. Gold diggers? But basically, but yeah. they see the opportunity like, say, Diddy. I can get either I can get money or I can get fucking a deal. He can get me connections. So they fuck Diddy. And then shit goes sour. Yeah, he doesn't. And they're like, oh, he fucking raped me. Things. But yeah. that happens with that. That happens, happens with every rock. celebrity. Yeah. They, sure. Not every celebrity, but, but also, but like also there are celebrities, but the, and I mean, he, they do and get Diddy, not, I'm not, you know, like, like I said, Cosby. I don't know what happened. Look but like, at Cosby. Like people wanted to fuck him, but then like, you know, let's say you're hanging out like, hell yeah, I'm going to fuck this artist. And then they, you get too drunk. And, and they usually get completely obliterated, and then, they, and then they and then they fuck you anyway. Poisoning people. Well, that's true. But I'm just saying that, like, it yeah, it does right. happen. Even if they want to, like, that doesn't mean that they wanted to in, or were able to consent in that moment. Well, sure. It's a big, yeah. Or yeah, it's, it all, you know, there's people like if say Diddy did that, and he did he did it, did he did. <laughs> but I'm saying in that situation, the woman's looking for an opportunity. Diddy knows that. Yeah. But Diddy fucks her anyway, knowing he's not going to give her an opportunity. So Diddy used her. Because he has the power to do that. Yeah. So then she gets mad. But he didn't really use her. He gave her what she wanted. But he didn't. She he didn't give her no, a fucking record deal. No. He's, you know, that man. wasn't. But 90% of the time, that's not a fucking. That, that's not discussed when you're in this fucking predicament. It's like, hey, if I fuck him, may, maybe he'll give me this. And maybe that. So then it happens. And he, I'm sure. He, and, and then they, what they happens they later to is that. you try to call a motherfucker and a motherfucker don't answer his phone. Yeah, now so you're, you're all mad, jacked off. Sure. And now you're going to fucking sit here and try to say you were raped. Yeah, but, that, but, that happens, also, for sure. but also, you know, sometimes you can't just like if it's just you coming up and saying it. Like you can't just go against Diddy. Diddy will fucking bury you, and 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 he's already he's already a bad dude until now. Like I'm just saying that like you can't. Just well, that's be, what I'm saying though. A lot of like, people so, like, they, they, when one comes out, the others want to come out court. too. Like yeah. they feel safe. They like okay, well we but can a lot band of times, together. Half the times it's these people's fucking friends that are sitting there trying to say that. So then you do get investigated and you do go to fucking court. Yeah. Because yeah, everybody I mean, thinks can, they're gonna can, get fucking paid. It can go both ways. Yeah. I'm not saying it can't. It can be real. That's it what I'm saying. It can that's, be fake people. It can be a mix. That's why I started that off. Is I'm not saying that he didn't do this or he's not. I'm like I'm not saying that he did or didn't do this. But a lot of times this is the case that happens. Do the diddy diddy if you want to. Diddy diddy do. The song's so different now. Yeah, it is. That's like that Kesha. Yeah. Wake up in the morning feeling like P Diddy. <laughs> oh shit. Feeling P Diddy. <laughs> I saw there was a fucking meme of that. I was like, awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. What should we do next week, guys? For the uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 people that are still here live, what should we do next week? What do you guys want to see? We got one more show before Astro. Should we bring somebody on? Who do you want to see? What do you want to do? Mick Foley. Mick Foley. What's up? Hit him up. Can I do it? At Mick Foley. And hope you get the real one. There you go. All right. We did it. <laughs> Hopefully he sees that. All right, Mick. When you see that, oh, you boy. know what that means. What's up, Trailer Park? Trailer Park? I'm going to start packing up. Like Diddy? Pack it up. <laughs> Day up. Like Diddy? Whoa, whoa. You can do the video hey, man, if you guys are just tuning in, you, you missed, you missed everything. You missed the whole thing. You missed part one. The four-hour part one. Alex Abyss. Now, it, so it's not Abyss. It's Abyss. Like, that, that's like how he pronounces You're his actual the same name. Yeah. This is like a Viva thing. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. Abyss. 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 Abyss, 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 it's abyss. It's not, it's not a bass. Abyss, 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 abyss. You guys make my head hurt. <laughs> uh, anybody got a connection to the real McFoley? The diddy diddy dope dealer. <sighs> Pretty sure we got a better shot of getting OJ on the show. She get really? him on the show. Is OJ a juggler? Oh, dear. Thank I you. Bet he, is. I bet he might be. Yeah. Stab, stab, chop, chop. <laughs> swing, 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 swing. Yeah. Chop, chop, chop. He wrote that shit, dog. <laughs> Why hasn't ICP wrote a song about a Bronco? <laughs> you would think. They probably yeah. have, though. Lady in the Jack yeah. Bar. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Um. 
Um, thank you, Trailer Park. Is that tra- that dude? Is that the Thuggalo guy we were talking about earlier? Somebody brought you up earlier. They said the show, the Thuggalo show. Yeah. Then he said it sucked since dude left. Are you the dude that left that's the Thuggalo show? Yeah. Oh, that's the dude that left. This dude. Why did you leave? I don't know. What's up, Jenny Red? You missed it. What up, Jenny Red? Go hit the replay. Yeah, we're all getting ready to shut her down. Shout out to uh, Trailer Park. Did you? I'll look at it. I'll look at it. All right. I'll look at it. Is that the real Mick Foley? Let's do it. Is that is that Mick Foley? Are you Mick Foley? Are you Mick Foley? Or do you have the connection to Mick Foley? That's what's up. Mick Foley. I'm down. Mick Foley. I appreciate you. It's all good. You can watch the replay as soon as this ends. You can rewind. You can probably rewind it now, actually, if you want to. Um, I'll get it uploaded later this evening. Uh, probably around midnight. It'll be on Spotify. So tomorrow, it. you can rewatch it now on YouTube if you click yeah. on it, and then you just rewind it. Uh, it's it's tornadoy, tornadoy. That's why I'm getting ready to leave. I'll talk to y'all next week. Bye. I just sent Mick Foley a message. Let's see if he responds. That would be dope. He's cool, man. If not, we'll see him at Astro. Maybe we'll... Uh, like, hey, you're going to be at the thing I'm going to be at next week. Do you want to be on my show? Maybe we'll make a connection at Astro. True. That'd be cool to have him on. That would be cool. As much as I don't like wrestling, every wrestler we've ever had on this show, he I've enjoyed. some of the most crazy... Bucks. Even the non-wrestlers that we had on. Like... like uh, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't... No, no. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> that defeats like the, the purpose. Like the night. Like, uh, like, uh, why am I drawing a blank on his name? The announcer, dude. Tony Schiavone. Tony Schiavone? Yeah. The commentator guy. Tony Schiavone? The t- commentator? Yeah, he was dope. Yeah. That's totally. what I meant by like non rose You know, it's funny. I just, so I was just, uh, my, uh, my Gmail is always like, bro, you're out of space. You're out of space. You're out of space. So I always got to go in there and like delete. Things. Delete uh, the videos uh, yeah. from your um, from your, your it's like the file that yeah, you yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you're not on microphone stop talking to me <laughs> stop looking at me um well you were talking but you can leave, uh, that, you can leave that door open but anyway I go uh, so I, I go in there and delete shit I had I deleted about there was a bunch of like old food reviews and shit on there so I could rem- I removed all those um and so there was the video of when we had Tony Schiavone and Dirk Manning on before we had video because yeah. we didn't have video we couldn't air it but they were both on uh, Skype on my phone. I recorded it. Yeah, go ahead. I recorded the entire video on my phone, but it's never been shown. It was an audio only episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. But I have, so I've never, I can't delete it because I'm like, I, I asked Will to do it a long time ago and he just never did it. Um, can you upload, can you upload it? But there's no audio. So we had to put it on. So it has to be like edited to, like and what we did to do with Judd. Right? Yeah. To like match it, which is what I always plan to do, and it's never. I didn't know how to do it, but it's still in my. So it's, I, I was like, I can't delete this. It's still cool, but yeah, there's no audio because it was the audio was plugged into the computer, so basically it was screen recording them, right? And then the audio was going into the computer. Damn, because we you know we always had the bootleg shit around here, Doug. You guys didn't know we bootleg shit. We do our oh. own shit. We bootleg our own shit. Literally do that all the time now. Um, yeah, we'll be safe. It's coming your way. I don't know which way it's going. I don't pay attention to the weather. Whatever they say is usually wrong, and when they're right, then I just deal with it when it comes. There's nothing I can do about it. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, I still have that. That's all. That was the point. We'll get that up eventually. But, yeah, that was cool. We had him, and we had fucking uh, Pondo on, and we had fucking... Bad man, motherfucking Pondo. Terry Funk. Yeah, Terry Funk was fun. Have, have we had any other wrestling people on? Uh, I don't think. So. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm definitely. I'm not against it. I just at least those they're Juggalo related, so it made sense, and I had something to talk about. Yeah, for sure. But if we were just talking about wrestling with a wrestler, somebody else would have to fucking take the lead on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, I would love about like Juggalo. like those people were just related to Juggalo world, and we could talk about wrestling a little bit. Tony Schiavone was putting out a fucking comic book with right. Dirk. You know what I mean? So we can talk about Dirk and, and comics. Yeah, and that made it easier for sure. Like it's all it's all relative to shit I I know about. I don't know a damn thing about wrestling. Um but we did I did inter- I well I, I interviewed the one guy, the uh 
the dude from NWA. But that was a short, like, a little press junket interview. It was, like, 15 minutes, and we talked about his fucking heroin addiction. So, like... Yeah. Um, I, I guess that worked that. out. So, yeah. But I definitely talked to Mick Foley. Talk, yeah, talk about I think it'd be Big fun. money hustlers. and yeah, There's a lot of shit to talk about with him, for sure. Well, yeah, but I'm saying there's a lot of, like, things that I know about. Yeah. Non-wrestling things. And uh, he does, like, he does, like, benefits and... and uh, a lot of charity work and stuff like that too. So that's what I'm saying. Even like non wrestling stuff, there's a lot to talk about with him. Yeah, there's, there, I mean, there really is a lot to talk about with most people, man. Most people that most people that have made a name for themselves have a fucking story to share. Yeah, whether it be sad or uplifting or whatever it may be. Like even talking to Alex earlier when he was talking about you know how fucked up 2020 was, man. That, yeah. that ring a bell. It, it, like literally, like put a light in my head. Like, oh shit, maybe that's. You know, part of the reason we're seeing Alex again could be because that, you know, what I mean, that shit that's sadness and fucking shit like that is motivating sometimes. It can, it can go one of two ways, you know what I mean? Be, yeah, yeah, you can go down the wrong fucking lane and everything goes to shit, or you can be like, fuck, I'm still here, you know what I mean? Let's fucking go, yeah, better enjoy life while I set can. some shit in stone, you know what I mean? Like, that's why, you know what I mean? I just why I try to be positive and shit all the time, bro. He's a big Christmas guy. I fucks with Christmas. Yeah, okay. He's a suicide hotline. Yeah, that'd be dope. Well, I'm going to hit him up. I already did hit him up. If you got connections, let me know. It's good to see your name again. I know we only met once, but... I fucked with you guys when you existed, so... Glad you're still around, too. Right. Uh, but yeah, who knows, man? I, uh... We might have a guest. We might not. We might just hang out. Either way, man, subscribe, hang out with us. We're always here doing something, talking about something every Monday night, unless we're telling you in advance, like the week after next will be Tuesday because we'll be on our way home from Astro Monday. Yeah. If you guys are in the Michigan area or willing to travel, come out to Astronomicon, man. We're going to be hanging out. No, we don't have a booth. We've been on the fucking imaginary waiting list for fucking four years. Um, but it's going to be dope. We're going to hang out with Alex. I'm so hyped, bro. Yeah, I'm hyped for it, too. I was hyped for Astro, and I was hyped for Alex. Now I'm 10 times more hyped for both of the things. I think it's going to be fun. And like, I, like I said, dude, like, two people, I'm in, I, like, I really want to see what I'm at Astro. Buck shot and fucking Alex, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, Bucks to play. I mean, obviously, I want to see, like. Bucks playing uh, the VIP party yeah. the first night. So. And obviously, I want to see George and. Jamie and Paul, of course, you know, mm-hmm. all them guys, ABK, Blaze, you know, I want to see all of them, but. And all the homies, Zitro, yeah. HB the Grizzly. I don't know if they can. All our there. Detroit homies. They going to come say hi or something. I don't know if Zitro will or not, even though it's right around the corner. Why? I don't know. I, we, I think we talked about that before. Yeah, he was talking about us coming over and doing his podcast or something. Yeah. Maybe well, at somebody else's like house or something. Away or yeah, but he said we do it somewhere else. Maybe, I don't know. Zitro, let me know. I'm going to uh, attempt that. It, Zitro, shout out to Zitro. If you guys don't fuck with Zitro, fuck with Zitro. I love that dude. He uh, he added it. He took out all the clips from the award show. I still haven't put them all up yet. Well, they're up. They're just not available. He clipped out all the Christmas shows. And then I was like, I, was like, I keep telling him, like, I hate asking you all the time, but I don't fucking know shit. He made a video just for me. Screen recording his computer on this fucking program that he had me download and walked me through the process of doing the shit. And uh, I haven't attempted it yet, but I appreciate it. And I watched it. So shout out to him. Shout out to anybody that ever helped us or showed love or. Yeah, for sure. Super chatted. Any of that good shit. Um, I guess we're done. We love you. We'll be back next Monday. I don't know why I'm checking the day off by request today. If it didn't get requested at fucking 5.30 when you showed up, it ain't, definitely ain't going to Go check it. out Alex on Instagram. Leave a comment. Let him know you checked him out on Replicon Radio and how much you loved it and how much you're looking forward to part two. If you guys have any questions for Alex Abyss related to Juggalo World or the comic books or anything, you can shoot us an email to replicanswatching at gmail.com or you can tune in next week and super chat us and I guarantee you'll ask your question if you super chat us. 100%. Because uh, we're broke bitches. Yeah, if you really want your question 
asked. Guaranteed by Super Chat. That's right. Super broke bitches. Like I said. Guarantee your question would get asked if you Super Chat us. But, uh, yeah. I'm not saying your question won't get asked if you don't Super Chat us, but if we're running out of time and we've only got a few questions, the Super Chat questions will get asked first. Uh, open in new town. but if you'd like to be a proud sponsor on RebelCon Radio you can also shoot us an email to RebelCon is watching at gmail.com for more information facts and if you enjoy our show if you hate our show email us at the RebelCon is watching at gmail.com we want to hear from you shout out to Jenny and we will read your comments we will read your shenanigans your emails as long as well even if they're off the wall who cares we yeah. want to hear from you people we want to hear from you guys for show. Sure. much love y'all it's good seeing you guys every week oh I should play the Alex video again I'm going to play the Alex video again you can get hype again for his comic book because we appreciate him coming out so you can watch this video again and then we'll see you guys next week Bye. Yep. I am the last of the Animosis Knights. My entire order has vanished. There's no one left but me now. A man, 500 years out of time. It is fate itself that has brought me here. I sense a terrible darkness upon this new land that is ready to consume all. This new world is full of ignorance. They can do nothing to stop the horrors to come. I am all alone, but I am not afraid. It is my sworn duty to protect me. I must act now, but if I fail, I fear all of humanity will fail with me. But there is one thing that is in my favor. The one path that can always bring victory. I call upon all of my trust. I call upon all of the lost knowledge of the ancient world. I call upon horsemanship and swordsmanship, craft and creation, honor and valor, wisdom and justice, life and the light, the chivalrous arts.